Tässä... What's crack lacking, y'all? Um, lordy, 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 lordy. You going full blackout to next week? Impossible, fam. If you have any type of social media, it's impossible, bro. If just just you being on YouTube is a liability for spoilers, bro. However, having talked about spoilers, bro, I'm not gonna. I mean, we all know. I don't consider this a spoiler, bro, because it's been all over the place, bro. The whole game leaked, bro. Yeah, everything leaked, bro. Okay? Like, if you got a review copy, mofo, you can't even finish a review copy because the whole people were just spoiling everything. I'm just saying. Let me, but however, can we all laugh about Chasm 2? Just for a spoiler for those of you guys, spoiler, spoiler. Where's my spoiler image? Damn, I don't think I have it. Oh yeah, I do. Here we go. Spoiler alert. Um, let me make this big so y'all can see. It's not a big. It's not a big spoiler. It's not a big spoiler, but uh. That Tasm 2 suit, bruh. Woo! -wee. Yeah! Dog, bruh. Yeah! <laughs> God, dog, bruh. God, dog. Bro. If y'all really want to play with the Tasm 2 suit, here's what you do, bro. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you a little trick how to play with the Tasm 2 suit. Um, you ready? Here's what you do. There it is. Go get the Tasm 2 mobile game. Let's see. There's the suit right there, bro. There's the suit right there, bro. Spoiler. <laughs> There's the suit right there, bro. If y'all want to play Spider-Man too early, here you go. Defeat the thugs. There you go. You can play this. You can play, play it early right now. There's the suit. Cause God, dog, bro. Bro, you saw they didn't do. They didn't disrespect the Raimi suit like that. You saw they didn't disrespect the Raimi suit like that. They knew the Raimi army wasn't going to play. They knew the Raimi army wasn't, it wasn't going to happen like that, bro. They were like, eh, these Tasm bitches, bro. They were like, mm, these Tasm niggas, we ain't worried about them, bro. <laughs> They were like, these Tasm niggas, we ain't worried about them, bro. Tasm niggas ain't gonna do shit. They ain't gonna do shit. I think, I genuinely believe that they imported the mobile game model into, the, in, into their engine, bro. That's why I genuinely think. I genuinely think that Insomniac despises the Tasm 2 suit so much that they were like, yo, Give them the mobile game model. People are like, the mobile game model? You sure? Yeah, just give them the mobile game model. Just give them the mobile game model. Bruh. Oh, my Lord. After seeing that, bruh, I'm surprised there hasn't been a TASM 2 army. Where's the TASM 2 army? Ain't no way you could be disrespected that bad. There is no way in God's green earth they can disrespect y'all. Bro, they didn't even do Ray's webbing. They had the webbing part of the texture. Oh! Do you, do you understand the level of disrespect? That's like, my, that's, might as well go back to freaking swing, swinging from the sky. That's that type of disrespect, bro. Bro, the webbing isn't even Ray's. It's part of the suit texture like this. 
like this, bro. Oh my God. I don't even know what to tell y'all, bro. I don't even know what to tell y'all. <laughs> oh my God, Lord in heaven. The disrespect they gave to the freaking amazing Spider-Man 2. That that's too damn. I don't even give that much disrespect, bro. I let me just say, I don't even give that much disrespect to 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 the other guy, all right? I don't give him that much disrespect. These mofos disrespected his fucking legacy, bro. That's wild. Like, that's hella wild. But yeah, if you all want to play Spider Man 2, here you go. This is only for those who are looking to play the, the Tasman 2. So, there you go. Damn, that's still that. They stole that straight from Shattered Dimensions. Bruh. They stole that straight from Shattered Dimensions. That's crazy. That pose and ankle is straight from Shattered Dimensions. That's crazy. Anyways, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. This is footage of uh, Tassin 2 players playing Spider-Man 2. This is footage of uh, Tasm 2 players uh, playing Spider-Man 2. There you go. There, there you go. That's actually the suit, bro. That's actually the suit from the game. <laughs> us Raimi people, us Raimi fans, we eating good. We eating good. Uh, we eating good, boy. You Tasm players? Mm. You guys are like the retards of the game. I'm going to be dead ass. Dead ass honest with you. You guys are like the retards of the game. Even with the new suits. Y'all heard about the new suits they announced. I don't know why they even bother, bro. The whole, everything's been leaked. Idiots giving out fucking review codes a month in advance. Cool. Um... Why is he even make a video on it? Bro, you have a review copy. Why are you making a re uh, I don't get that. Anyways. This second suit is ass, bro. This second suit is ass. I don't know what the hell that is, bro. Can someone explain to me what the hell that suit is? I was trying to listen to her during the explanation of what that suit was. I couldn't even understand her because it was so trash. It was like hurting my soul. I was like, what the fuck is that, bro? Oh, it's about the heritage and blah, blah, blah. And then, bro, what is this suit? This is the shittiest fucking concept I've ever seen. Listen to me. The lady who designed this, I think it was, it was the lady who designed this. Listen, I'm sorry. Women shouldn't be in video game industry. There, I said it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm fucking joking. Calm down. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All I'm saying, I don't think they have this problem uh, in, you know, it, you know, overseas. That's all I'm going to say. All, I just don't think they have this problem you know, in in Saudi Arabia, okay? That's all I'm saying. Cause damn, this suit is all right. I've seen this suit. This suit's okay. It's not like it's okay, bro. It's okay. But when they showed this suit, I was like, what the fuck is that and she tries to explain like the reason behind the design listen let me just tell you something if you have a little dick i don't care what your explanation is right at the end of the day it's a little dick that's it end of story bro that's end of story you can tell a girl well i was in nam and it got chopped off when i was a prisoner of war 
You can say, hey, well, a dog bit it off when I was trying to save an orphanage from burning down. You can say whatever the hell you want. At the end of the day, your dick is little. That's it. <laughs> like, I, uh, at the end of the day, this suit is trash. I don't give a fuck what it means to the Japanese or whatever fucking race or origin or ethnicity or whatever the fuck she is. I don't care. Oh, the headgear is symbolic of our ancestors and what they went through during the time of, of immigration. The shoes are what our ninja friends had. Um, the straps symbolize this, the beatings that we got in the country. I, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care. The tattoos on the back symbolize our actual ancient Chinese calligraphy. I don't care. Don't give a fuck. Don't care. Don't care. What's that video? Don't care. All I'm seeing is ass. That's all I'm seeing, bro. This, this is all I'm seeing, bro. Where is it? Where's the audio? Oh, is the audio taken? I don't care. Here we go. I don't. I don't care. Don't care. What'd you say? I just want to know what you okay. said. What did you say? I don't care. <laughs> Don't, don't care. care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Pretty don't much. Don't this. Care. I don't. I don't care. This is it, bro. What'd you say? This is it, bro. She trying to explain. Oh, I mean, we can listen. Let's listen. So some of the details that I really um, took really careful approach was um, both arms has its full sleeve tattoos, uh, traditional Japanese style tattoos. Guess what? Guess what? I just want to know what you said. What did you say? Guess what? I don't care. <laughs> don't care. Guess what? <laughs> both both the both the arms have a Japanese style, traditional Japanese style. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, if that's what Japan has. Fuck your B B one H B one visas, okay? Send them motherfuckers back. And if you were born here, then you need to be sent. I don't know somewhere. I don't go go to fucking Mars. We can't have you on planet Earth doing some shit like this, bro. We we gonna link you up next to the pedos and the murderers. You need to go to prison. You need to be fucking locked up for butchering a Spider Man costume this bad. Ain't no fucking way, bro. There is no fucking way someone gives you, right? Hey, give us a Japanese themed Spider Man costume and you bring some shit out like this. Are you out of your fucking mind? Are you? I'm just curious. Did anyone get, did, did, did they take, have her take a test first to see if she was of sound mind? Because the bitch probably was on, you know, fucking pills or something. All right? There's no way you can tell me someone who is functioning 100% created this shit. There's no way. And in game, it looks even worse. Like the red isn't even red, it's like off red. In game, it looks even worse. I know what you're thinking. How could it look even worse? I don't know, but they found a way. I don't know, but they found a way. Listen. I don't, I get with the whole, maybe it's like a part of diversity and inclusion. Diversity, let me just explain to you when it comes to diversity. Diversity is diversity of people, not fucking quality, insomniac. Let me run that back to you for, for the big, big wigs in the back of Sony. Diversity is a part of people, not fucking quality. We don't want the Raimi suit to be a 10. Well, we do want it to be 10. But then we don't want... <laughs> You to juxtapose that suit with another suit that's a three. And then another suit that's a five. No, that's not the type of diversity that we're fucking talking about. We want all tens when it comes to the suits. We just want different flavors of the suits. We want maybe the Ben Riley suit, right? The classic uh, 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 symbiote suit. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about diversity. Not give a bitch with one eye who's clearly fucking farsighted and has no idea of fucking symmetry, flow, fucking just basic graphic design principles 
and have this bitch design a suit. That's not what the fuck we talking about, all right? You might as well just give him, give him hey, ask a crackhead on the street. Hey, design me a Spider-Man suit. They could have done better than this shit. What the fuck is this? At first, I thought this was a take on when he becomes an actual spider. I was like, oh shit, that's cool. But no, the more I looked at it, the more I fucking hated it. Because I'm like, is this, is this, is this bitch Spider-Man? Is it, what, what's going on here? Is this nigga a maiden? Is, right? What the fuck is happening with this suit? I don't know what the fuck she thought she did, but she just embarrassed Japan. She single-handedly embarrassed fucking Japan with this suit. This suit is dog shit. This is a waste of a fucking slot. This is a waste of a fucking slot. A complete fucking waste. This is what I said they should have done. What they should have done was do a contest for whoever can come up with the best suit wins. If you come up with, do a contest, that way you get engagement from the community. Come up with, a, you do a contest. Hey, have your suit featured in the game. The best Spider-Man suit gets a trip to fucking LA to play uh, you know, the demo of Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man 2. I guess they can do it for Spider-Man 3. But the best costume wins, gets to go to, you know, come to L.A. and play a demo of their suit in the game for Spider-Man 3. Right? That way, you don't have to do the work, Insomniac. Take your, your, your designers, let them have a coffee break. Give them, fuck it, let them have a vacation, okay? Let the fans do the work. I guarantee you would have gotten something better than this shit. The fuck is this? And they're both different. Uh, they, they're not the same. Just they're both different. Left arm, right arm is different. And the uh, back tattoo is a spider. So I really wanted to push that boundary. Now we're supposed to go, ooh, ah, oh, wow. Is that where we're supposed to go? Because it represents Japan or some shit? Or because she designed it? Is that what we're supposed to do? Nigga, my concept art was better than that. My concept art is better than that. By the way, we're working on a model right now. My concept art is better than that. What are we talking about, bro? These are my designs. My concept art is better than that, bro. What are we talking about? I don't even understand. Hell, you can give me one of the ugly designs. It's still better than that, bro. I don't even understand. Shit is crazy, bro. Shit is crazy. But they let her design a suit, bro. They let her design a suit. They let her design a suit. Is that the craziest thing you've ever heard? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. At least one of. At least one of. That's so cool. Brian, and, yeah. And let me just tell you, like, these... Here we go with Brian. I can't stand fucking these businesses, bro. This, because you know they're going to blow smoke up everybody's ass. Nobody can tell the truth, and it's really sucks, man. Nobody can tell the truth, bro. You know what? And I really blah, 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 blah. These are amazing images. Notice what he said. These are amazing images. He didn't say they were amazing design. Brian, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Ain't no fucking. These are amazing images. Notice this nigga is very precise with his words. My man gave her a backhanded compliment. Well, these are amazing images. What do you think about the? What do you think about the design, Brian? What do you think? What do you think about the design? I think it's a very Japan design. Do you think it's awesome, Brian? Do you think it should have been included in the game? Or was it Sony that was like, we wouldn't have Japan suit in game? Is that what the fuck happened, Brian? You can tell me. Tell me, Brian. Is that what happened? Yes, yes, that's what happened. That's what happened. 
was we got you know taken over by by Sony. They were like they told us we had to have the Japan suit in the game. And I I I looked at it. I was like, this is shit. No way to like it. We just, but they told us we had to have it. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. I understand. I understand. But there's nothing actually like playing as these suits in the game. Like as someone who has, believe it or not, played through the game multiple times, I've used both these suits. And they are even more spectacular, actually, when you're playing the game. Yes, of course they are. Yeah, absolutely. Is it the suit, Brian, or is it the gameplay that's spectacular? That suit is fucking ass, bro. Speaking of playing, how do fans... If you don't get grandma off of this fucking, fucking stage, I can't believe they allowed her to fucking design a suit. She, it, hopefully she's saying, I'm sorry, I fucked up. I, I was drunk. It was a long night. My boyfriend left me. That's why the suit looks like ass. I, I, I'm just translating for those of you. I fucked up real bad. I'm terribly sorry. Spider fans are really upset at me. If I could do it again, I would. But there was a deadline. And I was pissed fucking blackout drunk. And they told me I had to turn in the concept art tomorrow. So me and him actually helped one another out in trying to come up with some design. Luckily, Americans are stupid enough to believe the stupid shit and think this is actually a good concept. Japan can do much better. That's what that's what she said. That's what she said. Now he's about to give us the PC version. This is what he's about. He, are you ready for the PC PC version? I told you the actual Japanese. I gave you the raw Japanese of what the fuck she was saying. He's about to give us some bullshit. So there isn't too much uh, thinking of what each character is for me. That's not what she said, right? Too much. There isn't too much thinking of what each character is for me. She said there wasn't too much thinking because she was piss, piss fucking blackout drunk. But he's, you know, he's, he's putting a nice little bow on it, wrapping it up nice and, you know. Oh, yeah, she wasn't thinking. She admitted I wasn't thinking I was fucking drunk. These concepts are shit. I can't believe, you know, that's what she said. But um, I know that the characteristic that's just easy for me to point out is the different of color. Now, you hear that? That's not what the fuck she said. The, the, the characteristic was easy to point out. No, she was like, I was trying to come up with an easy design because I was drunk and I was seeing multiple colors. Okay, that's what she was saying. I was seeing multiple colors because she was fucking drunk. Like uh, Spider-Man, Peter will be more like blue, red, white, mild. No, no, no. She was drunk and she was seeing all the colors of the rainbow. And she was just like. <sighs> and gave him there. That's what she did. It be more blacker, redder uh, designs. Um, so I know if I designed Miles's suit, it would have been, it would come out a whole different version of the Japanese festival. Um, so color. Yeah, you didn't want to design Miles' suit. Wait, no, that is Miles' suit. Wait, no, that's not Miles' suit. That's Peter's suit. She didn't want to design Miles' suit because she was like, she doesn't, they're not really fond of black people. That's why. She wouldn't have been able to come back to Japan uh, if she designed Miles' suit. That's why they got the nigga to design Miles' suit. They were like, uh, can she design Miles' suit? No, 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 no. She does not design Miles' suit. Why, why can't she design Miles' suit? She, no, she will not be able to come back, come back to country. She won't? Really? Yes, that's correct. No, no Miles, no. We don't do basketball players. Miles isn't a basketball player, he's Spider-Man. <laughs> no, there is there is one Spider-Man. We will design that suit. What the fuck? No, there's two Spider-Man. That's the whole point of the game. It's it's two spider No. One. No, there's two. No, what? There's two. I will have a design one Spider-Man. Okay. All right, you can do, you can do, you can do Peter. Okay. That's what the fuck happened, bro. They didn't want to design Miles because they're like, we don't do, we don't do basketball players. 
damn shame, bro. Fucking damn shame. It's 2023, people. Color is basically what I really geared towards. Yeah, Torin, same, same to you. Uh, for me, I think it's it's more attitude. Um, when I first was put on Miles, it was a as a comic, it was different for me because I'm a little bit older than Miles, but I could relate to him as you know a young black oh, this man is the black guy. a kid. So when I draw Pete, it's we we gonna let you slide, bro, because the suit isn't bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad design suit. I don't know what the fuck those pants are. I guess those are like, I don't know what those pants are. It looks like an armored suit as opposed to like something sleek and clean that Spider-Man would wear. And it's another thing. People want to get on me. Spider-Man uses gadgets, bro. The one gadget that Spider-Man has mainly used are his web shooters, bro. Why are people fucking getting on my ass when I say, when I said in my video that, hey, my Spider-Man is going to be leaning towards gadgets. Because that's not what Spider-Man is known for. Why Why do y'all always expose yourself? Hmm? Why? Can someone tell me why? Bro, he uses gadgets. He, uses... he does not use gadgets like that, bro. He's not Batman. He's Spider-Man. The reason Batman has to use gadgets because a nigga is human. He has no superpowers. Okay? Batman uses gadgets as a crutch. That's what he uses them for. There's a difference. Spider-Man may do a gadget or create something for a specific individual or villain on a single mission or something like that. Very isolated events. These mofos screaming about gadgets. What the hell you need gadgets for, bro? You're fighting common thugs. You already have like a crazy advantage with your spider sense and agility. Shit moves in slow motion. What the fuck do I need a gadget to electrocute you for? For what? He's not using that on regular thugs. You guys are dumb. And also, I don't like the gadgets anyway. Stupid fucking concept. But, I mean, it's an insomnia game, so you're going to have gadgets. But I'm like, what the fuck do I need gadgets for? What do I need, you know, a freaking web line, web launcher, all this shit, anti-grab, dummy duplicates and stuff like What? What? An electric... What they should have done is gone back to old school, to be honest with you, bro. Which is, remember, remember what was, I think, in Spider-Man 2, where instead of having gadgets, you would have an electric, electric web. That's, that's canon, actually. And it goes in line with more of Spider-Man, where you have electric web. That would have been fucking dope. But anyway... And then the spider box. That's not Spider-Man. That's Superior Spider-Man, which isn't Spider-Man. That's Doc Ock. Doc Ock is known for spider bots and doing all that. Here's what I don't understand. How the fuck do we not have a way to implement the spider tracer? Did anyone ever think about that? That's a whole, whole ass mechanic that has yet to be used to its full potential. Even in, even in the original PS2 games, they, didn't use, they used the spider tracer. But it wasn't an actual mechanic. It was just used within the story. How have we not been able to use the spider tracer? That's just, I don't know, that's just crazy to me. Because I, I would, that would add a whole new level to, to like exploration. Because you're going and then you hear your spider tracer. Beep, 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 beep. Anyways, but that's just me as a Spider Man fan, bro. That's just me. Let's Black continue. man when I was a kid. So when I draw Pete, it's very classic John Romita. I'm thinking old school Spider-Man. With Miles, you can, I, in my mind, it's a little bit more attitude, more like younger, more street smart. It's it's a different kind of vibe, you know. Brian, I saw you smiling with that. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I think I'm smart enough to know to not give too much feedback to such talented artists because, <laughs> as I said. My man is scared, bro. They got they got fucking Brian scared. <laughs> they got Brian scared, bro. Damn. I can only imagine what it's like, the fucking politics nowadays. I can only imagine what it's like. It was bullshit. When I was at studios, I can only imagine what it's like. He probably couldn't g give them any criticism. Are you Are you telling a black man how to design another black man's character? 
just are you sure you want to give him a stinger? I don't I don't know if you know Miles Morales really has a stinger, you know, coming out of his butt, but I, if, if that's what you want, I mean you absolutely, ab absolutely. You know he can say not a damn fucking word. Poor bride. Poor bride. And he has to sit there and co-sign this this bullshit. Couldn't be me, bruh. Couldn't be me. Listen, these are good designs, but I told her not to add the fucking hair bonnet. I told her not to add the bonnet on Spider-Man. She chose to do it in the... That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I, the tattoos were cool with the spider... The bonnet, that wasn't, that wasn't me. And the cone head. I don't know why she did the cone head. I didn't tell her to do the cone head. We went back and forth. The studios gave her the go-ahead. I didn't approve that shit. I just want y'all to know that I didn't do that. Gave this nigga a fucking alien head. Crazy as shit. And a bonnet. <laughs> Woo! Anyways. Anyways. Say la vie. Say la vie. Bro, we are a week away. A week away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days. One whole week away. One whole week away. Bro, I just, it's just too much, man. It's too much. A week away, people are spoiling. Like, I've already had practically the whole game spoiled, bro. The only thing I'm going to be playing is just going to be seeing what, how, how it actually comes to be, bro. <laughs> how it actually comes to be. Because I still remember going into to Avengers Endgame and this dumb bitch spoiled it for me. Talking about what happened to Tony Stark and everything. I was like, what the fuck? Why would you? What the fuck? So, it is what it is. But, um, so I just, I was in the, I was in the theater like, okay, so when is this going to happen? Is it going to happen here? Is it going to happen there? I was so upset, bro. So upset. But, um. I'm interested to see if it's going to get a game of the year, bro. I have money on it getting game of the year. I just want everyone to know. I do have money on it getting game of the year. I have monies on it getting game of the year. Because do we have the nominees yet? Nominees. Do we have... We don't have the nominees yet, huh? The only thing I see beating it, mid of the year 2023 nominee. The only thing I see beating it is honestly, Boulder's Gate. That's it. Predicting the sixth game of the year. The only thing I Fuck possibly see is Boulder. Unnecessary rambling. This is the channel. Boulder's Gate. The bubble. The big six. Alan. Resident Evil, what? Okay, I was about to say. All right, come on. Confident in these five. You're confident in these five? Okay, Boulder's Gate, Zelda, Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2? Who the fuck is waiting for Alan Wake 2? I mean, I'm all down for Alan Wake 2, don't get me wrong, but game of the year? Are we fucking on, are we on drugs? Like, is if Alan Wake 2 gets nominated for game of the year, we're having a very slow, slow day, bro. Like a shit year. I would think that Jedi Fallen's take out Resident Evil 4. Who the fuck is nominating Resident Evil 4 for Game of the Year? Stop it. No one's nominating Resident Evil 4 for Game of the Year. That would be fucking crazy. Take out Resident Evil 4, put in Jedi Survivor, put in Jedi Survivor, swap those out. Uh... Swap out Alan Wake 2 with Mortal, not Mortal Kombat, with Final Fantasy 16. That's what you do. Swap those two out with Mortal Kombat 16. Maybe less so with Spider-Man 2, and I think that just comes from it not releasing. But it, I'm a, a lot more confident in Alan Wake 2 for some reason, which probably should be the other way around. But Yeah, like what? Alan Wake 2 is pretty big, big of a deal. It's a big deal. It's not game of the year, bro. Like, no. 
It's not game of the year. It didn't do what what new mechanics has as uh like any new mechanics has Alan Wake done? Not that I'm aware of. The gameplay I saw was like, okay, it's just Alan Wake with higher graphics. Resident Evil 4 was a remake, was it not? When the fuck are if they give start giving remakes game of the year, then the gaming industry is done, bro. What are we talking about? I honestly think uh uh Mortal Kombat 1 should be on here, to be honest with you. If we start giving uh, uh, remakes game of the year, then you know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna watch. I'm not even gonna watch the like the the game awards because it's just it's it's literally would be pointless at that point. Not gonna lie, I would have focus other topics other than Spider Man Two game to not get it spoiled. So mess up how folks are spoiling the game. Yeah, it is what it is. It'll be the story that'll make Alan Wake Two win. You're out of your fucking mind, bro. It's a video game awards, not story awards, game awards. No game should get it off of just having a great story. That's the craziest thing ever. Like the craziest thing ever. Now that we've seen a you. All right, this is the full measure. What does he say? Potential game of the year. Really? We have potential game of the year being... Alan Wake and Boulder's Gate? Okay, potential game of the year. Okay. What's that one? I don't know what that one is. Does anyone know what that one is? I don't know what that one is. What is this? Hold on. All righty. Uh, dude, I'm actually starting to get like a hoarse voice here. Uh, so I didn't think there's going to be this much talking. God damn it. Um, Phil 100% disagrees with me on Redfall. Phil probably disagrees. Skip. I I can't tell you guys how what is how much I want Remnant 2 to Remnant. be game of the year. Remnant 2. I've never even heard of Remnant 1. Remnant 2? Remnant 2? Really? Remnant 2 is I. What is Remnant 2? Remnant 2 is a failure of an RPG. <laughs> really? Was Remnant 2 good? Was Remnant 2 good? Because I'm not seeing a lot. Let's see, Remnant 2. Loot and build crafting have been greatly improved to allow for countless possibilities. And Remnant Two was fire. It's trash. I've seen a lot of people reasons say it's trash. to grind. Boss fights. Do you think Starfield will get nominated? Yes, I do think Starfield will get nominated. There's no way you snub Microsoft that far, bro. There's just no way you snub Microsoft that hard. Been completely overhauled to ditch spongy bosses aided by endless waves of minions. And each of the realms feel diverse and brimming. Remnant with 2 is Dark Souls with guns. Seven things out of to ten. do and secrets to uncover. Really? But procedurally generated, impressively replayable levels remain its killer feature. And here, they've been improved in so many ways, it's alarmingly easy Too short to for lose half a day by jumping back into the same area what? just to see other possibilities. Y'all better be hitting the like button, bro. That's all I know. We don't have to wait for a third one. When it comes to games like this, the second time's the charm. Really? IGN likes a game? That's rare. Back in 2019, a lot of us, myself included, skip. This is a long ass. Each world also deal. includes, as you'd expect, a bunch of boss battles, and this is uh, one of those areas where you can tell that the developers listen to the community feedback about the first remnants boss fights lacking any real personality. I'm extremely uh -huh. happy to report that Remnant 2 has not only corrected this weakness, but now counts its boss fights as one of its main strengths. While there are certainly some uninspired fights, like a random lady who throws Molotov cocktails at you, and a blob monster who's just That's a lame. beefier version of an existing enemy you see a lot already, 
the vast majority are not only delightfully difficult tests of your skill and your character's build. Look up, I look up Baldur's Gate 3. There's no way the game is winning game of the year. But also have plenty of interesting mechanics. I don't know, man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yo, There's one wild. fight where looking at a boss for a few seconds makes your character go mad and die, and another where a ghost traps you in a haunted house and pops out of the walls to scratch your face off. Oh, shit. My That's personal favorite is an unforgettable encounter where you become trapped in a maze and have to physically fight the labyrinth itself as you navigate it and avoid getting crushed by giant cubes. Interesting. In fact, that might be my new favorite that's boss fight crazy. in any game, period. It's Yo, that good. Yo, that's pretty dope. In order to- In anything, any game, period? In fact, that might be my new favorite boss fight in any game, period. It's that good. Wow. The Labyrinth Sentinel, was it Was it that good? I mean, that, 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 that movement right there, to go in underneath it, that's pretty dope. In order to stay ahead of the spend a lot of time gleefully optimizing your build, the most significant and exciting decision two, you'll make two is a and good then constantly iterate upon is your archetype, aka your class. At the start, you'll so it really is all of them have guns in. Pick from four, then discover more throughout your journey if you keep an eye out all for secrets. Remnant Two sagely allows you to switch archetypes at will, so you're free to experiment and level up every role on a single character instead of restarting from scratch. Maybe you want to try out the Hunter, who highlights all enemies on the battlefield and has a passive perk that makes critical hits extend the duration of any skills you've got equipped. Or maybe the Challenger with their area of effect, War Stomp, and ability to automatically get back up after taking fatal damage. Mm -hmm. But the real fun comes once you unlock the ability to simultaneously equip a second archetype in the middle of the campaign. This opens up a whole new world of hybrid possibilities. Equipping the Hunter and the Pet Summoning Handler at the same time, for example, has some great synergy where you can direct your furry ally to distract. Skip. How revealing. Because every Remnant two or Baldur's Gate three storylines, you'll almost certainly end up in different worlds in a different order, fight different bosses, and find completely different quests along the way. It's not just a matter of rearranging rooms. The differences between each run can be so dramatic, they hardly even feel like they're part of the same world. In one playthrough of a realm called Yesha, I spent almost the entire time indoors traipsing through these dark corridors full of crazed cultists, while on another, I found myself in these dense woods, and in another still, I was what? lost amid this maze of hovering platforms. In one run of the fantasy world Lassam, I spent the whole time in these slums, fighting off vandals and ne'er-do-wells. Uh -huh. In another, I spent most of my time in these gilded palaces, Doing fighting what? winged angels and armored paladins. They're fighting almost entirely different. Carefully now, stranger. You don't have to start a new Why? campaign to experience all of the possibilities, though. After you've beaten the final boss, all right, skip. challenging they and memorable it? boss fights, ultra-dense build crafting options, incredibly cool dynamic levels, and a clever multiversal dynamic concept levels, huh? that allows for a ton of different adventures in one package, it's very likely going to become one of my most played games this year. No matter which part of the multiverse- Wow, a nine? Are we serious? A nine, wow. Baldur's Gate. Gate three. What did Baldur's Gate 3 get? Baldur's Gate 3. Powerfully written and skillfully voiced characters to count. That any video game will ever match that level of flexibility, Baldur's Gate 3 is a big step forward from what we've been able to do in the likes of Skyrim or Dragon Age. If something looks flammable, you can probably light it up with a fire spell. If you want to save on lockpicks, most doors can be hacked down with a big enough axe. You can okay, get to a lot so. of secret areas that other games would have blocked off with invisible walls by jumping and climbing. 
I was able to skip a huge boss fight by challenging this big zombie guy to a drinking contest and having a high enough constitution score to goad him into drinking himself to death while I was still roaring for more. This is a world that will rarely tell you no okay. if you wonder if something is possible. Now you want to play? Or is there a better chicken in you and all? And you can even bring up to three friends you, along with their own custom characters and co-op. I was right. impressed with how smooth and seamless this experience was. It only gets better and funnier when you realize that you can have one person distract a guard by talking to them, while the other steals everything that's not nailed down behind their back. Huh. There is a huge amount of freedom in who that's you can be in this ass. world as well. The character creator is one of the best- You can kill anyone? Really? Well, at first you had my attention. Well, no, my curiosity. Now you have my attention. You can kill anyone in I've the game. I've seen in a long time, featuring 29 different sub races with unique abilities and models, if you count all the different colors of Dragonborn at least. Each of the 12 classes have at least three specializations. Even kids? <laughs> what? They allow you to kill the kids? To kill the kitties? Wow. Things that play quite differently. That sounds with awesome. Wizards and clerics getting even more to choose from. I just love I the art direction the on every humanoid enemy and even the outfits. Look how pretty I am. Just look at me. It's not just the static mo model. Okay, I a bit weird. It's a bit weird. If you want, if you want to be trans, then just be trans, bro. Either. The variety of expressive faces everyone can make and the shockingly good performance capture for a game of this type helps everyone come along. Bro, that's a big deal to be able to kill anyone in a game. LT Gaming Satan, bro. Live even more. She's a tiefling, not a monster. Lyrian's incredible attention to detail extends to the area design and writing as well. That's exemplified by the city of Baldur's Is there like an actual story to this game? Gate itself, a hub full of life and adventure that came around to awe me anew, even though it took me 90 hours to reach it. Almost every citizen hours? has something to say about the unfolding events. Yo. Gortash has to make some tough decisions to keep the city safe. And nosy exploration is consistently rewarded with new lore, new loot, and new quests. Hours. Wow. It's downright astounding how much voice acting Larian has crammed into these streets, and how good nearly all of it is. Get back to lurking in alleyways where you belong. There are <laughs> dozens yeah, of die. random gossipers on street corners who are fun. just as enthusiastically and professionally portrayed as the main cast. I think this may get game of the year, bro. And rarely sound too- Although the early reviews of Spider-Man 2 were good, it seems like they really outdid themselves Too similar to each other. The more the people like you, the more you can get away with. I assume many of the- I think the ultimate test is if I play it and I actually enjoy it. I think that's the ultimate test. Because this is usually a game that I probably eh, would glance at, but not actually buy or play. But if I play it and I enjoy it, it's going to get game of the year. It's as simple as that. Actors involved must be responsible for more than one of these bit parts, but I can't tell just by listening like I can with some of Who the more that? familiar voices in Skyrim. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. First among mm. this delight- People will get lost in the game, just try and kind crazy- all, just try all kind of crazy stuff. Delightful like, cast what, what are type your of companions. crazy stuff? A motley crew of multi-layered, interestingly flawed characters who both grow and sometimes regress. Really, over is the, the writing of the that campaign. good? I think I'm a different person owing to you. The cheerful, eager tiefling Carl would, I would smash. Black, who has basically a demonic bomb instead of a heart, quickly became my best That's friend. Pretty hot. Ugh, to feel so invincible again. I had flings with the. I would smash too. I would smash her too. Our cleric Shadowheart, the arrogant wizard Gale, and yes, the stoic Halson, who can turn into a grizzly bear among other creatures. What? What do you mean? He's he's Atreus up in here, bro. He's Atreus. Can you? Here's the question: Can you smash multiple though? I know they usually have 
certain uh, you know plot lines where you can smash one of the characters can you smash all of them bro and get like a freaking a love triangle going on yeah you can bruh game of the year boom game of the year bro plenty more where they came from and they all have That's elaborate wild. background stories and the capacity to significantly mm -hmm. change the main villains about whom i will speak. here's the ultimate way in determining if you can get game of the year can you do a threesome can you seduce like two of the women and be like come over here can you do a threesome that's the ultimate that's really the ultimate like are we doing kratos style are we doing kratos style over here can you get can, can we get a three-way going on or is it one at a time is it one at a time you can do a foursome get the fuck out of here bro y'all y'all the line bro Y'all be y'all be saying anything, bro. Y'all are lying, bro. Stop it. Really? For real? For real? Bruh, what? We may we gonna have to play this, bro. We we may have to play this, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. No way, bro. That would be dope. That's insane. Spoil as little as possible are just as richly written with complex motives and their own individual brands of math. <laughs> AC says how much it costs. ...that inject new and greater threats into the last third of this epic length adventure. Try again. When it was time to roll for initiative, Baldur's Gate 3 really never failed to impress Bro. me with the care and thought. I don't even play games like this. I don't I can't stand that fucking take time, time taking role playing fucking roll a dice bullshit. with which its encounter design was set up to torture me. It's like each battle is carefully crafted to make me want to scream at the dungeon master, "You bastard." And I mean that in the Wait, best why? possible way. Way. One fight involved teleporting imp creatures who garrote my party members before carting them off to separate locations, preventing spell casting and forcing everyone to fend for themselves. Wait, what? The next might be against some terrifying. What do you call? What was that? What do you call a pudgy psychic? A fortune teller. La 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 la. This guy, a, a pudgy psychic, a fortune. Taylor. Insectoids who leave everyone literally petrified with fear. So I have to find a way to win without being able to move. Wait, what? At no point have I been able to fall back on a repetitive grinding routine. You think on your feet or you die and reload your last quick save. Really? The combat does take some time to get going, and the first four levels or so can feel unnecessarily brutal due to how fragile your characters are when they start out. Yeah, dang. That's mostly a product of adapting 5th edition D&D so closely, and Larian's designers didn't take it upon themselves to correct this long-running problem from the tabletop. Though they do often give you ways to even the odds or avoid combat altogether if you're clever. Oh, nice. Yo. But once my party got beefed up with five levels worth of upgrades and some magic items, hmm. I was happily blasting, slashing, and shooting my way through fights using all of the versatile abilities and environmental options at my disposal. Oh, you got environmental options? World the story spans over wonder. three acts that each took me around 40 three hours acts. to complete. Oh, it took him three hours to complete. That's only nine Playing hours. Playing like an obsessive completionist and finishing as many side objectives as I could. Each has a very distinct vibe and look, with Act 1 being Pastoral Wilderness, Act 2 being the spooky part, and Act 3 treating us to dense urban adventuring. It can feel a bit slow hours. at times, since the first act had me chasing down several different leads to solve the same problem, and Act That's 2 insane. presents more questions than it answers, right up until the final set of confrontations. Hello, Isabel. But discovering okay. exciting new areas, strong side quest writing, and fun combat encounters meant I never lost motivation. The really amazing thing is not how big Baldur's Gate 3 is, though. 
What much has been made of its scope, but I would honestly not have minded if it were around half as long as it is. No, the magic is in how almost none oh, he of said it 40 feels hours? like filler. No matter how far- What? Hold up, 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 hold up. He said nearly 40 hours and none of it feels like filler? Cap. That's just cap, bro. Stop it. That's cat, bro. Bro, 40 hours and none of it feels like filler? Is that what he wants me to believe? Come on, bro. My man is lying. My man is lying. That's a lie. Bullface lie. Ain't no way. ...from the main quest you stray. Gentlemen. Contain yourselves. Every random house I wandered into or side quest I picked up rewarded me with a memorable, unique, handcrafted role-playing experience. Even a random note found on the body of a bandit might tell a heartbreaking story about their past. Which Bro, he's one of those reading notes in games. There was a kidnapping at the school by my house. It's okay, the kid woke up. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. Which gives weight to every decision to fight and kill. Don't judge me. I have nothing. And while the first two acts have plenty of difficult choices, the big ones I had to make before committing to a final plan of action in Act 3 are a work of devilish genius. Without spoiling anything, realizing that my enemies were so many steps ahead of me by the time I reached the city was heartbreaking but I still felt empowered by the opportunities that remained to alter my own destiny and assemble a truly impressive coalition of allies. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. Even more gratifyingly, the last stretch often called back Skip. Skip. Take inspiration from, this is absolutely it. I waited 14 years for the stars to align again so that we could get the ideal mix of crunchy, tactical, old-school RPG combat and epic and well-written story. You've seen five playthroughs of the game and they all look different? How everyone... What? You've seen five playthroughs of the game they all look different? That's crazy. A masterpiece! Wow! A masterpiece. A masterpiece? Hold on, bro. What does it get on Metacritic? A master 96? Bro, it has a 96? Yeah, it's probably going to win game of the year. It's probably going to win game of the year, bro. A masterpiece. How many games have a 96? I'm curious. What the fuck? 89. Oh, is this a movie? Taylor Swift, The Errors of Tour got an 89? Okay, I don't know about that one. Lords of the Fallen. Okay, where where hold on. I gotta I gotta know which game's got a freaking a 96? What game's got a 96, bro? How many games have gotten a 96? Can we see which games have gotten a 96? Metascore. Um, oh, these are all 99s, 98. So Caliper, Red Dead, 98, 97. Okay, so they, they go by 90. Okay. Has there been a game that's gotten a full 100? Grand Theft. And Mass Effect 2 got a 96, huh? Uncharted 2 got a 96. Really? Okay. Let's see if there are any games. Hold on. Any games of this year? Let me see. 2003. Legend of Zelda. Baldur's Gate. Metroid Prime. Remastered. Oh, I'll play it. Tetris Effect Connected got a 96. Okay, now, now I'm starting to believe this is bullshit. The Witcher 3 got a 94. Okay, that makes sense. The Case of the Golden? Has anyone heard of this? The Case of the Golden. It got a nine, it eight. Oh, this is an eighty-four. That's still fucking hot. What did Spider Man two, Spider Man one get? Spider Man. 
What is Spider Man? Oh, we got an 87, really? An 85. How did he get? How did Miles Morales get two points lower than Spider Man? Why? I wonder why they gave it an 85. 85. Wow. Okay. Hmm. What do we think Spider Man 2 is going to get? I think it may get. I Damn. Thinking of Boulder's Gate, 96. I think it may get. I think it may get like a 90. I think it may get a 90. It'll break 90, bro. It'll break 90, I feel. It'll break 90. Xenoblade? Really? A 92? Dead Cells Return. I've never heard of this game. Oh, Dead Cells Return to Castlevania. Never mind. Uh, Resident Evil 4. Really? A 93. Wow, okay. Cocoon. Never heard of it. Street Fighter. Okay, that makes sense. Turbo Overkill. Has anyone heard of Turbo Overkill? I've never fucking heard of Turbo Overkill. They gave it a 10. Masterpiece, bro. Turbo Overkill. What is Turbo Overkill? Oh, it's like a Doom clone? Why is it so bad? It's like a Doom clone. The Sin virus is rapidly spreading its tendrils across the city. Your mission? Okay. Burn it out. Purge it at absolutely any cost. Bro, this is Doom. We're entering Paradise airspace. Johnny Turbo is our primary target. That tunnel's bricks gone silent. The boy has been Oh, that's pretty good. So this is Doom. I mean, I think Doom was solid, so. Best make this a quick trip. Paradise isn't the place you want to be for long. I don't, I don't get it. This is like. All aboard the pain train, sir. This is like Cyberpunk meets Doom. Am I missing something? Let's see some gameplay. This is like Cyberpunk meets Doom. Yeah, this is... This is Cyberpunk meets them. How did this get so high? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get that one. It doesn't look that good. Um, anyways. Diablo, Sea of Stars, Quake 2, Jack, Jean? I've never even heard of these games. Has anyone heard of these games? Jack, Jean? Okay. Jack Jean on the Switch. Oh, how the hell did that get a 90? Really? The making of Karateka a 90? The making of Karateka? What the fuck is this? This was on the PS5? Has anyone heard of this game? Did anyone hear of this game? The making. Let's see. Wait, are they for real? Wait, it's actually showing the making of the game. What? 
Emma misses him. Okay. All right. 87, huh? That got the same, this got the same score as uh, Spider-Man. I just want people to understand this. This got the same score as Spider-Man. That's wild, bro. That's absolutely wild. Cyberpunk 27-7, Phantom Liberty. That was good. Dave the Diver. I saw this on one of the dudes' uh, uh, tier list. Does anyone know anything about Dave the Diver? June, Dave the Diver. Rumor has it Ed Boon is going to show Omni-Man gameplay tomorrow, bro. Well, he already said that it's not going to be coming out tomorrow. He made clear of that. Dave the Diver? If you would have told me that one get? of the best games I'd play this 90? year, standing alongside Bro, this got higher than Spider-Man? Juggernauts with mega million dollar budgets would end up being a retro indie RPG where you play as an obese scuba diver who runs a sushi shop? I would have believed you, actually. That sounds awesome. And it is. I remember, I, I thought we saw this trailer or something. Just like an actual ocean, Dave the, Dave diver, the diver is beautiful 90? at first glance, but then you dive into it to find a vast, wonderful world to explore just beneath the surface. I don't understand. This waterlogged adventure manages to exceed the expectations of an already hilarious premise, with some of the most irresistible exploration, sim management, and mini games I've seen in a long time. That kept me completely glued to my seat for far more hours than I'd ever intended. With characters and a story that are deceptively dive. substantial and open a sushi bar near the mysterious bell. Everyone in Italy sick characters like more substantial than a goofy and memorable cut. I was using adventure RPG supplies, battle wet foes, and complete quests, while also managing a sushi shop by crafting recipes, cooking, hiring and training employees, and dealing with an extremely fussy clientele. Okay, that got, uh, that got 90. That's fucking wild. Hi-Fi Rush, now that was fun. Hi-Fi Rush, remember we played that? Damn, it's back in January. Hi-Fi Rush, that was fun. I would give that a 90. Not even an 89. It deserves a 90. What's Gravity Circuit? Anyone heard of Gravity Circuit? How are these games getting 90s? Like these, I just don't understand. What okay. Pizza Tower. This was madness. This is where this way madness lies. Okay. Yeah. High five is underrated. That's facts. Shadow Combat 86. 86. See, Sipu got 86. I would think it would have gotten a 90 at least or 80. Really? Really, it got 86. That's wild. PlayStation gave it a 90. PlayStation Country. Really? 71 on PS4. 81 on PS5. 79 on freaking PC. 83 on PS5. Really? What were the negatives? I wonder what were the negatives. Mixed. 13%. What were the mixed reviews? Game Informer. What? Despite an excellent combat and an intriguing world design, Sifu falls too short of, a, of its premise. Regardless of whether you're playing it casually or going hard, the death mechanic is simply too punishing to be enjoyable. What? Perhaps with fairer system, this would make for a better game. Oh my god. 
For beat em up fans, start for new games to play Sifu remains an obvious recommendation, even those taken by its copious charms will want for more after they've seen it. Wow, this is crazy. Brawling with goons is fun, but the demand for perfection when facing difficult bosses leads to wearying re repetition. This is what I'm talking about, bro. These mofos aren't, they couldn't handle freaking physics in Spider-Man. They're talking, even for those who like harder games, they acted like Sifu was fucking Elden Ring or something. <laughs> they, act, they act like Sifu was like a Souls game. This is wild. The, all, do you understand the complaints that I'm seeing are mainly from like saying it was too difficult? Replaying the same level over and over again to grind out XP you need to advance isn't a challenge. It's poor design. Who, what? Who was replaying the same level to grind out XP? Oh my God. Randomly making your enemies invincible to spice up the difficulty isn't a challenge, it's poor design. Who was invincible? I could go on, but I think this review is becoming like one of Sifu's levels, endlessly repeating itself. Oof. Sifu offers plenty of unique promise, but it's no Kung Fu master yet. The difficulty spikes will be off-putting for some. What difficulty spikes? I think the woman with the, 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 the blades was difficult, but everyone else was pretty manageable. But others may enjoy the challenge. But the way it stacks the odds against a player is more frustrating than fun. And yet players look for a new challenge might want to pick up Sifu. This is crazy. They complaining about the difficulty in Sifu. Chinese term Kung Fu roughly translates as skill acquired through hard work and practice. Sifu might just be the purest expression of the concept that games have ever seen. The journey is brutal. It's not for, for the faint of heart. Sifu? Nor the short of patience. But those prepared to rise to the challenge will find that something spectacular comes. And he gave it a 60. I don't understand. A straight action game, the core combat is elegant and original, but the roguelite structure makes the already monotonous difficulty just too much to bear. This is fucking crazy, bro. Now I see why game developers make games the way they do. I see why they make games the way they do. Y'all are retarded. Bro, it got an 86. Bro, it got 86. It got an 86. That's crazy. I wonder if this how many review bombs there were. 86, bro. That's crazy. 86. It deserves lower than that. I don't know how, how the game passed freaking 50, to be honest with you. When does Warhammer, the new Warhammer, come out? 85? Really? I mean, to be honest, I didn't think the game was all that anyways. But it got, it got an 85, huh? I would have thought it would have gotten an 86, 87 something. Oh, see when the... Oh, he's one of the, the mocap artists. Oh, that's pretty cool. No way. Really? Ah, uh, 85 is like, that's like meh, isn't it? That's like, eh. I mean, Spider-Man got an 87. That's crazy he got an 87. 85. PC gave it 78. Why do PC people always give things lower? Let's see the mixed reviews. Only 7%. Look at the mixed reviews. Power Unlimited. The Gamer. You want to know what I want to know? Uh, Spider-Man. What were the mixed reviews for Spider-Man? Hit the like button. How did Into the Spider-Verse get an 87? Bruh, nah, we can't trust Metacritic. We can't trust Metacritic. It got an 87? How, Sway? How did it get an 87? That's crazy. That's crazy. Spider-Man, what? They gave it a set. Okay, these people don't know what the hell they're talking about. We can't trust them. They don't know what they're talking about. No Way Home got a 71. 
Okay, Spider-Man 3, 83. It deserves higher than an 83. These people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They gave Spider-Man... Wait, hold on. Okay. Spider-Man 1, they gave a higher score than Spider-Man 2? Shattered Dimensions at 76? What the hell is going on here? 68? Bro, they gave Spider-Man the movie a higher score than Web of Shadows. Oh my god, my brain. My brain. This is hurting my soul. Spider-49. Oh my lord. They gave Spider-Man the movie higher than freaking Edge of Time. They gave it higher than Edge of Time. Oh my god. Gosh, bro, who are I want to, bro? This is this is this is crazy. I, this is just crazy, bro. These people are insane. I want to see the PS4. Oh, that was for PS4. Let's see the negative reviews. Oh, there are no negative reviews. Okay, let's see the mixed reviews. Seventy. Wow. Spider's mechanics feel fluid and satisfying enough to keep players engaged throughout the entire campaign and bring your interactions with the world often feel detached. That's exactly what I said. Uh, spoiler alert, they still feel detached in Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man is a stark example of outdated sandbox games whose goal is not to entertain but rather preoccupy players. And it uses every cliche in the book to do that. What? What is this? These reviews are insane. These reviews are fucking crazy. I think these people should have to take like a a test first to see if they're meant, you know, emotionally stable. The game shows tremendous love for all things Spider-Man. The Indies packs a punch he would be proud of, but Insomniac can rely too much rely too much on its hero to evaluate to elevate the world around him. With the result that the game wears thin sometime before its powerful conclusion. I wouldn't disagree. Web of Shadows. Who gave this? I'm very curious. Who gave it such a bad score? Okay, let's see. Nintendo D. Oh, that's right. It came in all of these. PlayStation 2. The 360. Oh, this is based on two. This is based on four critic reviews. 44, 57. What were the negative ones? Ultimately, though, it comes back to crushing disappointment. Nothing here was impossible in the last generation of consoles. And after playing other open worlds, the city of New York seems bland in comparison. Which was a major improvement from the last Spider-Man game, which should give Spider-Man fans some renewed faith. Blurry textures and average story and Peter Parker's voice gets on our nerves. But overall, Love of Shadow is a cool Spider-Man adventure and much better than the Horde Spider-Man 3. Looks flashy and fun, but ends up being a shallow, repetitive troll. Wow. A shallow, repetitive troll. I gotta use that, man. That's a... Wow. Goodness gracious. Spiral Mode Shadows features solid visuals, some really enjoyable moments, an upgrade system is effective, and there's some replay value. Perfect game, there's... Too much to grind, and the first act is ba badly realized. Bro, they just allow everyone to fucking give a review, which is crazy. It's just everybody gets to have a review, bro. Everyone. You get a review. You get a review. You get a review. What do they get for No Way Home? Who is hating on No Way Home? This is wild. Who is hating on No Way Home? What monster was hating on No Way Home? Let's see. Any negative reviews? Okay, no negative reviews. Mixed reviews? What I will say is director John Montana's a grand convergence is a proper own the games. The thought the level of energy is over overstocked and overwhelming? How is it overstocked and over Oh my god. Greatest hits package specifically designed to hit every fan service. Doesn't give us any indication of where the story is going or why we should care. Uh, okay. All right. I've had my fill of those.
I've had my fill of those. Let's see what he says about Spider-Man 2. Um, and probably like a whole bunch of other ones that we don't know about yet. Lizard's in as well and things like that. And Lizard's always a fun time, right? I, um, and, and then it's, it'll have this mechanic of you being able to play a switch between playing Peter or Miles. And we don't know how that's going to affect the story. And inevitably, would you have to choose between one of the two or will it affect the ending somehow? We don't uh -huh. fucking know. The game's not out yet. So it's difficult to say. That being said, there's a lot out. of the systems in this game that will most likely make a reappearance in the sequel. And so a lot of systems in the first one that will most likely make a reappearance in the sequel. Okay. And that might end up being a case of that everything that was so awesome and new and fresh and fucking insane about Spider-Man, the first one that came out, is not going to feel, it's not going to land as fucking hard in the sequel. So it's entirely up to the studio mm. and... This is in the most, you know, how can I say, th this is in the best hands to allow for a winning fucking experience here. But um, there's going to be a lot of things that need to potentially, you know, be spiced up, be changed, everything like that to just for me, for me to elevate this above me just saying, well, it kind of feels like an expansion pack to the first game. Again, Ooh, wow, wow, super wow. fucking crazy shit for me to say without having even touched a controller with this game. So... So be that as it may, I'm not going to fucking dig a grave for myself any further because I could very well be fucking 100% wrong about this. But I don't think that we live in a world where this doesn't get considered for Game of the Year because it's probably going to have a really good fucking story. Uh, yeah. It's probably going to run like a fucking monster on the PS5 because this is, this is, ne is next-gen only. So this is, as far as I know... Uh, again, I could be wrong, but this is this is PS5 only, so they don't have to worry about fucking backwards compatibility and all this fucking junk. That's and so true. they're going to be able to go ape shit uh, um, on what this game can bring to the party, and it's probably going to be pretty fucking sick. Jedi Survivor is... Bro, don't put... Zelda... Okay. Zelda, Final Fantasy 16, the winner's Baldur Gate 3. Yeah. That's what it's looking like. I'm not going to lie. Bowler's Gate 3 seems to be the winner, bro. It definitely seems to be the winner. It definitely seems to be the winner, bro. But moving on. <laughs> Bruh. Did you all see what Jada Smith said, bro? Oh, my God. This woman is a monster. She's a monster, y'all. I'm telling you, she's a monster. She's a vicious, cold-hearted monster. Oh, we also, I also have this. So this is my design. Just, I think I already showed you guys this. I already showed you my design, bro. This is my design for Spider-Man, bro. Well, not Spider-Man. We're going to call him uh, Arachnid Man or something. Or uh, the Spider. That's what we'll call him. Because we can't get in trouble for the Spider, right? It's the Spider. Yeah, we're going to call him the Spider. Excuse me. I think we're going to change the boots. I'm going to change the boots to, 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 to brown. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. So he's currently being modeled right now. The human spider. I think. I think. I think we just like the spider. Call him the spider. Uh, bro, she says some crazy foul stuff, man. Some foul, foul, foul stuff, bro. When y'all freaking kit me up? Where is it? In the notifications. I was like, no, she didn't, bro. No, she didn't. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it because I like it. I always, I like certain posts, not because I necessarily like them, but to go back and read them. Where is it? Oh, then I have to do a video on this one. Have you all seen the woman who uh, who wouldn't get out the car? 
Oh my lord. Oh man, I don't have it. Where is it? Does anyone I gotta find I hold though, since we're here, we have to see what actually happened. Because what I heard is that she was she made them late. God dang it, that's not what I was trying to she made them late. Um And as a backup, so it's... he uh, he went to, to 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 the cheesecake factory. Can someone tell me what's wrong with the cheesecake factory? Is that not like a spot you go? Am I missing something? I feel like I may be missing something. Why why don't we go to the cheesecake factory? You heard about Carly Russell getting sentenced? I did, and it's complete bullshit. It's only a year. I got to do a video on that. That's absolutely, she should be sentenced for the rest of her life. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Messing with the guy playing the piano on the street? No, I didn't see that. I can tell it's not going to be there. I have. And because he made reservations, allegedly, maybe we're not right for each other. So respect. how, why did he even, I don't even understand what they don't even look like they go together. Am I missing something? Bro, am I missing something? Like I'm so lost here. Hold on. Let's see the first video. Cause this is the follow up. This is the follow-up. I, I, this is... I'm lost here, bro. First date, she refused to get out the car because he took her to the Cheesecake Factory. What? Yeah, she looks like a powerhouse, bro. Like, I don't even understand. Okay. Now, I have no problem with this, right? Because I think women like this, I want people to understand, just because she's a woman doesn't mean she deserves uh, love or caring <laughs> or respect. No, I'm teasing. Uh... But all honesty, some women, I hope people understand, some women are created to have dogs. Do you understand? Some women are created to have dogs. I don't know what it is. Some women aren't even created to fuck. Let, let, let that sink. Right? It's the same thing with these dudes. Some of these dudes aren't created to have a companion. Their companion is a dog. It's a cat. All right? So when you come across these women, this is why betting your women is so important. Betting your women is so important, men. And the bet program will be coming out. It will be coming out. All right? It will be coming out. The bet program is so important because this man wasted gas, he wasted his time, and he was about to waste his money on a fucking, you know, on, you know, a non, I won't say a non-human, but an NPC. She's an NPC. This is a non-playable character, bro. No, you're not supposed to talk to her. She's an NPC. Do you not understand? Some of y'all are going up to NPCs. She, she, she's not even a sock and she's not wifey. She's just a non-playable character in the game of life. The only person that's supposed to approach a woman like this is a dog or a cat. That's it. She's not built for human consumption, bro, or human interaction. That's not what she's built for. Y'all don't get it, though. Y'all don't get it. Look. I want you to understand going like, mm-mm. Do you understand how little, little respect for yourself as a man you have to have to put up with something like this? 
Because she's not fine. She's not fine. Me and her got the same forehead. Okay. Depending on what she looks like standing up, I can already tell she's big by her boobs. She's a bigger woman. Now we just need to see what the shape looks like. I, I, I just don't know what to tell you, bro. She's fine to you, then you fuck her. But based off of what I'm looking, it looks like you're a woman. And the most irritating thing I hear from women is women saying stupid shit. Women say the most stupidest shit. That's why you don't listen to them half the time, man. Every actual man knows this. Women will say the stupidest shit ever. Oh, she's fine. Okay. So if you're telling me if you were, you were a dude, you would fuck her? Absolutely. Now, they know if they were a dude, they wouldn't fuck her. They know that, right? But women say stupid shit. They, they, women are the biggest pieces of shit on this planet to other women. Let me just clarify that. <laughs> women are the biggest pieces of shit on this planet to other women, okay? They want to complain about men. Boo-boo, you know a man has never been your problem, okay? Because you can find another one by, by fucking break, okay, by lunchtime. It's always been the bitches you hang out with because they hating on you, dry hating on you, okay? Wishing for your downfall, not really friends, backstabbing you. Let's, let's keep it a buck, okay? Let's keep it a buck. Giving you piss poor fucking advice. Let's just keep it a buck, all right? I'm just saying. Your friends are married? That doesn't mean not a damn thing. Did, did Will Smith and Jada Pinkett not teach y'all niggas anything? Did Will Smith and Jada Pinkett not teach y'all niggas anything? It's not about a marriage, y'all. See, y'all think because there's a, a rock on it, that means you... you you have to, you gotta get, you gotta dig deeper, bro. A lot of these women are married to bushy men and they don't care because the bills are paid. They got an offspring and they riding around in a new car. And so they'll keep on with the marriage. They'll go to the fucking, you know, the dinners and the events. And she knows damn well this nigga got dick on his breath. She don't give a fuck because she's doing her own thing. Do you understand how often that is? Or like, I'm, I'm just, you guys got to be joking me, right? Do you understand how many dead marriages there are? It's insane. Y'all are wild, bro. It's crazy. And married women are some, some of the biggest hoes, right? What, that's what, bro. I'm just saying, back in the heathen days, the, a married woman who's unintended is, is fucking single. Let me just, re, let me rewind this for you. A married woman who's under, unintended is single. There is no difference, okay, from the single girl at the venue and the married woman at the venue. If she has not been attended to properly, they're the same person. They behave the same fucking way. The only difference is the married woman may be slightly more discreet with it. But other than that, it's the same damn thing. A hundred percent. So all you niggas with those jobs out there, you struggling, you hustling, right? I'm telling you, if you don't keep up with the marriage, somebody's going to keep up with your wife. And then you'll complain about, oh, I'm getting a divorce. Nigga, you haven't dicked her down properly in a while now, sir. And there's a, there's a youngin, a fresh nigga, 25 or something, 23, who's been looking at her, giving her compliments, saying shit to her that you used to say. I don't know what to tell you. Everybody's human. I don't know what to tell you. Everybody's human. I'm just letting you all know. And ladies, the same thing goes for your man. I just, I, same thing really goes for us. Really goes for us. You don't look the same way when I first met you. Okay, you've let yourself go. And then like, I'm, it's, it's hard to get it up because I'm not attracted to that. I love you, but as far as physically, no, it's not, it's not there. I'm just, it just is what it is. And then you add on top a, a, a big woman with a big attitude. Bitch, that's, that's strike one, two, and three. 
Because you big, that counts as two strikes. The attitude counts as the, the last straw. So now you got three strikes against you in a marriage. There's only so much time a nigga can have patience, right? Every nigga has a, has a limit, even if he knows divorce is going to fucking bank, you know, uh, bankrupt him or something. Some of these niggas be like, nigga, I got some money stashed away. I, you know, I'll be able to coast for a little bit, but I can't deal with this bitch. I, I can't deal with her mouth. I can't deal with the way she looks. She was, she's fucking repulsive. So he'll do shit on the side to the point where he can't, you know, you know, he has to come out like, listen, I can't do this anymore. So I'm just letting you know, bro. I'm just, I'm just keeping that out there. God forbid you have kids, bro. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Do you know kids have been a fucking, they have been gorilla glue. Do you know how, do you know how kids have been gorilla glue for so many marriages? Bro, stop it, bro. Who are we playing? <laughs> so you don't have kids. You don't have kids, bitch. You got Elmer's glue. That's what you got. All right. And God forbid it if the kids are ugly. Yeah, that's not even Gorilla Glue. That's Elmer's Glue. You, <laughs> Bitch, you got Elmer's Glue, all right? It's not even Gorilla Glue. God forbid the child has some type of disablement or disability or some shit. You don't even have Gorilla Glue. You got, <laughs> you got duct tape, bitch. You got just not even, not even duct tape. You got scotch tape. You got, you got the dollar store or scotch tape holding this shit together. Goodness gracious. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, so I just, I just hope people understand this, which is why it is so important when it comes to vetting your partner. Like, it is literally, besides choosing a career, because you can choose a different career. I hope people understand that. You can stop doing what you're doing, go back to school or do whatever you want, and choose another career. That is a possibility. I and mean, it doesn't matter how old you are. It may, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, depending on that. Yeah, depending on what career you want to do. But it is possible. Absolutely. That is not the same fucking thing when uh, you get involved with somebody and God forbid you have a child or shit gets, gets crazy. That's not how that works. Emotional scars and financial scars do not heal the same. Okay? Emotional scars and financial scars do not heal the same. So y'all got to keep that in mind. All right. Y'all got to keep that in mind. Because this is crazy. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Now, my man is lost, lost. My man is lost, lost. I don't even know what's going on here, bro. He must be one of those red pill dudes. <laughs> he must be one of those red pill dudes where somebody told him, hey, just make a, make a lot of money, okay? Make a lot of money, uh, and, then, and then go find yourself a girl. Find yourself a woman. Well, I like chocolate. That's fine. That's fine. Chocolate likes you. Because... That is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, did you want me to open the door for you? Crazy. That man is crazy. I would, I would try to get a conservatorship over him. Yes, this nigga's clearly not of sound mind. I would like to get a conservatorship over all of his finances and everything. This nigga is bona fide fucking crazy. Are you... You're recording me? Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. This ain't even a relationship. This is apparently a date. Now, ladies, black women, since she is black, uh, this is why y'all are single. And when I say y'all, I mean those of you who are single. That's what I mean. Some of y'all, the funny thing is, some of y'all in relationships and are single. You won't get that until tomorrow morning. I'm going to rewind it for you. The funny part is, some of y'all are in relationships but are single. You're not going to get that one until tomorrow morning. It's okay. <laughs> you won't get that one until tomorrow morning. 
some of y'all, some of these Negroes is doing y'all like Jada. Me and my boyfriend, he's looking around. Where? Where is it? Nigga, it's you. Oh, 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 shit. My fault. My fault. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm, crazy. Crazy. Let me just, let me just tell you, uh, this is why some of y'all are, this is why you guys are single. This is why. Right here, this stupid, goofy shit, single. Single, and then you wonder why you can't find a good man, because no good man is going to put up with your goofiness. No good man is going to put up with your goofiness. No man is putting up with this. So you always going to be scr you always going to be going from the bottom of the barrel just cuz you talking about oh I can't find a good I can't find a good black man. No good black man going to find you. He not looking for you. That's why. <laughs> the reason why you can't find a good black man is a reason is because he's not looking for you. He not looking for this. And if he does find this, he going to throw that shit right back where he found it. He going to be He be like, "Oh, Ooh, ooh. Give me some, give me some sanitizer. That's what's gonna happen. So she's gonna have that smile. What is she? I would argue she's probably about what? Mid 30s? Mid to late 30s? Mid to late 30s acting like this. Boo boo. Boo boo. Reality check hasn't hit you yet. You haven't gotten a knock yet. You haven't gotten a knock yet? That's crazy to me. Imagine being mid to late 30s, early 40s, behaving like this. Crazy. Crazy. And then you wonder why you single. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. This is a chain restaurant. What, am I missing something? Who takes someone that looks like this? Y'all wonder. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all that love and hip hop got y'all fucked up. I, I, I'm just saying. You wonder what the leading causes of interracial uh, uh, marriages and relationships are? Black women. Just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Do you want to know what the leading causes? The leading cause of interracial relationships regarding black men? Black women. Because... <laughs> He doing everything right, bro. He doing everything right. He doing everything right. He even asked, do you want me to open the door? And he ain't even a black dude. He ain't even a black dude. Lucas, where's your woman? My woman's uh, 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 making dinner right now. Actually, she has a headache. So we're gonna get, we're gonna order. We're gonna order food. But she made me food yesterday, the day before that, the day before that. I got mine. Don't worry about me. I, I, I practice what I preach. I'm not one of those who just talk out of their ass. I practice what I preach. Don't worry. I'm out of the game. I already got mine unlocked. I'm good. I'm secured. We good. We look into the future, okay? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make some shit happen, bro. I'm trying to have a little nino and a little nina. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? Don't worry about me. Your boy, I'm good, pimping. I'm good. Now, you women like this and you men like this, y'all are the problem, okay? Y'all are the problem, all right? Because the only reason why somebody would not want to have kids is because of women like this and niggas like that. That's the only reason why. Because I can only imagine if you have a little boy, right, and he grows up, you teach him, hey, I want you to be a gentleman, do all this, and then he finds himself with a fucking heifer like this. I would kill the bitch in Minecraft. That's what I would do. I wish I would teach my son to be a, a gentleman and all that, and he goes and falls for a woman like this. I, I don't care how old he is, bro. He could be 32, 42, 52. I don't care. I still not going to. Even with my cane, I won't have a cane, God be willing. But I, 
Open up, bitch. Open up. Uh, you were on a date with my son, right? Yes. Why, why, why you treat him like that? Why you being a bitch? I can smell the dick on you right now, you, you fucking shock. Yep, 100%. That will be me. 100%. Ain't no fucking way you doing this. I will show up at your motherfucking job, bitch. That's what I will do. Where is she? Where is she? That, that's her. That's the one. Right there. What the fuck? Who are you? That's, that's, that's the bitch who, who treated my son like shit. He, he, he took her to dinner. He didn't, didn't even text him back. No fucking half a bitch. Well, I don't even know what he saw in you anyway. Look at you. You even smell. Did you wash up today? I will go to your fucking job and embarrass you. You will have a old, old black man roasting your ass. I know I got a big forehead, but you got a big everything. God damn, bitch. That will be me. A hundred percent. You go ahead and do some shit like this, my boy. You go ahead and do some shit like that to my daughter, bro. Teach her to be respectful, double that, and you try and fucking play her. I wish a nigga would. You would have Grant, <laughs> you would have Daddy Lucas show up. Hold up, don't, don't worry. Daddy gonna take care of this. Daddy gonna take care of this. Let me, let me talk to the man. Yeah, I just wanna talk to him. That's it, that's it. I just wanna talk to him. Tell him to come on outside. Oh, this, this is nothing, Dave. This ain't nothing, this ain't nothing. After fucking Lutely, bro. After fucking Lutely. Because you know these women be falling for fucking FedEx workers and shit like that. I'll run up on a fucking Amazon worker. Listen, nigga. Let me talk to you. Let me come here. Let me talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Jimmy wants to talk to you. I don't. I, I told Jimmy that I didn't have a problem with you. But Jimmy, Jimmy kind of upset with what you did to my daughter. That Jimmy upset. So you may want to talk to Jimmy for a little bit. Take... Take a break, my nigga. Take a break and come talk to Jimmy. That's what the fuck will happen, bro. That's the only reason smart niggas is actually... Mm, is it worth it to have children? Is it, is it... Do I really want to place them in this fucked up planet? Would that be responsible of me? That's the only difference. Because hot damn, this is a crazy situation. Crazy situation. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You wanna talk about it? You wanna talk about it? Oh, oh, oh my god. I you want to talk about it. Bro, I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't know what to... It's stuff like this that leads men to fucking the bussy sphere. It's stuff like this that leads men to the bussy sphere. That's what it does, because you all it's going to take is one red pill bussy negro to come and... Hey, man, fuck them hoes. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. I tried to ask her if she wanted... Yeah, that's right. They're all like that, bro. All the fucking whores, bro. You just gotta... And then go about... All right. All right. That's all it takes, bro. All it takes. Bro, I wouldn't take her to McDonald's, fam. And that's peak for me. I love McDonald's. I wouldn't even take you through the drive-thru looking like that. I'm... I'm fine with talking about it. <laughs> even in front of them. Oh, right. yeah. I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come, Come on, on. Get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Do you understand why she's with a man like this? Because black men, I don't know not one fucking black man on this planet that would deal with this. I'm talking about the lames of the fucking lames and like the alphas of the alphas. I don't know not one fucking black man that would deal with this. I genuinely do not know. Like genuinely. The only type of men that would deal with this are non-black men. Because they may find it fascinating. Ooh, I've never been talked to like this before. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is a new experience. No black man, I don't care. Like I said, the lamest of the lames. 
to the alphas of the alphas. No one in between is going to put up with this. Yes, sweetie, you need to get in the car. <laughs> but I tell you, keep the car, bitch. I'm, I'm walking. <laughs> Stay in the car, bitch. I'm walking. Do whatever you want to do with the car, bitch. I got insurance. I don't even give a fuck. Will Smith is a homosexual ace. Will Smith is not black. He's a homosexual. They have, that's a different group of people, okay? That's a different group of people, all right? Different group of people. When you're in the wrong, then you deal with a whole bunch of shit, right? When you're in the wrong, you deal with a whole bunch of shit. That's what you have to say. All right? If you build up this sham marriage and everybody knows you sucking dick on the side, then yes, you put yourself where you have no leverage. It just is what it is. You put yourself in a position where you have no leverage. It's an untenable position. That's different, okay? That's different, right? That's like you killing somebody and you give it the woman and she's the only one that knows the secret. You, you have no leverage, right? She has leverage. So you're gonna have to deal with all the stupid bullshit she puts you through. Just is what it is. It is what it is. So that's different. Keep that in mind. Jada, as I said in the video, she's going to come out eventually be like, well, I did smell penis on Will's breath. He did come back smelling like penis. You, it's only a matter of time before she comes out with a video like that. Only a matter of time. We already see what's happening on with... Do you think that nigga's a positive influence on what's what's that nigga's name? The little his son's name, Jada, not Jada. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Little boy who's wearing fucking dresses and shit like that. <laughs> Jaden, there we go. Do you think Jaden? Have you seen Jaden? Do you think that nigga's been raised by a man, or do you think that nigga's been raised by by two women? Okay. Do you think he's been? That little nigga doesn't know what to do. Poor boy. Poor, poor soul. Okay? Does that look does he look like he's been raised by a man, a black man? Or does he look like he's been raised by two fucking women? Alright? Stop it. Don't play with me, bruh. Don't play with me. Ain't no black man's son gonna be looking like that. You see, Magic doesn't even hang around his son. That nigga Magic cries every day. It's very rare to see Magic Son and Magic in the same fucking, <laughs> the same photo, bruh. That's rare. He, he disowned his son a long time ago. Let the, if that nigga wants to do that shit, let the, wasted his fucking genes, his height, him as a, god dang. Magic is thoroughly disappointed, okay? But that's what happens, Magic. You can't be up in Hollywood and all this shit and not expect your boy to turn out like that. That was bound to happen, bruh. That was bound to happen. She thinks she's funny. Oh, I want it. Let's see. Let's see the rest, bro. Let's see the rest. This is the rest. This is this is the crazy part. Let's see the rest. This is this is part two, I think. This is part two. I can tell it's not gonna be there. I and maybe we're not right for each other. That's crazy. She got resting bitch face on. That's wild. Resting bitch face on. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? That's crazy to me. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, bro. I hope this was a skit too. I really do hope this was a skit. I really do. So respectfully, I... But here's the thing. Even if it's not a skit, this is really a reflection of a lot of women. That's an unfortunate part. A lot of you women, I won't even say a lot, but many of you women are fucking delusional, unfortunately. And I know you guys are wondering, why, why, why am I not married? Why can't I find a good man? And it's because it's not because there aren't good men out there. There are plenty. Good men hang around other good men. It's because you're not a good woman. And very rarely do good men get with good women. It's usually by accident. Nine out of ten. Okay? That's why it's a little difficult for you. Because you're known either, you're either a sock 
or you're an NPC. A sock, both of those, sock and wifey, both of those have uses, right? Sock, that's sexual appeal. Smash that all day. Wifey, that's long-term. But an NPC, you have no fucking appeal. You have no conversation, no looks, no career, you nothing. You're just a delusional person on the planet. NPCs need cats. NPCs need dogs. NPCs need like, I don't know, fucking kabucha and shit like that. They need something to live. Those are the women who like love Earth Cafe and shit like that. <laughs> they ain't got fucking nothing, but it'll be at Earth Cafe at 8.30 in the morning having brunch and shit, blah, 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 blah. All right? It just is what it is. So... Don't try and take an NPC out of the NPC lifestyle or you're gonna have a you're gonna have a rough time. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. I'm gonna oh, just drop you off at home. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah. So you just want to call it a night? As opposed to what? As opposed to what? Like, I don't understand. As opposed to what? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, compromise? We don't, I don't compromise with terrorists. That's what I would have told her. I don't negotiate with terrorists. It's as simple as that. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Uh, Ladies. This gotta, this gotta be like, this has to be a troll, right? This has to be a troll. Can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but I, if I don't feel respected, I, I mean, um... <laughs> excuse me. This has gotta be a troll. I'm not gonna go with you I mean, with the rest of the on. day. Well, I mean, you are serious. As opposed yeah, I mean, to, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean, I That's... mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some. What? Are Are you trying to negotiate now? You were late. That's why I thought it was what. I, I... This got to be. This got to be a skip, bro. This has got to be a skit. Hey, there's no way. There's no way. This got to be a skit. Good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you? You were late. You could have been more cooperative, and now you're willing to compromise? Ladies. Ladies. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them, and you've broken everyone. So. Oh what did I tell you about no goes? What did I tell you about no goes? What did I tell you about no goes? Every man's got to have no goes, bro. You don't have no goes, you deal with bullshit. What did I tell you? That's what's supposed to happen. He must have watched the vet program. Yeah, I gave him an early copy of the vet program. He's giving me feedback on what, you know, what I should, you know, take out and revise. He got an early copy of the VEC program. I want people to understand. He got an early copy of the VEC program. He got to this, he got to the chapter that went over no-goes. That's it. That's as simple as that. I don't care what she looks like, who she is, what, you know, what she does. Once she crosses the no-go, it's no-go. It's game over. Game over. That's it. Now, he dealt with a lot of shit. 
And that's a reflection of his standards, right? There's nothing wrong with him. At least he has some no-go. Like I said, some of you guys don't even have fucking no-goes. At least he has no-goes. Now, his threshold is higher than I would say, than, than mine. It's most definitely higher than mine, bro. It's most definitely higher than mine. You fucking late, depending on how late you are, because I get it, I'm fashionably late, or was, to all dates. Once we talk about an hour, no, but you're going to have to reschedule. But you're not rescheduling with me, you're rescheduling with the next guy. You ain't going to show up a fucking hour late, God forbid. Okay? The most, depending on how hot you are, 10 minutes. Max. And that's because I'm going to be late probably fucking eight minutes. That's max. Okay? You're out of your damn mind. It's not going to happen. Because I got backups on the ready. Girls, I told them, eh, I'll, I'll let you know. My stomach's not feeling so good right now. So, you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know how, how late she was, but yeah, that's not going to happen. He, that, that would have been, that would have been, you'd been done already, bro. Before we even begin, you would have been done. We wouldn't even gotten to this scenario. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we're dropping you off. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You got to do what you got to do. That's correct. That is correct. You looking hella goofy right now. You got dressed up, all this makeup. Hella goofy. I understand where you're coming from. Look at that. She understands some respect. You can hear the act right coming over her. You hear the act right? I can you 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 hear the act right coming over her, right? Sometimes women need that. Cause they will push and push and push because they think you're full of it. And given as far as what he dealt with, I would have done the same. If I was her, I would have done the same. I would have done the same because I was like, yo, this mofo ain't he ain't, he ain't got no spine. I can push him around you know anywhere I want. She just pushed a little too hard. Pushed a little too hard. Now the act now she sees that she pushed a little too hard. Now she got some act right in her. Oh, that's good. Use that act right for the next guy. Hmm. Yep. Tell me this is a prank, bro. Tell me this is a joke. You gotta tell me this is a joke, bro. Tell me this is this is a <laughs> This is a skit or something. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. I refuse to believe that's real. <laughs> that's real, bro. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. That's crazy. Fernando says, what would you rather do? Spend a day with Andrew Tate in Israel or play Starfield with this chick? Play Starfield with this chick. Why the fuck would I want to spend a day in Israel with fucking Andrew Tate? Yeah, I spend a day playing Starfield with this chick. Depending on what she looked like, uh, she would have to have a dress code of some kind. I know she got junk in the, you know, oh, well, not junk in the trunk. She got junk in the front. But I'd have to see her like, eh, what, 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 what we got? Is this a shape up? Is this a lift up bra? Because I'm not, because you have to understand. I know a lot of guys who are, or who like that. That shit falls and hangs once that bra comes off. And that shit goes, it goes from here to there, bro. That's what that, <laughs> it goes from here to there, bro. I just, not, not really my speed, bro. Not really my thing. But some dudes like it, bro. Some dudes, they, they fucking love it. Not my speed. If you going if they're gonna be big, they they're gonna have to like they don't have to sit right. They don't have to sit right. I've seen some good jobs, some good boob jobs where it was like, oh, they look natural, but they sit very nicely. Would have never guessed. I don't do the 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 natural big boobs thing, because I'm not really fond of fucking big boobs slapping, you know, fucking going up and down. 
Not my thing. Not my thing. But to each his own, bro. To, to each his own. Some dudes like it, but that's not my speed, bro. So seeing that, that wouldn't be impressive to me at all. I would just be thinking about, ah, oh, fuck. Her boobs are going to be smacking her face. I'm going to be, ugh. Not really my thing. Uh, down to the knees is wild. I mean, you'd be surprised, bro. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> I hope people understand they weren't talking about, like, bullies with that quote, right? The bigger they are, the harder they fall? Yeah, no. That's not what they were... They, that was referring to boobs. That's what they were... That's what they were referring to. Not, uh... Not, not bullies. I just want people to understand. That's where the quote originates from. Uh... <laughs> Oh man. Where's is, where's is Jada, bro? Hold on. Where J Jada <laughs> she said something about the wife comment. I was like, Yo. Imagine smacking a woman, smacking a dude. Where this is it, this is it, this is it. Damn, smacking a dude over a woman who doesn't even like, who are you? Listen. I roll, not so much for me. And I think this is really important, but the mm -hmm. fact that there could be a jab at mm -hmm. alopecia. Will then went on a profane mm -hmm. tirade warning Chris alopecia, not to what? mention his wife's name. Jada couldn't believe what she was hearing. What is going on? Now, first of all, I'm really shocked because Mind you, I'm not there. We haven't called each other husband and wife yeah. in a long time. Bruh. 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 Bruh, leave Will alone. We need to have intervention for Will. Leave Will alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's dead. You killed him. Leave him alone. Can't you let his body rest? His body's not even warm yet. Just leave him alone. Bro, leave this man alone. Girl, what is wrong with you? Let him be. I'm like, what is going on I right keep now? My wife's, wife's name. name out of your yes. mouth. Yeah. Who is he talking about? Oh my god, bro! I was joking when I said that. I didn't know it was actually true. Right? And I'm yes. like, but now I'm really worried for Will because I. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, I need some alcohol, bro. I, I need some alcohol, bro. You really worried for Will? This nigga's crazy. He doesn't know that I haven't been his wife in quite some time. I don't know why he's referring me to his... Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Fam. Why did she do this, bro? <laughs> I don't even understand. Why did she do this? Why? I think honestly, I think Will. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Honestly, she she she's just getting this off her chest. To be honest with you. I mean, think about it. Think about living with a homosexual in a sham marriage for years. Think about that. This is the only thing that would explain it, bro. This is the only thing that would explain it. Will Smith is a homosexual. And this is her getting back at him. It's the only thing, bro. It was the only thing that'll explain it. You make, you make, make, you make it make sense. You make it make sense. This is the only thing that actually explains it. He's a homosexual and put her through hell during this marriage. 
She knew it was a sham and couldn't say anything. And it constantly had to always smile for the cameras. Only thing that makes sense, bro. I don't know what's going mm -hmm. on. What viewers did not wow. see at the time while Oscar clips were being shown was Chris Rock leaning over the stage to talk to Jada. And Chris looks to me and he says, Jada, I meant you. I meant no harm. Now, I, I'm just... Don't tell me you don't tell me she didn't say, Well, I didn't take any harm by it. I thought it was fun I thought it was a funny joke. Just out of it, because I yeah. really worried about And Will. what's Will doing? He's just sitting there. And Will's still talking. He's like, oh. he's still cause now he's mad because Chris is talking to me. And I go, Chris, this is about some old sh that's all I could <laughs> think to say, yeah. right? This is about some old sh Bruh. Bruh. She threw him under the bus. Oh my God. Right? And I couldn't really take in his apology. How unusual for Will, a guy who, I mean, on that kind of stage to do something so insane. Absolutely. It's totally it's out of not character. not him whatsoever. She's like, it's not him whatsoever. Trust me, I know. He was trying to act like Tupac. I don't know why. Oh my God, bro. Oh my Lord. Can this man have any peace? Can Will have any peace? Make it stop, bro. Make it stop. Bro. Can this man have any peace? <laughs> bro, this is hilarious. Bro. They have a partnership, <laughs> for sure, because she married that evil with it for no reason. <laughs> oh, man. There's no way. There's no way she's ev that evil and wicked. <laughs> he said she has a partnership for sure. Oh my God. Lord in heaven, man. Will about to, Will about to off himself. Will about to off himself. Someone said a visual representation of Will Smith's marriage. Bruh. Bruh. A visual representation. Oh my God, bro. This is, man, somebody save this, man. God, dog, I just don't understand. The only thing I can make sense, and this is payback for forcing her to live in a, to be married to a homosexual. That's the only thing. Only thing that makes sense. That's the only thing. Because, God, dog, I just don't see how someone can be that evil, bro. I really don't. Because that is vicious. That is vicious, bro. Anyways, what was someone saying about uh, 
Israel. Listen, I still have to do my Israel video. I'm be honest with you, I don't care. Um, I just find it crazy people looking at Israel's coverage as like the final word of what's going on. That's crazy to me, bro. That's what I find crazy. I'm like, wait, what? I know here in the States we lie. But you can't listen to anything the government tells you. These mofos is talking about how Israel was beheading babies and stuff. Like, what? Do we have any proof of this? Any evidence? Uh, no, but uh, that's what they said. Okay. You mean the same... The same state that uh uh was spying on us allegedly. Crazy. Crazy. Jenna Hayes says, "Nah, man, you tripping? She doing this to stay relevant? She need money. What does Jada need money for? They're still married. What does Jada need money for? I don't understand." Have you been watching Sean King's page? No. What is Sean King? What's going on there? What's happening on Sean King's page? What am I missing? What's going on here? Oh, he no longer has a million? Oh. Four out of five cops. Wait, he hasn't said anything since. That can't be right. Wait, Twitter's not showing the actual post, the updated post? Oh my god, this fucking. Fucking what's his name? Elon Musk. These aren't the updated freaking posts. Lord, uh, my family and I remain in Gaza City until the moment. Almost everyone in Gaza and the northern provinces fled to the south. We feel like we are the only ones left here. I do not forgive everyone that left us to die in the bloodbath. May our faces haunt you forever. I don't even know what the fuck y'all look like. I don't know. I'm told that Palestinians in Gaza deserve to suffer because they voted for Hamas. But the last elections were in 2006, and 60% of the Palestinians are under 30 years old. They didn't vote for Hamas or anyone. Less than 1% of young Palestinians participate in decision-making. Uh, what else is it's a two. Voting records shouldn't legitimize hurting civilians. Americans are not a legitimate target because they voted for Bush, who targeted Iraq war based on a lie. Israeli civilians and not a legitimate target are not a legitimate target because they voted for Mr. Racist Ben Giver. The same applies for Palestinians. I don't think I understand that one. The CNN journalist Sarah Sinder, who announced on air that babies and toddlers were found with their heads decapitated has now apologized for for spreading false information. Bro, I don't know what to tell you, but um, America's got a sick, sick, I think it's an abusive relationship with Israel. It's, it's, that's what this seems to be. It seems to be a very abusive relationship with Israel. I need to be more careful with my words and I'm sorry we were misled. What do you mean misled? How are you misled? How, how are you misled? Misled by what? Where do you come across saying toddlers were found with their heads decapitated? If wh Who are you misled by? Like, I don't understand where is this propaganda? Uh, people do understand this is propaganda, right? Israel's allies with America, so you're not gonna have anyone in America 
fucking criticize Israel. Even though there's Jews who are like, hey, there's a difference between Judaism, being a Jew, and being a Zionist. I hope people understand this, right? Like, if you expect any actual criticism of Israel, you're not going to hear it from any type of American outlet. That's not going to happen, bro. Because what they're going to deem it is uh, anti-Semitism. That's what they're going to deem it as. They already deem it when it comes to school or when it talks about Holocaust or anything like that. We don't have these same rules and regulations on any other form of speech. <laughs> on any other form of speech, bro. You can talk about trans and what causes trans and why is it trans and all of that. Talk about gay. You can talk about all of that, bro. You can't even talk about uh, uh, Judaism and the regulations and limitations on freedom of speech. Or even... Uh, uh, What's the place called that was founded off of a, a Jewish person, you know, uh, forcefully uh, not having mutual uh, relationships with someone? What is it? The, the, what's the big uh, uh, corporation that uh, attacks on behalf of uh, uh, the Jewish, Jewish people? I forgot what. The ADL. That's what it is. The ADL. The ADL, bruh. Yeah, bro. This is, I mean, this is wild. It's just wild. I don't know how something that that egregious is spread. Like, how does this even happen? Yesterday... The Israeli Prime Minister office said that it had confirmed Hamas beheaded babies and children while we were live on air. The Israeli government now says today it cannot confirm babies were beheaded. Bruh! So, hold on. Call me crazy, but this seems like mm, propaganda. It seems like they confirmed it while they were on the air to have them say it while on the air. And then, because they know how the media works, they're going to retract what they said via print. Bruh! Are y'all crazy? I, I know I'm not crazy. I'm not stupid. I can play stupid to get along, you know, to get along, to get along, bruh, if that's what y'all want. I can play stupid. Well, it's just an innocent accident, okay? People make mistakes all the time. I can play stupid, don't get me wrong. But uh, being on this planet for quite some time, I know that mm, shit doesn't usually work out like that, bro. People just don't, uh, uh, just so opportunistically make mistakes. Right? You don't make a mistake that just magically happens to benefit you. Very, very rare. Just... Very rare. That's all I'm saying. But, you know, like I said, I can play dumb. I can definitely play dumb like, what? How did this happen? I can't believe it. No way. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know if people happen to understand during, like, war or any type of conflict. <laughs> and then we got a uh, good old Ben Shapiro. I'm curious what uh, Kundis Owens is saying. I would pay Kundus Owens 50K to tweet out free Palestine. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know Kundus Owens is Ben Shapiro got her on a, a hell of a tight leash. After her talking with fucking Kanye, she was like, uh, dear Ben, can I do an interview with Kanye? No, bitch. Don't even need, don't even ask me about doing an interview with Kanye. Okay, Ben. Okay, I won't do an interview with Kanye. I won't. Absolutely not. I don't even know why I asked you. Oh, I'm curious to hear what her, what her thoughts are on the fucking conflict. <laughs> you know, Ben got a fucking, he got a fucking whip. Just waiting for Candace. Just waiting. 
Candace. Yes, yes. Have you done your video yet? Not yet, not yet. We're still writing the script. We're so. Still... You support Israel, right? Absolutely, absolutely, abso ab absolutely, of course. Okay. All right. I'll be I'll be eagerly watching the watching the video. Okay. I just want to you know. But you can do whatever you like. You can say whatever you like. It's free speech here at the Daily Wire. <laughs> okay. It's a free speech. You can do whatever you like. I just you know I just just watching the video. I just be very interested to see what you have to say. Oh boy. Did Matt Walsh have a spicy take? That man has a spicy take for everything else. I wonder what Matt Walsh, let's find out actually. I'm just curious. What did Matt Walsh have to say about uh Israel? Let's see. Did did Matt Walsh have to say anything? Where's Matt Walsh? Oh my god. Hannity. All right, so a few months. Let's let's hear if he had any intakes. Oh wow, this man's not even talking about Israel. <laughs> Sean Hannity shows his true colors. Wait, what, sir? You not even talking about Israel? This is probably not the most important issue right now. Teacher has gone viral. Jada Pinkett Smith. California input. What you talking about, California? This guy could be a world-renowned rapper. The new demand from fem. Hold on, we gotta have we gotta have something about Israel. Recent murders show how sick our society is. Dull actress writes about her abortion. Matt Walsh reviews his first podcast. Men teach women the definition of women. You, no, you tell me this man has nothing about Israel. You tell me he has nothing about Israel. We got, this is bound to backfire, terrible parenting, free Britney, presidential debate. Yo! What is this? What the fuck is this? That is the most homosexual fucking background I've ever seen. Yo! Bitten boy! Benny boy went to fucking Matt Walsh was like, Hey, Matt Walsh. Hey, you you heard what's going on in uh in Israel, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard I uh, heard what uh what's going on in Israel. Terrible, terrible. You uh, plan to do a video about uh about it, right? You're gonna have uh, the right side of history, right? Uh, that's not really my my type of content that I put out there. But I fully support Israel. I fully support a hundred percent. Okay. All right, you know, if you ever want to put out a video, you know, it's free speech here at the Daily Wire, free speech. Um, I, just let me know. I'm just curious to, you know, hear your take on the whole Israel-Palestine thing going on with Hamas and everything. Just curious, just curious. Oh, absolutely, I sure, sure will, I sure will. Oh, my fucking goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. These niggas is, this boy is cucked. First off, anybody who takes advice from a nigga like this is just wild to me. Just like Damn. cuckoo for cocoa puffs, bro. Like, what are we talking about, bro? This is the dude that you're listening to. This is the dude. Like, I just find this just mad crazy, bro. The people people take advice from, just just mad fucking crazy, just insane. Like, do you think he's defending his wife if she if somebody runs up on him? Is that what you think is happening? Or do you think he's one of them? <laughs> like he screams dead jeans. That's what he screams. He screams it. I just, I just find it interesting. Like, do, do we have no white superheroes, bro? Do we really have no white superhero? We need some white superheroes. Cause if this is these are the people, him and Jordan Peterson and P I can see why the birth rates are declining. And the women are like, you know what? I'm good. I'm just saying, bruh. Goodness gracious. 
Lord in fucking heaven, man. I'm just, this is just wild to me. Anyways. Anyways, that boy got him on a leash. Are the comments, do the comments say anything? Oh, oh, oh. He's, wait, he's commenting on Sean Hannity. Okay, let's see what he has to say about, about the Gaza. Intervention approach, it, it's at least reasonable and rational and worth taking into consideration. It's not a crazy point of view. Uh, yet some Republicans are quite mad at him, including Sean Hannity. And I want you to listen to a little bit of this exchange. Uh, if your campaign is principally being run by super PACs, people who can give up. Bro, we're talking about fucking Baba Booey. Oh, my God, this man is crazy. He's ducking freedom. So I don't really call it a corrupting influence or suggest that somehow that's a corrupting influence. I actually like the experience so one that of the goes things along that people with working can do is actually defense one of the contractors. But I've got to listen. One of the things I loved about that interview with Tucker, one of the things I loved I about that interview with Tucker was we were actually able to have a thoughtful conversation was, was, and go listen, deep into issues Tucker all you want. rather I than like this Tucker. kind of, I've got that kind of great political gotcha. The point is this. Good. You, yeah, so you, watch the you go interview on these interviews. Said. Yeah, I, 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 I have nothing but nice things to say. But here's your problem. People should you watch go it. on these shows, people quote your exact words, and you deny your own words. And I'm going to pause it. Uh, Yo. I, I do love the fact that uh, Vivek brought up his interview with, with Tucker Carlson. That was great. Uh, and forcing, I think that's the fir- that's that's got to be the first time since Tucker left that anyone at Fox has even said his name, uh, that anyone has openly acknowledged him, says his name. I think we all, uh, Tucker Carlson is part of his allies communities uh, to speak up for people who are really victims, uh, the powerless in our in our world. And in this, where you say, well, he was stuck by his principles. Did he have anything to say on Gaza? Consistency. Not, not a consistency that we applaud. Not the kind of consistency we applaud, but it's, a, it's still an amazing consistency. He's talking about consistency. Six or seven years in a comedy show, never managed to say one funny thing. And- Bruh! Oh, he's scared, boy. They got this man scared, boy. And they all, bro, they got these, they got this boy scared. That boy is scared. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. That's absolutely fucking wild to me. This man, he yeah, he hella shook. I don't even think he'll say Israel, bro. Does he? Can he spell Israel? But the real issue here, even putting all that aside, uh huh. The real issue is like, what is what's the problem exactly with what Vivek has said about the situation? In the Middle East. The situation in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, we. Woo. Bro, he's so shook that he had to commentate on an interview of someone discussing the situation in the Middle East. Oh, God damn. Benny Boy is whipping them at the Daily Wire. <laughs> Say you love Israel. I love Israel. Say it again, Candace. What was that, Matt Walsh? I love it. I love it. What? What? Say it. Say it. Fucking say it. God damn. Bro, I would. I can do it, bro. It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Look at this man, bro. That is a sign of fucking defeat. Look at that. He he even knows he's a fucking cuck. Look at the cuckness in his face. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, bro. That says I let I let uh, strangers fuck my wife. Look at all that. Bro, how do you how do you sleep at night? Being fucked that hard. I just don't understand. How do you sleep at night being cucked that fucking hard? This man is literally trying to just, just you can see his thoughts. My man is shook. He is sh- like, I don't even want to, I want to say the event. Uh, in the Middle East. <laughs> the event in the Middle 
Well, who's the event between, sir? Who's the event between? Uh, 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 the, the people that start with the J and then the people that start with, 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 with an H. And then there's a other group of people that have a, 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 a start with a P, but I, I don't want to get into it. Uh, I don't, I don't want to get into it. He may be listening. Who, Wash? Who? Tell me who. He may be listening. He may be right around the corner. I don't know. What are you talking about? Tell me. It's okay. No one can hurt you. You're safe. Who are you talking about? It, it what? What do you mean? Israel? Yeah, I know. What, what, what about Israel? What's going on in Israel? The, the, the what? Boy, hot damn. Goodness gracious. Damn, bro. Couldn't be me, bro. That's why when, when a lot of these places were asking me, hey, you want to work here? You want to work here? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm not going to allow you to dictate what I can and can't say. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we can make this emoji. Who, uh, what's the new emoji? What do we, uh... What are we thinking about? What are we thinking about? What are, what what uh what emoji are we thinking about to replace? It's time we switch it up. My man is shook. Shookity shook shook shook. Um Oh the dude? The guy who's the side the the, the simp? <laughs> Do you remember that when his girl was like, yeah, mm, yeah, I want to be with you forever. Bro, that was so painful, bro. That was so painful. So freaking painful, man. Which emoji? We can, we can change that emoji. That was so painful, bro. Most painful thing I've ever come across. She was like, I don't know about that one, champ. I don't know about that one. All right, let's uh, let's set up this, let's set up this uh, emoji, bro. My man is shook. I've never seen. Yo, he is really like contemplating. Like, yo, what am I doing? What it? What am I? What am I gonna do? I really would like to discuss this, but I also want to keep my employment. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, shit. Did I mess it up? Oh, my fault. Oh, my God. Poor baby, bro. Poor baby. What the heck is going on? Man, what's going on here? Hold on. Bird. There we go. Bruh. Let's see. Let's see if we can just get the face. <laughs> Amazing. That face, it face just says it all. It's just like, bro, you are you're fucking cut. And there's nothing you can do about it. Oof. Oof. All right, let's see. Here we go. Pictures. All right, let's switch it out. There we go. All right, refresh. It should be switched. Poor guy, man. Poor guy. 
bruh. <laughs> oh, man. I would hate to be cut that hard, bro. <laughs> My man was really, he said the event. With what Vivek has said about the situation the in si the Middle East. The situation. That's what it was, the situation. Oh, then the awkward beard in the Middle East. Oh, just the situation in the Middle East. Oh, man. That's fucking brutal, man. That is fucking brutal. Couldn't be me, man. Glad it's him and not me, because that is brutal. God dang. That's so crazy. They can't even say anything. Anyone under Ben Shapiro can't say a damn word, bro. And then Ben Shapiro goes out and puts out fucking fake news. Did y'all see the tweet this fool put out? They're beheaded babies. They're doing it. That's what they're doing. It's Hamas. Okay, can someone actually tell me how this even started? Oh, shit. I forgot. It's disagreement day. I'm going to put up the number and sign in. Can someone tell me what started this attack? Why why this attack start? That's the honest question. Why did Hamas attack? Let's hear let's hear this. That's why I want to know. It was an AI edited photo. Oh yeah, I know. That's why it was funny. Why did Hamas attack Israel? Let's find let's out. Bring in Jeremy let's back. find He's out together, y'all. To the CIA. Cuz that's why I'd like to know. Now. And NBC Why News randomly attack uh, morning, Israel? Great to have you with us. So I think Director Brennan there, who we just heard from, his shock sort of says it all. He can't understand. He can't believe that this was pulled off. As somebody put it to me yesterday, uh -huh. Israeli intelligence knows when Hamas members move from the bedroom to the bathroom. So how could they pull this off? Yeah. What's your analysis here? Yeah, Willie. Well, Israel has not been on the ground in Gaza since 2005 but they maintain a comprehensive network of informants, of human sources, and have very sophisticated technical penetration of Hamas communications. So clearly there was a breakdown. Hamas has shown its ability to plan and execute a pretty sophisticated operation to what? reach the border in secret. So undoubtedly, this is going to require an extensive review inside the Israeli military establishment. Wait, wait no, why? So, I mean, what about the timing of all this? Yeah, what, what about Hamas the time? Israel... This now launching from the Gaza Strip. We do. Do, do we do understand that was a non-answer, right? We do understand that was a non-answer, right? Well, basically what happened was, you know, Israel was just sleeping on the job and that's what happened. That's pretty much what the fuck he said. He just said that, hey, they, they know when these motherfuckers go to sleep, they know if they have poop or if they have to pee. This exactly happened. Well, there was a breakdown in the communication, and I don't know. I so badly want to go the the whole fucking conspiratorial route and be like these niggas were like, "Hey, you want a war? Yeah, I want a war. You want a war? Yeah, I want a war. Let's ask America. Hey, yo, what's up? You want a war? Yeah, I mean, we could do for a war." Yeah. Biden says he's in. You guys good? Yeah. All right. Let's do the shit. Yeah, same shit. Yeah. Ah. Can you do Thursday? Hamas can't do Thursday. They yeah, they have a dinner. What I can't do I can't do Wednesday. I have a bar mitzvah. Next Monday, next, next, next Monday work for you? Next Monday's good. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. Yeah, same old, same old. All right, cool. Later. Later, big man. All right. Monday. All right. I don't know, but in, you know, maybe in the multiverse, I don't know, call me crazy. I'm just spitting out ideas, okay? We don't know for a fact. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I 
I'm just saying, I don't know, man. I'm no longer wet between the ears, so now it's like, mm, I've seen this before. <laughs> you know, when they find a black body somewhere, well, it was just hanging from a tree. What? Yeah, no suicide note. It seemed to be, you know, no foul play. We just found him hanging from a tree. You you found just found him hanging from the tree? Yep, that's that's what we found. Yep, that's what we found. Mm -hmm. Don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Maybe it's the KFC. All right. Okay. Okay, that's the official story. Yep, yep, that's official. Yep, yep that that's the official story. Don't know what to tell you. Okay, all right. Do know that Israel has been in peace talks with Saudi Arabia, for example. We also know that Hamas. Now you know damn well them niggas has not been in any no fucking peace talks. <laughs> Bro, this that's that's what I call bullshit. Okay, that's what I call bullshit. Because, oh, hear me out, hear me out, right? Hear me out. These niggas say, hey, these motherfuckers just want to kill us, all right? These motherfuckers want to wipe us off the face of the earth. They don't even want us to exist here in Israel. That's why we have to set up the defenses and take the measures of security that we need to have. Okay, got you, bet. America's got your back, okay? You a strong ally in the Middle East. You are connect to know what's going on, all right? All right. Now, in the same fucking sentence, you gonna tell me you talking about a peace treaty? A peace treaty with who, nigga? Am I missing something? These niggas hate you, despise you. They don't even want you there. They say it's their land. Like, y'all niggas need to get the hell Who are you having a peace treaty with? You can't have a peace treaty with mofos who don't, who don't want you to exist. That shit don't make any sense to me. Now, I may not be, I, once again, I'm completely ignorant when it comes to foreign affairs. Completely ignorant. Someone could be listening to this and be like, this nigga is stupid as fuck. This is crazy. This nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'll, I'll be it. I'll take the L. I'll take the L there, bro. I'm just talking from an ignorant, American, arrogant point of view. That's how I'm talking. So as coming from somebody who, who has people who hate him, I don't know how I'd make a peace treaty with someone or being in, in talks with someone who, who hates my guts. I don't even know how somebody would be in talks with me if I hate them. That's like Satan trying to have a peace treaty with me. Nah, fuck you, nigga. Leave me alone. Listen, Lucas. I'm trying to I'm trying to be reasonable with you. Fuck you, Satan. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. I want to talk to you. Listen. All right. I know I've done some fucked up shit, but you got to hear me out. I ain't got to hear shit you say, Satan. Get the fuck out of my place, bro. You shouldn't even be at my door. Leave. Move. I don't want to talk to you. Bro, just hear me out. Hey, I don't, like, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? I ain't got no peace treaty with Satan. Nigga, I ain't even talking to you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear it, bro. I don't want to hear it. It's like with the, I don't know, ladies with like a dude who's fucked you over so many times. Let that nigga try and make a peace treaty with you. Listen, I, I want to say I'm sorry. Leave me alone, nigga. Listen, I, I, I know you don't want to see my face. That's right, nigga. I don't want to see your face. Get the fuck out of mine. How about that? I just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have cheated on you. Leave me, nigga. You knew you should. Oh, leave me. Leave right now. Leave right now before Jesus takes over. Right? But, but I, you know, but of course, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just how it works. Maybe, you know, maybe, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> Saudi Arabia and what we know of Saudi Arabia, right? Because they aren't they the ones that they constantly want to talk about what, what the fuck's going on, how they treat the women and all the, you know. those niggas is like, we will come to the table and we would like to talk about this treaty of yours with Israel and 
Saudis, we would like to hear what you have to say. And the Israelis were like, oh, yeah, bet. Okay, sure. Yeah, bet. So let me, so we, we actually have, we have this, this right here down the Gaza. I think we can both get along. You like the Gaza. I like the Gaza Strip. It's a good piece of land, right? Strategically speaking, you know that. I know that. I think we can share it. You have it on Monday through Wednesday. We have it Thursday through Sunday. How about that? Ain't no fucking talks going on. But you know what? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Us is backed by Iran. Does that factor into this? Undoubtedly, Willie, I think uh, Hamas and its main patron in the region, Iran, want to stop the momentum behind an Israeli Saudi peace deal. This is a deal that would build on the Abraham Accords where Israel made peace with other Arab nations. Uh, undoubtedly, that's a threat to Iran, and Iran has been funding Hamas. So this is an effort to inject uh, military violence into the middle of those, ne those negotiations and make it much harder for Israel to pursue peace. I think the biggest Correct. question from here, Willie, is where does this go next? Obviously, if Israel conducts operations against Iranian targets in the region. So let me get this straight. So what I understand, they were talking a peace treaty. Why? All of a sudden now, they decide to attack. Were they close to, like, a deal or something? Am I missing something? Because they didn't say anything about, hey, they were close to signing a deal or some shit. They just said they've been in talks. And talks mean fucking nothing, all right? Anybody in business, I don't know how foreign affairs works, but as, as business, talks doesn't mean fucking shit, bro. Talks means you have a line of communication. That's all that means. That doesn't mean they agree. That doesn't mean they disagree. That doesn't mean there's actual uh, a viable communication actually going on. Anything being exchanged. That just means, that's like when you say, yeah, I know the nigga's number. That doesn't mean you talk to him. That, just, <laughs> that doesn't mean you hang out with him. That doesn't mean you eat together. That doesn't mean you go to his birthday. He goes to your birthday. You just have the nigga's number. That's what talks mean. Once again, it could be completely different in foreign affairs. Maybe they actually are talking like consistently. Okay, on a regular basis, trying to figure out, hey, how do we bring about this peace? How do we find something that works for the both of us? Possible. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, but Iran knew about these talks all this time. And now was like, no, this shit is getting real. Hamas, let me write you a check, pimp, and how much you need. Here you go. Catch it. Make sure that shit don't happen. Okay. All right. I just don't understand why now. I just don't understand. Like, what's going on? What is happening? This could be a much wider war. Yeah. And we all know this war isn't ending anytime soon. Because most of these niggas aren't going to say, oh, well, well, we give up. And if they don't give up, then there's going to have to be some type of deal. Or one group is going to have to be completely eviscerated. And we all know that's not going to fucking happen. So I'm just curious, where does this lead us? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, Jeremy, because Prime Minister Netanyahu has promised a crushing response, which already is underway. He says, we will win this war. What does that mean exactly when you're getting attacked from Hezbollah in the north and Hamas on the border in the Gaza Strip? How wide could this war become? Well, this war will probably unfold in three phases. First, to secure the southern border, to get back any hostages that have been taken and hunt down any terrorists still inside. Do we know if any actual hostages have been taken? Uh, I've been taken, excuse me. Do we even know? Do we have any verification that any actual hostages have been taken? I don't believe not a damn thing I hear from Israel or Hamas, bro. Because Hamas will be like, <laughs> Hamas will take, they, these niggas take credit for, for it fucking raining. It'd be like a synagogue was struck by lightning. Hamas will fucking tweet out, we did that shit, bitch. <laughs> like, wait, what? Hamas, Hamas did it? Hamas did the uh, lightning that struck the synagogue? Um, 
Bro, I don't know what is going on, bro. I don't know what is going on. Side of Israel. Second, a comprehensive aerial. And I know Israel. Israel is like, listen, we got to make this look good for the for the for the Americans, bro. We got to make this shit look good for the Americans. <laughs> Israel be like. Sucking America's fucking teeth, boy. Look, they took hostages. Do y'all know that? They, they beheading babies. <laughs> they, they throwing up swastikas. Oh, damn, shit. Oh, fuck. How much y'all need? Uh, as much as you can give us. I don't trust either one of these niggas, bro. Not one of them. I don't trust not one of them. Yeah, they... <laughs> they, they got the red skull. We saw the red skull walking. Wait, hold up, hold, hold up. The red skull, Netanyahu. You tell me you saw the red skull. Yes, we. The red skull. He was, he was leading a charge in, in at the Gaza Strip. The red skull was leading a charge at the Gaza Strip. Yes, send me money now. We need to send it asap, quick. Oh, 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 Going, going hard like that. They got the red skull and everything. Uh, Mr. President, not now, not now. You heard they're fighting the red skull. You know, fucking Biden's old ass. This is the perfect time to fucking have a war. God damn, this is the perfect time to have a war. Biden don't know what the fuck he's doing. The, he he probably listen. The red skull. Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, 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 all right. Yeah, uh, we need to, Mr. President. What what are you doing? Uh, Red Skull, Israel, Red Hamas, man. Uh, Mr. President, those are a lot of zeros on that on that check of yours. We you do know about the national debt. Uh, Red Skull, uh, Nazi, uh, 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 ally. God. Protect, Mr. President. I don't even think we have that in the Treasury. I don't think we can even do that. I I, I don't think the country can do that. We may, uh, Captain America, sir. What the fuck is he? Where is Jill? Someone get get Jill. So, That nigga Netanyahu is fucking damn. That man is an evil genius. That man is taking advantage of a fucking senile fucking president. <laughs> damn. Nigga, that nigga is genius. That man is genius, bro. God damn. Damn, man. Netanyahu, yo, shoot some over to my account, bro. Help the blacks out over here, bro. Come on now. I know y'all don't give a fuck about black Jews in Israel, but come on, help us out. How about the black Americans? I know y'all despise the black uh, uh, Jewish Ethiopians, but, you know, help us out over here, bro. Them niggas, bro. Y'all remember, I, you wonder what the funny fucking part was? You wanna know what the funny part was? You remember the dude who lost his team due to the to the leaked audio? Everybody skipped over when he was talking about how Jews treat black people like shit. <laughs> and they were like, oh, he didn't want black people at his at his at his basketball games. Did anyone remember that? What was his name? I forgot the old dude's name. I was like, wait, are we just gonna skip that that part where he where he talks about how the Jewish people are treating black people like shit in Israel and we Everybody just completely glossed over that. Yeah, we're, we're not going to touch that. We're going to focus on the racist. That's the angle we want. The racist angle. The, yeah, that he... Donald Sterling, that's the name. <laughs> Does no one remember him talking about that? Oh, it's horrible how they treat them. Oh, they treat them like second-class citizens. Absolute, absolute pieces of shit. They treat them that... No, no. I... No one heard that? No, no one heard that part? I heard that part. No, no, we're gonna. That's that's not the message that we're covering. That's not the message you're covering. Okay, all right, got you, bruh.
Okay. I'll play along. I'll play along. I don't care, bro. I'll play along. Bill bombardment of the Gaza Strip to take out, destroy, and degrade uh, Hamas infrastructure. And third, probably to go after Iranian targets in Lebanon, in Syria, mm. maybe even in Iran itself, in the Persian Gulf. That, of course, could be a, a war between two countries that don't share a land border, Israel and Iran. You don't see that very often in international. So let me get this straight. Israel's going after Iran. They're going after Hamas. And they're going after, uh, 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 what was the other one? There was someone else. There was someone else. I forgot that he said that they were attacking because they were getting attacked. At all. I'm just like, well, how's that? Exactly. When you're getting attacks from Hezbollah. And Hezbollah, that's the one. Hezbollah, right? You got Hezbollah, Hamas, and Iran? Why do so many people hate you? I, I, what the fuck happened? Bro, what's going on? What the fuck's going on? Yo! You wonder what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, damn. Why, what did he do to get these niggas that mad? What did he do? It, uh, bruh, from the boondocks? Remember? Man! What did he do to make them niggas that mad? <laughs> bruh! That's the question I would ask, bro. Wait, wait, hold the fuck, bro. <laughs> That's a question I would ask. <laughs> Bruh, that's a question I would ask. That's like a little kid, right, when they ask, well, I need this for school. Okay, all right. I need that for school. Okay, that makes it. I need this, and I need this, and I need that. Remember you started adding shit in for, like, uh, going back to school? This going back to school list, and I definitely need this. Wait, hold up, you, oh, hold up, hold up. Let me see the list. Let me see. Did, did they give you a list? I know they gave you a paper with all the back to school supplies. I lost it. I, I lost it. I, you didn't lost it. Let me see your backpack. Cause I know they didn't tell you you needed. They said you needed an N64 for school. That's what they said you needed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's and and. Super Mario N64. I need that for school. I don't know why. Nigga, something not... Hold up. Something ain't adding up, bro. Something not adding up. What is going... I need to... <laughs> I need to sit down with Hezbollah. Hezbollah, Iran, and, and Hamas. Listen, niggas. Huddle up. Huddle up. What the fuck is it, bro? What's what's going on, y'all? Talk to me. Talk to me. What's, what's going on, bro? <laughs> Let me mediate, bro. Let me fucking mediate. Bro, what, what, what did they do to make y'all niggas this mad, bro? Huh? Did Netanyahu fuck your girlfriend or something? What happened, bro? What happened? Did he decline a loan? What's going on, bro? T talk to me, bro. Talk, what's, 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 what's happening? Come on. God dang. Probably to go after Iranian targets in Lebanon, in Syria, maybe even in Iran itself, in the Persian Gulf. That, of course, could be a, a war between two countries that don't share. Bro, it's going to be a cold war. That's what the fuck is going to be. It's going to be a cold war because we're going to be funding everything. They're a land border, Israel and Iran. You don't see that very often in international relations, but Israel might just take that step now. All of this, of course, with implications for the United States as well. Jeremy Bash, so great to have your expertise Bruh, this morning. This Thanks. Is wild. Why did Hamas attack Israel? Let's see if we can find out. The Israel Hamas war I is still don't know why. of renewed instability in the Middle East. What are the Palestinian groups doing and what do they want? Hamas. Can't we just nuke it? Can't we just nuke it? We have nukes. Why don't we use it? Why don't we get rid of everyone there? Start over. Build a fucking, I don't know, it'll call, we'll call it New Vegas. Like, I don't understand. Why can't we just accidentally drop a nuke? Oops. We were supposed to be delivering them to our other base, and it actually fell right there. And now there is no more Israel. There is no more, you know, Palestine. Looks, oh, 
damn shit. Our bad. I, are we gonna act like the? Are we gonna act like Americans wouldn't fucking buy it? Of course they would. Fucking stupid. People are fucking stupid. All they have to do is fucking I don't know. Have Usher do a song. Uh, uh, oh, we dropped the nuke accidentally. Freaking in. Come on, Chris Brown. We dropped the nukes accidentally. Right? That's all. Niggas be like, yeah. It was an accident, nigga. It was an accident. Accident, accident, uh, accident. Bro, what the fuck are we talking about? Done and done. Done and done, bro. Have fucking, I don't know who, who, does, who other people like. Have fucking, I don't know, Jimmy Fallon make a bunch of jokes. So what happens? Okay. <laughs> a nuke try to cross, cross, cross the street to get to the other side of the road. Right? Yeah, we make a whole bunch of joke about it. We laugh it up and we move on. Oh, well, that sucks. You know, accidents do happen. Done and done. Simple as that. All right? Simple as that. We'll say fucking it wasn't even, we'll say it wasn't even a nuke. We'll, we'll blame fucking Iran, bro. We'll blame Iran. Who gives a fuck? We'll blame it on Iran. We'll say Iran has dropped a nuke. They have nuclear capacity, you know, blah, 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 blah. At least we don't have to deal with the bitching of fucking who owns the Gaza Strip. Oh, whose land is it? Oh, it's the Holy Land. Man, fuck all you niggas, bro. Beep. Oh, it couldn't be me because I don't think I could bluff that well. If I was the president, I don't think I could bluff that well. I. What's what's the meme where it's a uh, <laughs> pretends to be shocked? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bro, that would be me, bro. That would be dead ass me. That would be, I'm like, oh my God. No, you mean there's no more back and forth about who owns the land and is it God's land? And oh my God, oh, this is horrible. Oh my God. Could be me, bro. My poker face is strong. It's not that strong, bro. My poker face is strong. It's not that strong, bro. I'd have to, you know, get get tips from fucking George W. Bush and shit. Well, these weapons of mass destruction. Do it again. Sorry. Sorry. These weapons of mass Sorry, got the giggles, guys. I got the giggles. <laughs> These weapons of mass destruction are a tro Line, line. Give me the line. I'm sorry. Fuck. God dang. Lord. Uh, bro, yeah, it couldn't be me, bro. I'd fuck it up. <laughs> oh, man. Z, thank you for the super. Uh, Frederick says, why does Scorpion cross the road? To get over there. Fucking, these are gold, man. These are gold. Fucking gold. Get over there. Z keeps that energy, says, bro, you need to see the living conditions that Israel put the Gaza in. Israelis and Palestinian sympathizers are clashing in New York. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I Listen. I'm not fooled by is, is, is Israel's, uh, Israeli, what's going on there. I know them niggas treat them motherfuckers like shit. It, you want to tell, they treat black people, black Jews like shit. You want to tell me they treat, you think that, I don't think they think that they treat people who despise them or who they think they despise them or who they think they're at like an internal fucking conflict at any better. Come on now. I already know, bro. I'm not even, I'm not even worried about that. I'm sure there is some bullshit that goes on, right? Some crazy nigga go, ah, fuck, uh, you know, Israel, some shit. But then they fucking blanket the whole area. That's the difference. That's the difference. Because like, then it goes back into, like, you know, fucking, you know, I fear for my life. 
Except this time, it's like, hey, I fear for my country. And if you fear for your country, oh, fucking security is going to be like, yo, let me touch you. Let me see your ass, sir. Sir, bend over, sir. Let me see your asshole. What, let me... <laughs> Where is it from South Park? Let, I got to see your ass, sir. This is unadministrated. I know, I know this is how Israel treats them. I'm not, I, you don't, bro, I already know. I'm not even confused. I have no issues, no qualms about it. I already know. Taking a dump today, man. Taking the... needs to check inside your ass, how? <laughs> that, I already know that's Israel with fucking Palestine. I already know. Nigga, I, you don't even have to tell me. I already know. All right, you taking a dump today? Uh, yes. Get your hands off of me. I, uh, all right, sir. I guess got to check your asshole. Make sure there's no bombs inside. Hey, how about you people speed? I already know, bro. Oh, I don't need you wiping my ass for me. I'm a grown man. Yes, you are. Hey, I don't need you looking in my asshole. I'm not a fucking terrorist. Of course not, sir. Of course not. You're not a terrorist. Can you call for me? Two times. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're clear to go. Take a shit, sir. Toilet too. Yes, you're a big boy, aren't you, sir? Yeah, I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I already know. I'm not one trying to play like, oh, they love each other. They're treating each other with respect. Fuck out of here, bro. If I think somebody doesn't fuck with me like that, like to the point where they want to kill me, I ain't treat you with no fucking respect. And especially if I got a big brother who owns the company, right? Their big brother is the U.S. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. Like, what are you talking about? Ain't nobody gonna fuck with you. What, you want to do something? You want to do something, huh? Huh? What you gonna do? What? 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 You already know, bro. I already know. Like, I'm not, I'm, there is, there, uh, yeah. I'm very well aware of probably what the situation is out there. Probably very well aware of. Because I would do the same thing. But say something, nigga, say something. See if I don't have Biden wire me fucking five million right now just so I can fucking write fuck you on white pieces of paper, bro. You see all this? I will put this all along the Gaza Strip and say fuck you. See if I don't get it. Bet. See if I don't get fucking Biden to wire me five million right now. Oh yeah, bro. I know they talking mad shit, bro. <laughs> they talking mad shit. And even those who aren't talking mad shit, you have to think about the social proof. So even if there's a certain amount of people who are treating others, you know, the non, you know, Israeli or the non-Jews or the white Jews, uh, with uh, with respect. Everyone else is going to have to abide by it or else they're going to be the black sheep. Oh, what are you, a fucking terrorist sympathizer? This is, this is, this is fucking power 101, bro. This is power 101. Hey, you either are with us, all right? You either support us or you support fucking terrorism. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's simple. I'm not, uh, bro, duh, duh. If you're smart, obviously you would do that. Obviously. It doesn't matter. In times of war, there is no fucking gray area. You can't allow for it. Of course there's gray area, but you can't allow for it. You can't have people going, well, are we doing the right thing? Nah, of course you are, bitch. You wanna why? Because you're you're American, okay? You live in you live in the US. We we always do the right thing. Fuck anyone else who says anything differently. That's how yeah, that's how it works. You can't have the people fucking actually genuinely being against it because then it's like oh fuck well, now we have to deal with the fucking american people but they already know that these niggas ain't really about that 1776 life so the u.s can do whatever the fuck the u.s wants the niggas in position of power they can do whatever the fuck they want because they know mm, them niggas ain't really gonna bring out anything they're not gonna do anything with their second amendment or anything that they talk about they ain't gonna do shit they're gonna stay in their fucking houses like we told them to do when it came to COVID, and they're going to shut the fuck up and enjoy their fucking uh, uh, TV. That's what the fuck they're going to do.
That's what's gonna happen. I'm not even like I'm not even worried about that. I'm just enjoying the entertainment. This is fun for me. Us is the militant Islamist group in control of the Gaza Strip, and it's one of the two main Palestinian political parties, and doesn't recognize Israel's right to exist. It's right now, right to exist. They just saying. I want you to understand that the right to exist. To exist. That's what they're saying. I'm like, is it really though? I would love to like talk to one of them niggas, bro. Maybe I can get like a Skype call with the fucking uh, Hamas Hamas leader or some shit. But yo, you a Hamas leader? Yes, I'm the leader of the the the, the organization Hamas. Do y'all really believe that these niggas don't have a right to exist? Like at all? No. I wanna know if they'll actually say yes, of course. No. They do no right to exist. They need to be eradicated from the earth. Like, I would love to talk to somebody who just says some wild shit like that. Like, really? That's really what you believe? That's crazy, man. That's wild. Why do you believe that? Right? Or if it's a little more nuanced, like, no, they have a right to exist, just not in our territory. That is our territory. That is our land. They have no right to exist in our land. Okay, that's a little bit different. All right, all right, I can understand you. I, you know, that's fine. All right, understandable. Right? <laughs> I just want to know, maybe maybe there's some miscommunication going on. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Just, I'm just curious, just to hear. Like, really? The, the right, like, no existence? We talking about, really, you want, you, you advocate for a genocide of just a people because they exist? Uh, I don't know military wing is using suicide bombings and rockets against Israel and spearheaded this weekend's infiltration. The US and EU have designated it as a terrorist organization. Hamas's rival Fatah governs the West Bank. It is a secular organization and it's renounced violence, advocates negotiations with Israel to create a Palestinian state, including East Jerusalem, Gaza and the West Bank. Shiite Islamist oh. group Hezbollah opposes U.S. policies and says it's committed to Israel's destruction. It's backed by Iran and it Wait, see, that just seems cartoony to me. policies and says it's committed to... That just seems cartoony to me, bro. I could be 100% fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But that just genuinely feels cartoony to me. Like straight out of like an Acme cartoon. No, I want their destruction. Utter fucking destruction. Wait, what? What do you mean destruction? You mean everyone inside Israel you want just gone? Yes. Bro, why? Because we hate them. But why do you hate them? Because we do. Are you guys fucking retarded? If that's genuinely how these people feel, then... Bro, that's crazy. Then we should have dropped the nuke a long time ago because that's fucking stupid. That's just me. That's just me. I'm like, what? You just want to just destroy it? You just want to destroy it? You don't want any negotiations, no barter, nothing? I don't know. There's a group of people you can't fucking reason at all with. And okay, all right, fine. Well, I guess let this nuke fucking reason with you, bro. Israel's destruction, it's backed by Iran, and it operates across the region. Hezbollah is designated as a terrorist organization by the US and other countries because of its use of violence. The Palestine Liberation Organization is widely recognized as the sole legitimate representative of the Palestinians. It hmm. renounced terrorism, it signed a peace deal. Here's the thing, I can't believe anything the fuck that they're saying. Like nothing. Nothing, because I, Based off of the politics I know in the U.S., ain't no fucking way I can believe, oh, well, this is the designated uh, representation of the Palestinian people. I'm sorry. I'd have to speak to a, a few Palestinians. That's what I have to speak to. Because I know they want to say, you know, BLM is a designated representation of black people. You know that's what they, based off the bullshit I had to deal with here in the U.S., Ain't no fucking way I'm taking the U.S.'s fucking editorialization of what's going on overseas. Hey, get the fuck out of here. Y'all all tell us bullshit every fucking day. Gonna tell us you found fucking drugs in the White House, but you don't know who the fuck it came from. After 
there's a breaking story about a nigga doing fucking coke off of a, a stripper's fucking uh, ass cracks. And you all don't have a clue who the fuck it came from? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Suck a dick. Don't don't report. Don't don't tell me about the news. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I don't want to hear anything y'all have to say about what the fuck's going on overseas. I can't even trust the shit y'all say here. Well, this is the absolute representation of the Palestinian people. Okay, nigga. Yeah, sure. And these niggas right here want to absolutely destroy Israel for no reason at all. Okay, nigga, sure. And these niggas have been trying to do everything in their power to, to bring them to the table. They brought them uh, cookies. Okay, nigga, sure. All right, sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to speak to some people, you know, uh, you know, boots on the ground. I'm going to say, okay, what's really going on here? Give me, give me, give me, give me the loop. Put me in the loop. With Israel, and it does not include Hamas. The Arab League is an alliance of Arab countries to cooperate on economic and military affairs. It has long been criticized for poor governance and has very little influence. Yeah, okay. I don't know, man. This shit is crazy. Gaza, 1,400 dead as hospital near collapse. Day six latest. Here's the thing. What they don't tell you, it, I, I, like, who, who did that? Who did that? Because I know some of these mofos be fucking doing photo ops. If we have photo ops here in the States where niggas do photo ops for news, and we've had the bloopers on, on fucking T, on, 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 you know, on the internet, where you see these niggas fucking faking stories and shit like that to get a better shot or coverage and shit like that, blowing shit out of proportion. Like, ain't no fucking way I'm gonna listen to what the fuck they report on. 1400, right? Like with the babies, babies, they're decapitating babies' heads. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. <laughs> get the fuck out of my face, bro. Just like what they did with the BLM. It's the, they're the burn, loot, and murder. And that's what they're doing. Nigga. Y'all didn't think that a pack of bricks on the corner is suspicious? Y'all didn't think that was suspicious? Okay, niggas, all right. All right, sure. Okay, sure. The same mofos who want to talk about the January 6th protests were set up are all fucking buying this hook, line, and sinker. Wait, hold up, nigga. Hold up, hold up. They were set up, but this shit, all of it's 100% legit. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, no, like, okay, sure, buddy. Whatever you want to believe. What did Biden have to say? Look at this, man. Oh, my God, bro. How did Trump piss off that many people, bro? That's what, what did, what did he do? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, fuck. Where is it? What did he do? I'm just like, damn, Trump. God now, damn. Now, this right here is why I agree. I seen a nigga get on the dude. I swear, you know what I'm saying? They shot a thinking to myself. Man. What did he do to make them niggas that mad? Bruh, every single time I see this, bro. It's kind of like when you, uh, <laughs> it's kind of like when you do something when you're angry, right? Women do this shit. Men do this shit too. Everyone does it. You be like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? You, you like this shit? And then you like hit the TV or something. Yeah, now you don't get to see your TV show. Fuck you, bitch. And you start thinking about it like, wait, damn, I can't play my PS5 on it now. Fuck. Damn, nigga, I wanted to play, I wanted to watch the game this week. Fuck. That's what it feels like, bro. That's what it feels like every single time you see this nigga walk out. <laughs> I just want to play the fucking Pinocchio song. Oh, that 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 they, they ain't no strings on me. God, dog, bro. Goodness gracious. Good afternoon. <laughs> Today, the people of Israel are under attack, orchestrated by a terrorist organization, Hamas. 
force. In this moment of tragedy, I want to say to them and to the world and to terrorists everywhere, that the United States stands with Israel. Of course, of course. I'm just curious to all the people who are like, yo, fuck this president. This guy does nothing but lying. Like, do you guys still think he's lying? Or is he telling the truth in this regard? I'm just curious. I'm just, I just want to see, you know, you know, to see how, you know, how your discernment is working. We will not ever fail to have her back. Mm -hmm. We'll make sure that they have the help their citizens need and they can continue to defend themselves. You know, the world's seen appalling images. Mm -hmm. Thousands of rockets in a space of hours raining down on Israeli cities. Did we see that? Can we, because I know the news has shown fake fucking rockets before and be like, hey, this is what's going on. And then someone calls them out and like, mm, that's not the same incident. I'm just, bro, anytime I see, you know, any rockets, especially on Twitter, God, bro, Twitter is a cesspool for fucking misinformation. I'm just saying, did we see any rockets? I'm sorry, I would have to see a live stream of a nigga showing us these, these are the rockets right, right there. Look, look. Right. I would have to, that's what I would have to do, bro. That's how little I trust these mofos, bro. That's how little I trust these mofos. Like, bro, Lucas, look, is this not proof enough? No, nigga, it's not proof enough. It's not. I'm sorry. I've seen too much shit that these reporters do that the U.S. says happen. Mm. Sorry, bro. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. I'm just gonna need a little bit more than that, bro. I got up this morning and started this at 7 38 o'clock. My calls Hamas terrorists crossing in Israel, killing not only Israeli soldiers, but Israeli civilians. We still, but why? What led this bloodshed on? What led it just, these niggas just wake up like, you know what? Fuck them niggas. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Wait, wait, no, they probably don't talk like that. <laughs> I didn't think, what? <laughs> Well, that's the last thing we want to get fucking involved, fucking the Africans. Yes, the Africans are terrorists. They're helping Hamas. No, no. no. Cut that shit. Please cut that. But I'm just thinking, are they like, yo, fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. No, double fuck them today. Oh, yeah, double fuck them today? Yeah, double fuck them today. All right, so how are we going to double fuck them today? We're just going to run up in there and just fucking start blazing. Okay. But aren't we already doing that? Yeah, but we're going to do, we're going to go really crazy today. I just don't understand. From my understanding, these niggas have been doing that shit, right? That's why they have so much security. That's why they have the protocols that they have. Because these niggas have been doing terrorist attacks and shit like that and targeting the people. So I'm just curious what, like, did, did, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just ignorant on the situation, okay? That's, I have no problem saying that I'm ignorant because I'm hella ignorant on the situation. I just don't understand because I thought this shit was been going on, right? That every day they were like, you know, it was life or death because you never know somebody may just run up on a car and go, Bleh! so I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm lost a little bit. In the street, in their homes, Innocent people murdered, wounded, entire families taken hostage by Hamas. I heard that where people are talking about, hey, my family's been taken hostage and yada, 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 yada. But I'm like, has anyone seen any proof of that? Because these niggas, they, they show out when they take a family hostage. But I could be thinking of Al Qaeda or something, right? But don't they all talk to one another and shit? Isn't there like a Facebook for terrorists or something? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm just wary of, of believing shit that, you know, comes out of, uh, of uh, 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 the official story, we'll say. Just days after Israel you know, marked the holiest of days in the Jewish calendar, it's unconscionable. You know, when I spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning, I told him the United States stands with the people of Israel in the face of these terrorist assaults. Oh, I bet you, I bet you did. I know, you want to know what that translates to? Cha-ching!
we stay we just that's that's what the fuck that's that translates into i hope people understand that netanyahu was like hey i just want to know make sure that you stand with us biden uh, yes we st- I, i'm standing right now no biden i need to know that you stand with us uh, I, I told you I'm I'm, I'm 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 standing right now i'm standing right now i'm on the phone standing no nigga did the ch- is the check gonna clear Oh, oh, yes, 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 okay, that's, all right, that's all I need to know, thank you, well, Netanyahu, you, I wanted to ask, hello, Yahoo, must have gotten disconnected, God dang, Fucking evil genius, bro. You understand how fucking amazing it would be to fucking go to war with this nigga as president? The war could have probably ended like fucking, <laughs> fucking, it could have ended like last week. And you're like, yo, we still got more to get out of this nigga. We, we, could, we could get this man for everything. Biden, we, we need the codes. <laughs> What what codes? What, what codes? It's it's kind of early here. Oh, I need I need some milk. Biden, it's Netanyahu. We need the codes. Uh, you mean the new codes? Yes, Biden. We need the new codes now. Okay, Hamas is right on my ass. That's Hamas knocking. That's that's it's Uber Eats. He's posing as an Uber Eats driver. Biden, he's they're sick people. We need the codes now. Oh, hold, hold up, hold up. You know, I'm standing with Israel. I said, I said, let me see the codes. It's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Charlie. Bro, I pray to God somebody's watching out for, for fucking Biden, bro. I really do. I hope there's a nigga that follows him everywhere. And like hangs up the phone when he gets like a call. This is this is the type of nigga that'll have a five hour conversation with Scam Likely. Scam Likely? Oh, oh I think I know him. <laughs> Hold up, let me. Mr. Likely, how are you doing today? <laughs> Mr. President, give me the phone. That was you don't know what that's not no. That, that's that's a scam. I know. It's, it's Mr. Mr. Likely. No, it's Sir, have a nap, sir. Have a nap. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, shit. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people. Full stop. Nigga, how me up? Do you understand they have been saying this since forever? They have been saying this since forever. And now it's gotten to the point where it's like, I don't believe you. <laughs> now it's to the point where I don't believe you, bro. Now it's to the point where like, mm, nah, I don't believe you. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not adding up. I don't know what c- couldn't be adding up. I just know something's not adding up. These mofos be saying the same thing up until the point that they don't. Aliens do not exist. Aliens do not exist. Aliens do not exist. Aliens do not exist. We just caught an alien uh, bathing at the White House. Pictures coming up at 8. Wait, hold the fuck up. What do, what do you mean? You caught an alien bathing at the White House? Thought you all said this whole entire time aliens don't exist. So anytime I hear them saying the same thing over and over again, it just strikes me as a lie. That's all. Not to say that it's not a lie or that it is a lie. It just it just comes off that way. Because they just don't have a good track record. That's all. There's never a justification for terrorist attacks. And my administration's I agree. support for Israel's security is rock solid and unwavering. Mm. Let me say this as clearly as I can. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. 
I've also been in It's another one. The world is watching. I don't think niggas are. Because the world is watching. The world is pretty fucked up. Because the world watches at like the worst times. I just don't understand. <laughs> Any other time, the world isn't watching, right? Mass starvation, fucking homelessness. The world isn't watching. But uh, every once in a while, the world begins to watch. I'm just like, mm, I don't think they are. I think the world is aliens. I think that's who you mean by the world. <laughs> I think you're talking about the Martians are watching. I think that's code for Martians. Contact with the King of Jordan. Spoke with members of Congress. Directed my national security team to engage with their Israeli counterparts. Mm. Military to military, intelligence to intelligence, dipl diplomat to diplomat. Mm. To make sure Israel has what it needs. Oh, Israel has what it needs. My team to remain in constant contact with leaders throughout the region, including Egypt, Turkey, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Oman, the UAE, uh. as well as our European partners and the Palestinian Authority. It's also a terrible tragedy on a human level. It's hurting innocent people, seeing the lives that have been broken by this, the families torn apart. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. And Jill and I are praying for those families who have been impacted by this violence. We agree with those who've lost their loved ones, lost a piece of their soul. Mm. We have hope for swift recovery for many who have been wounded. But we're going to remain in close touch with Prime Minister. I personally am going to remain in close contact with Prime Minister Netanyahu. I bet you are. I bet you are. As this situation continues to develop, and let there be no mistake, the United States stands with the state of Israel. Just we have from the moment the United States became the first nation to recognize Israel 11 minutes after its founding 75 years ago. Now, that's the funny part, because I was looking into that. And basically, the only backing, the, the only reason Israel is where it is, is because of the U.S. I know they have their defenses and all that, but I'm like, the real big dog behind Israel is the U.S. Like, that's it. Because I was looking, I was like, wait, how do they do the state? How do they do this? How do they get that done? And everything was just a nod of fucking the U.S. saying, okay, all right, okay, all right. It's, so, it's very interesting, bro. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Mr. President, was there uh, an intelligence failure in the lead up to this attack? Mr. President, can you tell us what BB asked you specifically for support? <laughs> uh, Mr. President, can you tell us what uh, uh, BB asked you specifically for support? Yeah, I don't think he has the answer for that one. Um, all right. There was clearly a failure in the intelligence. I just don't understand why is this attack why is this attack spark a war? Haven't they been attacking? Yeah, why now? This is, see, these are the questions I need to know. Why is Hamas attacking Israel and why now? Let's find out. As Israel's war with Hamas burns, Let's go. we want to take a look at the major players in the Let's find out because I want to know. Tiny strip of land where oh shit, Skype hasn't even been on. My fault. Skype hasn't even been activated. I want to know. That's what's that's happening. What and the millions of people caught in the middle. Okay, that's CBS what I want to know. Senior correspondent Why now? As this primer. Not like this before? What do you mean not like this before? What makes this attack so, like, so, like, egregious? I don't understand. Haven't, isn't this what they've been trying to do this entire time? Allegedly, according to, to Israel? Like, they've been trying to do, like, crazy big attacks. They've just been thwarted, right? So I don't understand. Upon them doing what allegedly they've been trying to do, why, why are you fucking just going to war? Even before sweeping to power in Gaza in 2007, Hamas had sworn to the obliteration of Israel. The what? I, I, I just don't understand. You're going to have to explain that to me. 
territory has been sealed off since 2005 by Egypt and Israel because do they mean Israel like see that's what that's the thing do you mean Israel the state where it's like hey there shouldn't be a, a state or do you mean Israel the people or do you mean Israel as in the land like the fears of attack Gaza is a strip of land roughly twice the size of Washington DC bordering Israel and Egypt with a population of 2.3 million people, it's one of the most densely packed regions in the world. Residents call it the world's largest open air prison. And while many who live there may not support Hamas, they pay the heaviest price for a relentless conflict that has raged for decades. The U.S. designated terror group has the backing of Iran and the Iranian backed Islamist group Hezbollah in nearby uh. Lebanon. Hamas lists among the reasons for the unprecedented attack outbreaks of violence at the Al Aqsa Mosque, persecution of Palestinians, and frustration over the blockade of Gaza. That, wait, that makes sense. So. They were being persecuted, according to them, to the extent where they're like, yo, fuck this. We're going to go hard. Well, have we looked into those accusations or allegations? Has anyone, have we? I'm just curious. I'm like, usually when a nigga fucking loses it, it's like, okay, something had to have happened before. Like, I know you, you're used to usual fuckery. But uh, this new fuckery apparently pushed you over the edge. I'm just, uh, I don't know. But regional players like Iran may have had a hand in influencing the group to launch a war they might never win. Charlie Daggett, CBS News, London. For more on all of this, uh, Stephen. But this is where I don't get it. They're saying Iran. Paid off Hamas to just go right now. All I, I don't understand why is why would Iran pay off Hamas right now to go fuck shit up? That's what it's not clicking to me. I get what they said about uh, you know Hamas, like yo, you guys have you know you're persecuting us at the Gaza, yada 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 yada. You know, reach a boiling point. All right, understand. But I don't get where Hamas comes into to this. Or they're saying that Hamas goaded this, uh, this war on. I just, I'm lost here. Cook joins me now. He is Senior Fellow for Middle East and Africa Studies at the Council on Foreign Relations. Um, Stephen, thank you for your time. We just had uh, the international spokesperson for the IDF on. And I'm going to start with you with the same question I started on with him, and that is, why did Hamas do this now? Yes. Well, this is clearly an operation that has been planned for quite some time, uh, just given the extensive nature of it and the complexity of it. Wait, what, what, what happened? Wait, what happened? Because I, I thought this was just an, a, a regular attack that got through. They're, it, they're saying it was a complex. What, wait, 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 why was it complex? Wait, hold on. How did this, what, ex do we know what exactly happened? I think they just planned the attack based on the previous history, but I find it funny that they were able to get through so very, so very secure borders. I don't understand, that's what, I don't understand. What exactly happened? Because now, this is the first time me hearing and saying that, hey, it was something com complex and shit like that. Okay. What, why do you say it was complex? Because I, I would think the knee-jerk reaction would be like, well, because we had so many security, so much security, we knew when these mofos were taking a dump, you know, when they got up from the bed. So I, I need to know what exactly happened in order to know how complex this was. I'm just saying. One has to draw the conclusion that the Hamas had targeted Israel close to or on the 50th anniversary of the October 1973 war between Egypt and Israel and Israel and Syria. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not, I'm not buying it, bro. 
I'm not I'm not buying it, bro. Call me crazy, bro. I could be crazy, and I don't, I don't have a problem with that. But I'm just like, these niggas is hacking on anniversaries and shit. Uh, you're gonna start a war off an of anniversary, a war that you say you can't that you can't win. I, I don't know. It's not adding up. History Legends has an interesting video on it. They attacked by land, sea, and air in a coordinated attack while the country wasn't aware. And that's hard because this country is apparently the world's best intel. So it was a co coordinated attack. Co a co coordinated attack by land, sea, and air? It was just an attack on just parts of Israel or the Gaza Strip. Apparently, it's a barrage missiles that overwhelmed their airspace. But seeing an interview of a woman saying they hid for six hours, they were able to roam for six hours. For six hours? Wait. I just I, okay. It was a barrage of missiles. What the fuck was it? A barrage of missiles? That doesn't make any sense. Israel has some of the best anti fucking uh, uh aircraft anti missile fucking things out there, where it shoots them. The fucking rock, the dome of the rock. There was like a whole documentary of me watching it, of how advanced it was, of how when it shoots missiles and shit like that. How it can detect something. What? I, I don't. They intercepted most of them. Okay. Okay. 5,000 missiles that overwhelmed the Iron Dome. Okay. Where the fuck did they get this many missiles? I guess is that is that where I rank comes in? Where I... Interesting. They shot more missiles than all than all at the same time instead of periodically. Well, why don't they do that all the time? I, I just don't understand what you're telling me. Well, if you know you can overwhelm the fucking dome and its defense, why not fucking do that all the time? If you know it has a weakness. I'm just, hmm, okay. All right. All right. Where the fuck do they get these rockets from, bro? That's all what they had? So they were just like, yo, we're going out with the blast. These are all the missiles we have for the fucking year, bro. These are all the missiles we had from the for the year. Fuck it, like a like a like a a, a warehouse of firecrackers going off. Just fuck it. And they did this due to the anniversary of some fucking historical event. Yada 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 yada. They make these people sound like fucking savages. And I know once you make a group of people sound like savages, it's easy to fucking do inhumane fucking shit to them. Because once you make them seem like a bunch of fucking ruthless monsters, just barbaric fucking knuckle dragging savages, that's when some serious heinous shit can happen. So I, I always try to be, just be careful and hearing some of the shit that they say, because I'm like, if you saying niggas is doing this, then absolutely fucking get their kids, get their teenagers, get the adults. And that's where, that's where I, I feel that's where they want to push you. See, what we're doing is justified. 
what we're doing is justified, you see? You, do you see? Yeah, we're, we're okay, we're okay. But that's a kid. Well, they were going to be a terrorist, right? Just like their father and their mother and the family, their family of terrorists. All right, okay, all right, all right. There are calls for a genocide. What? Calls by who? Hold on, let me see if the phones are working because I'm, I'm guessing that they're not. Um, interesting. Yeah, it's not working. Hold on, let me sign out and sign back in. Interesting. Okay, I just, I don't know. I just like a little bit more because it's just not as, it's not making sense. I mean, if that's the case, that these mofos are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, then fine. By all means. But, I mean, I, I mean, stranger things have happened. There have been people who are just filled with hatred. Damn, it's still busy. I don't know why it's calling up busy. Um, hmm. Let me shut down Skype and try it again. Um, because I'm very, I'm just, I'm just, it's just, this is all very interesting to me. All very interesting. So I just want to know, you know, in case we don't, we do get nuked or some shit happens or, I don't know, they tell me I can't get a, a fucking Spider-Man 2 because we're in war with fucking Japan or some shit. I just want to know why, bro. That's all. <laughs> I just want to know why. <laughs> Biden has called off all games coming from Japan and its sister nation or whatever, Iran or whatever. Iran actually helped publish Spider-Man 2. And we are now doing a blockade or a fucking boycott of all Iran products as a nation. I don't know. Some shit like that. I don't know why it's not working. It's not working. Um, maybe we, we can do stream yards. We can take calls from there. They told 1 million Palestine, Palestinians to flee to the north on a secure route. Then the idea of bombed the route. Bro. <laughs> oh, God damn. Bro. That's fucked. That's fucked. Yo. That's fucked. That's wild, bro. Ain't no way. That's wild. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm fucking... I look retarded. Um, that's wild, bro. Hold up. Let me deactivate. There we go. That's... Bro, that's brutal, man. All right. If you... Uh, if you have some thoughts or comments, here you go. Join... Well, I guess you have a disagreement. Uh, click... For disagreement. There you go. Click it for disagreement. Since the phone lines aren't working, you're going to have to click that. Uh, you don't have to have a cam. We'll just do audio. But, um, damn. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's, that's crazy. I don't know what is going on with Skype. Why is Skype is tripping on your boy? Bro, I keep screwing over TMZ. I gotta call them. I gotta fucking respond. It's just that it's been pretty fucking hectic these last few weeks, man. Crazy. Crazy, bro. Let me see. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not going through. That's so weird. That's so weird. Uh, the coordinated attack, some of the ways the infiltrated was quite innovative. All right, we got Medley. Medley, what's what's happening? What's what's the deal, bro? Oh, Med Medley, what's the deal, bro? What's happening? What's going on? Give us the uh, give us the four one one. So yeah, let's uh, let's give uh, like a, a brief uh, explanation to what's happened. Okay. Basically, this all all the all the missiles that uh, were fired over uh, to the Iron Dome were handmade. 
That's why it took a long time to uh, to uh, do this attack. Okay. That's Five thousand missiles fired at the same time overwhelmed the Iron Dome, and that was the air attack. And the uh, uh, plus they they uh, they infiltrated via like uh, parachutes as well. And then oh, there was wow. the, uh, the land attack, and there was the sea attack. All this attack was done on a, on a, on a, where the where the uh, the military of Isra Israel were. So the, all of them, basically, you need to know that all the Israelis are forced to serve in the IDF. So all of them are military, basically. There are no civilians in Israel. Uh -huh. That's what they won't tell you. So they took hostages, and all these hostages basically served in the military. So they are military forces in Israel. They took these hostages to negotiate the Palestinian prisoners. Who did this? Not Hamas. There is something called the Qassam militia. There are militia group, basically a resistance group, who are resistance for the Palestinian liberation, basically. Hamas is just a uh, political party, which, uh, which is the, 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 the political party that opposes the existence of Israel in, within the land, not the existence of Israelis or like to try to like... Uh, eliminate Israelis or anything. No, they're okay. opposing the existence of Israelis in the Palestinian land because, you know, since uh, 1948, Israel, uh, uh, Zionists uh, occupied uh, Palestine. They saw the land bit by bit. They have been doing this by killing and kicking Palestinians out of their houses, out of their land. They, they did this in the, the most vile ways. And all what Palestinians has been doing since then is just resistant to survive. They just want their land back. They just want the Israelis out. That's it. All what the media is saying about babies killed and beheaded, bullshit. All of it is bullshit. They have no proof. Do you know who, ha who has proof of babies ki being killed? Just, just go on, uh, on Twitter and see what uh, people from Gaza are posting. Videos. Not just not fabricated photos like Ben Shapiro did. It's literally videos from the hospitals of babies missing limbs, babies screaming, and and, and uh, with their parents because all the houses are being demolished on, on, over their heads, basically, from the from the bombings. And what uh, what MP said is true. They told them to evacuate the northern uh, side of uh, of uh, of Gaza and flee to the to the southern side. And while they were doing that, they got bombed. They, they, set, them, they set them up, basically. They got them out of their houses to, so they would be easy to bomb and kill. And, but, but there is no footage of this. Do you know why? Because there is no electricity, no water, and no... Yeah, I heard they cut that right off. Now. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that was a tactic so nothing would be recorded and nothing would, uh, would be documented. And on the on the few footage. Well, they said that that was in response. The, the 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 story was that that was in response to get the hostages back. I believe. Yeah, basically, uh, the, since since let's say since twenty twenty one, they have been like uh, doing the all these crazy attacks, like in Jerusalem, in uh, in all parts of, of Palestine, and this is basically like a, a response from the Palestinians out of frustration. It's just an act of resistance. All they did was taken hostages, and they have been releasing hostages, women and children. So they are only keeping the like uh, Israeli male soldiers as hostages to negotiate uh, on releasing uh, prisoners, Palestinian prisoners from out of jails. Most of these Palestinian prisoners are jailed for no reason, mm. for no fucking reason. Like if if you if they suspect you like you have a, let's say just like they could just like arrest you for posting on on the internet or or any other other reason that would uh, expose what Israel is doing. Uh, it's a lot, a lot. It's a lot to unpack, uh, Lucas. Like uh, you have to watch independent journalists uh, reporting about this. Don't rely on the mainstream media at all. 
at all at all they yeah. will just like uh spread must miss uh, let's let's uh let me give you some names of uh independent there is a uh, richard medhurst he's a british journalist independence journalist who keeps uh on, on like uh, keeps everyone up to up to date to what's happening not just in palestine worldwide but but he reports uh basically uh most mostly like the truth on and the front like and what like what both sides says and but 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 debunks like the false information basically his name is richard medhurst if if you want to interview like someone from the palestinian side there is a uh, muhammad el kurd he's a uh, he's a uh, independent journalist palestinian independent journalist and he's like a, a writer and the poet the the dude no, what? You dropped. What was that? Uh, Muhammad Al Kurd. He's uh, he's like a Palestinian uh, independent journalist, and and the uh, and the writer and the poet. He does interviews with uh, with uh, with uh, with mainstream media and with the independent journalists as well. You could maybe like reach out to him, invite him, and interview him on your channel. Uh, if you remember, uh, like from last year, uh, there was that uh, fat uh, Israeli dude who was, was telling a woman that if if he if he if he can't steal her house, someone else did. Do you remember that video from last year? No, I don't. That was his house, and that was his sister. So the, the Israel that, that Israeli dude was stealing his his house in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in Jerusalem. Mm. That was actually his house. Him and his sister Muna al Kurd are both are both activists and desperately trying to spread the truth out to the world. So as yeah, as I was saying, do not rely on the mainstream media to get uh, news about what's happening in uh, in Palestine. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna call it Israel because Israel is uh, is what the mainstream media was, was, was gonna call it. Israel is not a, uh, you cannot consider it as a state. It's a it's a, a colonized. It's a it's, it's like a, a European colonization uh, apartheid uh, regime. That's what it. It's it's per, it's practicing apartheid. It's practicing colonization. It's practicing it's practicing heinous uh, war crimes. And and none of this has to do with Judaism at all. They are not Jews. They are just Zionists. They are literally beating up Orthodox Jews in 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 uh, in Palestine. Yeah, I've seen that. Where uh, yeah. you, there was uh, Orthodox Jews who were holding up the Palestinian flag, and uh, yeah, they, other Jews they, were not very uh, very welcoming these, to them. Yeah, these people know what know what's up. They are against Israel, the Israeli existence. They are against Israel. They are against Zionists. These are the the real. Like people who are practicing real Judaism, or what's what's left of them in uh, in in uh, in Palestine, basically. The and and uh, and most and most of these people are uh, are in Europe, basically, and they are protesting in Europe, and they are getting beat the fuck up in in Europe as well, for 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 uh, stating the obvious, that Israel is not a representative of of Jews, around the world. So basically, yeah, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I have to head out. I'll let uh, someone else jump uh, jump in. Uh. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Nick, what do you got? All right. I mean, I wish I could say anything different from the guy that came on. He's pretty much correct. The only thing I would add is that the prime minister of Israel is um was actually protested a couple months ago as being kind of a dictator that he was taking a lot of power from the um parliament so a lot of even the israelis there were, were protesting him so i feel like um what's going on here is probably something trumped up by um the israeli elites to kind of um you know foster some type of nationalism to keep his support up another thing i want to add to is um another reason why american media is very um is very sympathetic or very pro-Israel is because the Israel lobby actually holds a lot of power in Congress. Have you heard of the book called um, The Israel Lobby? No, I haven't. 
Yeah, you can research that. that actually, was a, it's, first of all, it's um, a book done by two um, political scientists. I think one of them came from Harvard. But basically, it's just a book that goes into detail about how the Israel lobby, which is not just a Jewish lobby, there's actually some evangelical Christians who actually um, support Israel, but how they have a lot of power in Congress. And another thing I would add to is that um, there's one more independent journalist I would recommend you look into is Abby Martin. Have you heard of her before? No. Well, she actually did this documentary called, um, I think, Freedom for Gaza, and it's basically about how um, the Israelis just, you know, I don't want to go into too much detail. I don't want to spoil it, but it's basically how the Israelis try to just slaughter the people of Gaza, and the people of Gaza just want, you know, to have some freedom. You know, as you can, as you know, um, Gaza is more of an open air prison for the people there, and. Again, I think this was coordinated by Israel to kind of like the slaughter the population because you look at the um the videos, there's like blocks of Gaza that are just um pretty much being destroyed. And again, there's babies, there's mothers, there's children that are being slaughtered there um every day. And they say that if this attack keeps on going, then this could end up with the extermination of the population. But, you know, that's all I really have to say. I, I I had more to say, but the dude before kind of just took a lot of my points. So shout out to him. And, you know, that's really all I got for you. All right. Fair enough. Appreciate it. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's continue on. It, with a, a massive surprise attack, just like that conflict began. Uh, of course, Hamas uh, does not recognize Israel, seeks to destroy Israel. Uh, whatever uh, justifications it gave for this particular operation, uh, the idea is to not just relieve Palestinians of the occupation of the West Bank and Israel's blockade of the Gaza Strip, but in fact uh, strike at the heart of Israel because Hamas's goal is ultimately the destruction of Israel. But what's the end game for mm. Hamas? I mean, is it, is it to provoke that ground invasion? In part, I think that it's clear that Hamas understands that uh, a strike of this magnitude, the number of Israeli casualties, will, as the Israeli uh, military spokesman said, uh, lead to what he called uh, ground maneuvers. Uh, and, this, and I think that Hamas is counting on the fact that they will draw Israel into a quagmire, much like the quagmire that Israel uh, experienced when it invaded Lebanon in 1982, and it took 20 years for them to get out. And it, mm. is that because Hamas was in some way feeling marginalized a little bit? They weren't, there wasn't as much attention, sort of being ignored beca because of warming relations, the possible normalizing of relations between Israel and Saudi Arabia, which, which was a possibility. I mean, that's now on the back burner. Are, are those the things that, that make Hamas mad? Certainly, Hamas uh, believes that the normalization of relations between Israel years and the get surrounding out, Arab crazy. states and the integration of Israel into the region uh, is a significant threat because those countries that do want to normalize with Israel have grown tired of uh, surrendering their national interest to the Palestinian cause. Uh, it, it's hard to imagine that this operation was planned specifically to undermine normalization, but it is, uh, it, it is something that can happen uh, precisely because the Israelis are being drawn into uh, a very significant conflict that is going to cause a significant amount of civilian casualties uh, and that it will be very difficult for those countries that have already normalized or those countries that are seeking to normalize, like Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. to move forward with Israel while it is um, engaged in these very significant military operations and potentially reoccupying Gaza for or parts of Gaza for periods of time. Do you think Hamas well. misread what the world reaction would be? I mean, it would have been one thing if they had taken it still would have been horrible Egypt trying to send aid to gaza but was threatened by israel that they will bomb them what where did you hear that well if they had taken hostages but the way they slaughtered people the way they raped people i mean the where, pictures what, we're seeing what? it's it's almost unbelievable to talk about and look at every it's horrifying to think about yeah, all i of think this. that that's that's precisely the word it is it is horrifying and and not only 
is Israel mm. jo enjoying a, a very significant amount of international support for what is likely to be a prolonged operation. It has also uh, drawn Israelis together. The preceding nine months were the story in Israel were about uh, endless protests against the government for its plans to alter the Israeli judiciary uh, with reservists threatening not to serve the country. Well, with this uh, extraordinary and horrific attack, reservists are showing up, as the IDF spokesman indicated, a mobilization of 300,000 people in a very, very short period of time. I would expect that as the Israelis pro prosecute their military operations, they will get a lot of leeway from the United States, mm -hmm. from the Europeans, and even under the table from from Arab countries who have no love for for Hamas. I think the risk for Israel really? is the longer that it stays in Gaza, and that's a real risk that it will, and that the number of uh, Palestinian civilians, women and children are killed in the process, uh, Europeans and others will start applying pressure on the Israelis to halt their operations before their goals are complete. And as the IDF spokesman indicated, that is to destroy Hamas's military capabilities, which is to essentially destroy Hamas. And you think mm. the U.S. is okay with that right now? Hamas gone. I think that that's right. Uh, I think that the the attack uh, as it unfolded is is such a shock, uh, and that President Biden is a, a, a politician cut from the cloth. He 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 has bragged that he's hugged and kissed every Israeli prime minister since Golda Meir in 1973. I think the um, mm. the Congress and the president um, there is bipartisan support for. Uh, is Israel right now. The question is, as these operations continue, and they will be prolonged, how long will there be this uh, this support for Israel? How long will it be before uh, politicians in the West, leaders in the West, get very nervous about what the Israelis are doing in Gaza, and how long will it be? The, the one difference is this time mm -hmm. is that the Israeli people are demanding an end to Hamas, so that yeah. may give the yeah. Israeli government some time so to how, resist how's whatever that gonna external work? pressure they're getting. It, it, it's hard to believe that it won't be a long time um, that they won't be in support of ending Hamas, given given what happened um, and, and is still happening. Stephen Cook, senior fellow at the Con on the Council uh, of Relations. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. My pleasure. So it seems like a never-ending war where Israel is going to get crazy support. I just don't... So how's it a never-ending? Well, I guess it'll be a never-ending war if nobody gives up, right? Uh, ha, 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 ha. All right. Well, that, uh, that is brutal. Hmm. Don't want to tell you on that one. Okay. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Um. All right. War makes the rich even richer. Something like that. Something like that. But um. Goodness gracious. I guess so. Anyways, are we doing a Texas Chainsaw? You watching the fight? What fight? What fight? Who's fighting? I'm waiting on a pizza, bro. That's what I'm waiting on. Thank you for your pre-order. Receipt for your order is below. Be sure to keep it in a safe place for future reference. We will attempt to charge the total price of your pre-order using the payment information that you provided. Once your order is ready to ship, you will receive a final e invoice email at that time. Bro, aren't you supposed to be charging it already? That's one thing I can't stand. They don't charge it when you pre-order. They charge it when you ship, and it's like, mm, what happens if I don't have the monies in? Then what? Right? What happens if I don't have the monies? 
Oh, oh, KSI versus Tommy Fury. Hold on, I think my food is here.
Lordy, 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 Lordy. What a time to be alive, bro. What a time to be alive. All right, so are we doing Texas Chainsaw? Is that what we're doing? And also, who's winning the fight? They got to LeBron? Wait, what do you mean they got to LeBron? What what happened with LeBron? Wait, what what do you mean? Bro, now you got me about to Google search LeBron. What happened with LeBron? <laughs> so they got to LeBron. Jake Paul's winning the fight. What happened? What happened with LeBron? What did LeBron do? What, his Twitter? Mm. Oh, you mean this? Bro, LeBron didn't write this. Come on now, y'all can't be serious right now. Y'all can't be serious right now. Bro, if I ever go mainstream, I'm going to do the same thing. Devastation Israel is tragic and unacceptable murder and violence against innocent people by Hamas' terrorism. String Hill Company, Company family sends our deepest condolences to Israel and the Jewish community. We pray for peace in the region and reiterate our continued commitment to fight hate in all its forms. We must work to ensure the tragedy does not spread even more hate, racism, and anti-Semitism. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. His publicist wrote this. Good for him. Good for him. You got money on KSI? Tommy Fury. Who's Tommy Fury? Is this, uh, oh, that's Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury looks slow. Is this being live streamed or something? Am I missing something? How are you guys watching this? Oh, yeah, I saw the update in the Carly Russell a year. Don't even. Don't even talk to me about that. I still have to make a video on that a fucking year. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You think ABK deal will help Microsoft? Can PlayStation beat Microsoft without Call of Duty? 100%. Yeah. A hundred percent, yes. I think, uh, I mean, it all depends on, on, on Microsoft, to be honest with you. Microsoft Ben had the talent. They Ben had the talent. They just uh, chose not to do anything with it. What happened here? Damn. I thought my forehead was big. Ah, man. His forehead is massive, bro. It's massive. Mm. 
What is he wearing, too? I hope he does get beat up for looking like that, bro. We have no self awareness. How are you gonna have no self awareness? And then walk out with a, a dirty green, lime green suit. Bro, it look like something you can get from uh <laughs> from the Halloween stores. You know when the Halloween stores start to pop up? <laughs> this looks like the pimp the pimp costume. What are you wearing, bro? Hopefully KSI is getting his ass beat. Oh, and then Ben Shapiro posted a <laughs> an AI image of a burnt baby. <laughs> uh, so good. So good. I love it. I love it, man. All right. Yeah, my forehead is tame compared to his. His shit is massive. And he's got money. He should just go to Hong Kong or wherever and get, get it done. That's what he should do. He should go to Hong Kong. Bro, they didn't even cut them. This is ghetto as fuck. They didn't even cut the, the center sticks. They just gave me long ass sticks. Bro. These mofos hate their job, bro. They really do hate their job, then. They just straight up gave me long ass sticks, bro. But you're supposed to cut them in the middle. Ghetto as hell. God dang, look at that head. Bro, look at that dome. He needs to let it go. Bro, he needs to let it go. Let the dream go, Pimpin. <laughs> let the dream go. <laughs> My shit ever got that bad. Yeah, bro. I'm going to... What are those trips called? Whatever. I'm going to Turkey, bro. I'm going to Turkey with the quickness. That shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. I need advice. My grandfather stopped talking taking his anti-Alzheimer's pills after he saw that Taz and two suit design. <laughs> Bro wants to forget it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. You are wild, bro. You are wild for that, Drago. You're straight fucking wild for that. That's crazy. That's a crazy comment, bro. Do you understand how, how crazy you are for that comment? That comment is like nuts. Goodness gracious. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Who's winning the fight, bro? KSI, his big ass head, bro. I just he shaved that shit. Or Tommy Fury. Is anybody streaming it? Or is it like illegal to stream? Oh, Logan and KSI. Ah. Hopefully Logan Paul beating his ass. How do we get on Tommy Fury, though? Hopefully, Logan Paul is beating his ass, bro. 
Bro, what is that for? Sir, y'all cannot clown me. And there are niggas like this walking around without caps. Y'all can't clown me, bro. With 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 dudes like this, bro. You can't clown me. You can't clown me, bro. It's like impossible. It's impossible, bro. First of all, how is Low gonna be hurt? Yeah, mm -hmm. good. He's good. I want to go. Look at that man. Bro, he writes his forehead down as a dependent on his taxes. What the fuck are we talking about? That shit is crazy, fam. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. That has a wild, wild shaped head. Y'all over here calling me Megamind. Nigga, that's Megamind. My shit looks tamed, huh? My shit looks normal compared to that, bro. That nigga looks like a different species. That nigga looks like an alien, bro. <laughs> Yo, are we sure this nigga's a homo, homo sapien? Bro. Aliens have made contact, all right. No, you got an alien family living in his fucking forehead. God dang. You do be thinking a lot. Not like that, bro. Not like this. This nigga's thinking about fuck the future. This nigga thinking about the past, the present, and the future all at once. <laughs> this nigga thinking about the multiverse with that fucking dome. What are we talking about? <laughs> this nigga, he's looking at himself in, in different dimensions with that fucking dome. Goodness gracious. That shit is wild, bro. And he's got money, right? He's not broke. He's got money. He got... He, I, bro, it couldn't be me. I'd fix that shit. Or wear a cap. Ain't no way you had me fucking... It's, it's fucking slacking like that, bro. He's a multi-millionaire with a fucking dome like that. That's crazy. That's fucking wild. That is wild. I wear a flex fit small, small medium. That nigga does not. We don't wear the same cap, bro. He would bust my fucking cap like the Hulk. His forehead would be like, Rah! God dang. I did not know what this man even looked like. Bruh. He still got, he still got head to go. That's insane. Yeah, that's wild. And then I just saw Logan running. Yeah, so the difference. So you see, his hairline was right here. That's where your hairline's supposed to be. That's how you tell the difference between a big forehead and a receding hairline. I have a big forehead. Because right where my wrinkles go, if you try to furrow your brow and shit like that, that's where your hairline's supposed to start. Right? All this should have hair. It's not supposed to cover up your fucking wrinkles of your forehead. 
But once there's no more wrinkles, it's a this line right here that he has, that's where his shit's supposed to start. That's where it's supposed to start, bro. I'm running hard. God I'm dang. What's going on. And then I saw it, and yeah, man, I'm the way to get out. Kate. And uh, when I came off the ground, does he have a girl? Does, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I wonder if, despite that massive dome, you think he he probably pulls, huh? Because he's KSI. KSI is right. He's some. Did he? Oh, did he? Lose? Did he lose? Did, is this, this is round two, huh? No headgears. Oh, the fight tomorrow? Okay. Did he? Wait, did he lose? Oh, he won. Oh, he won. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, hopefully he loses. KSI beat Logan twice? What? Hopefully he loses, bro. But at the same time, how do you, how do you beat somebody who's thinking... In the future, past, and, and fucking, you know, present. How do you beat someone who can actually see the fight before it happens? I wouldn't fight him either. I'm like, uh, uh you, you, you're like a uh, Heimdall, bro, from God of War. You know the moves before I'm gonna do it. You don't even stand a chance. How about, uh, you got it, bro. You got it. I'm like, you got it, bro. You got it. I'm good. You got it, boss. Have fun. Take care. Damn. That's wild. So this is... You're telling me this is about to be his third ass whooping? That's crazy. This is about to be his third ass whooping? That's wild. That's wild, bruh. Oh, wait, I thought you guys said it was Logan Paul versus KSI in the third round. No, they aren't fighting. It's Tommy Fury. Okay, so Logan Paul. So it's KSI versus Tommy Fury. Okay. Then who said Logan Paul? All right. So it's KSI versus Tommy Fury. Oh, shit. He's still alive? Bro, what? This man is probably worth, like, I wouldn't say billions, but he's a multi, multi millionaire. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. Bro, that guy's worth millions, bro. I don't get it. What's, are they both wearing oh, stuff? Oh, wow. This is, this is fucking stupid. Really? Really? They have a plexiglass between them? Are you are we are they children? Am I missing something? What is this? This is the stupidest shit I've seen in my life. To have a plexiglass between this is the stupidest shit ever. Oh, my fucking lord. That's the dumbest shit ever I've seen. Oh my god. All right. Who we have our money on? KSI or uh, Tommy Fury? KSI versus Tommy Fury is not even close. Oh. This is Mickey Smiles. Why is it set on Tommy Fury facing off? KSI. Oh, GC has his money on KSI, huh? with wow. him in the ring following his last fight against Joe Fournier. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down why I don't think this fight will be close. So yeah, with negotiations Wait, now starting between KSI and Tommy Fury. Hey, look at that fucking dough. Tommy Fury's teams to get this fight on for this year, either in August or December. I do think that this will be a very tough stylistic matchup for KSI. Tommy Fury's resume as well as his skills and- Oh, he says it's gonna be a tough matchup for KSI, GC. 
attributes would definitely make him i don't know gc you about to have me you about to have me lose money bro a substantial favorite going into this fight as tommy fury is the taller bigger man who is also more experienced in the ring has more fights has a longer reach has better oh damn tommy fury's 23 that nigga does not look 23 and ksi does not look 29 that's fucking crazy fundamentals and just overall is widely considered the better boxer between them and it's not to say ksi has no chance but it is hard to see this one being competitive as well ksi is fast explosive and unorthodox it is hard to see him beating tommy unless he lands a hail mary just huge bruh he said unless he lands a hail mary gc i don't know i'd be shaking in my boots bro after hearing this he said, unless he lands a Hail Mary, he doesn't stand a chance. Shot that connects and hurts Tommy, which to be fair, Tommy That's Fury insane. does get hit a fair bit in his fights. But considering the size disadvantage for KSI, it would definitely Ooh, be harder to put him. down the much bigger guy. And while Tommy Fury doesn't have much of an amateur pedigree and didn't really grow up, Climbing the ranks in the sport and going to the Olympics, for example, Tommy Fury has been boxing and in the gym since a young age. Compared to KSI, who took it up in his mid-20s, Tommy's dad loved boxing and was a boxer himself, and he's obviously the half-brother of the WBC lineal heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury. Really? He's a Really? So Tommy's been around this- Bro, I was looking at dodges for uh, slips and shit for boxing. Tyson, Tyson's moving for a big dude. For I couldn't believe it. C17 says Jake Paul is better than KSI and Tommy Fury beat Jake Paul. Jake Paul is better than KSI. Wait, but did KSI beat Jake Paul? I thought Logan Paul was the match. Lucas, KSI had been the underdog for a, a, before against Logan, who was bigger, more athletic, and he won. Tommy is a boxer, but not a good one great trainers obviously with how that the fuck are you gonna be the half brother to fucking uh, the fury and not be a good boxer patient built into him and having access to a high level team and he is considerably younger than ksi at 23 years old and is still growing with each fight well tommy is still raw and he's obviously not at the highest level of professional boxing with sites if tommy was good he'd be fighting in the pros yikes to be a world champion still really far from reach but he is a 9-0 prospect with technical boxing skills he has a great jab and decent fundamentals which he oh he's a 9-0 when he separated himself from the influencer boxing scene by beating jake paul well the fight was a split decision it wasn't really that close as tommy dictated a majority of it and got the job done in that fight tommy showed versatility he mixed things up and flustered jake with four five and six combination punches where most of the time jake was used to fighting mma fighters who don't really throw as many combinations as boxers and really throw one or two punches at a time so tommy took advantage of this and had a great game plan executed it well against jake and put on his best Damn, performance to date in that fight tommy is experienced to go the distance and while ksi is assumed to have great cardio we don't know if he can keep up his style at the pace of tommy for as long as him Ooh. ksi has adapted a new bounce and karate blitzing style where he's a lot more active always bouncing on his toes which is a very exhausting style which while could be effective if you're not as experienced doing that there are definitely going to be weaknesses in your game which we've only seen ksi do it more recently in his last two fights and in his last couple of fights he went two rounds with joe fournier one round with face temper three rounds with luis pineda and two rounds with swarms so none of them went past three who are these people bro three rounds last time we saw him over the distance was against logan paul back in 2019 with a completely different style so it's hard to tell where his pace would be in an eight round fight also considering he's been preparing for six rounders rather than eight prior to this fight but ksi's fitness has uh, always uh. been a strength of his and tommy fury is a volume slash combination puncher which i do think will give ksi problems ksi is more of an in and out style where he's not really trying to stay in the pocket for too long or take many shots even though when he does in the past he has been shown to be a brawler who can take punches walk forward and has a huge will to win and will do anything to get that victory uh, on the night but recently that, po that boy ksi got the yakumi he has shown that he has developed more skills and isn't just a brawler who will sit in the pocket mm. he's way more elusive now and has adapted new levels to his game ksi has shown to box in rhythm which can definitely be broken in spots and just like tommy he does Ooh, usually get wow. hit during his fights and if tommy fury is able to land a couple combinations or just fluster him using his jab coming really? forward that could halt ksi's rhythm well ksi is hard to figure out with his new style he has speed and he's honed in on his athleticism tommy fury is much different than the guys ksi has been fighting as well ksi's unorthodox what? karate blitzes worked against much lower opposition than someone on Tommy's level. Tommy Fury is a much better boxer and tougher than any of KSI's opponents. Wow, he's hyping up freaking uh, Tommy Fury, uh, GC. 
I'm just saying he hopping up top of Fury, brother. Uh, I, don't, I don't want. I don't like to lose monies, bro. I don't want you to lose monies either. This game will be put in there to win, obviously being favored in what would be a massive fight for both of these guys. KSI is always on his toes and unpredictable, but Tommy has seen and trained for. Fury is gonna beat KSI easily. Easily. Wait, where is this fight happening? Because I want to see it on my TV, like bro. Anthony Taylor, and he dominated that fight back in 2021, as well as fighting Jake Paul and comfortably beating him, showing a higher fight IQ than most, if not all, YouTubers. While KSI does have a style that Tommy hasn't really seen, we've never seen Tommy struggle in a fight, as he's usually always in control, and I don't see him coming forward recklessly and getting caught big by KSI, as he's usually a relatively back foot fighter, throwing combinations and planning shots, which is what I do see him trying to do against KSI, as he can really punch punish KSI's wild style where if KSI swings big like he usually does, Tommy could sit down on big punches and put KSI down, which we saw starts at 2, 2 p.m. Does anyone have any links? Many years ago against Logan Paul, Ooh. which while yes, a very different fight and a very different version of KSI back then, there are going to be opportunities to catch KSI just because of his style and his constant pressure coming Ooh, forward, God, which I feel like Tommy's Fury's jab is definitely going to put KSI's new style to the test. Not With his new gym, KSI crazy. hasn't really been trying to be a boxer. His goals in the sport are really just to beat Jake Paul and Tommy Fury and solidify himself as the best influencer boxer. It's not like he's the best influencer boxer. That's wild. Maybe I should get in the ring, but I shouldn't, you know. He's out there and trying to fight Canelo. And I would need like bowl. a year. So for what he's doing, it is smart because he isn't going to just catch up to Tommy Fury's skill. If he is going to beat him, he has to be unpredictable and smart with it. As John Fury, Tommy Fury's dad, even said it himself. Saying guys like KSI can make even pros look bad because of how crazy his style is. But what? Tommy Fury's style is very hard to break as he obviously has that Fury. Canelo? Bro, imagine if one of them fought Canelo. Bro, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. That would be worth every freaking penny. Freestyle, good upper body movement with a loose guard, who can be caught in spots, and that is where KSI could take advantage. But in all honesty, with Tommy Fury's experience and where he is in the sport, he should be able to dominate KSI, which is also what I said back when I was breaking down Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury. But this definitely is a different fight. Tommy mm. Fury has a long reach, and he's a disciplined boxer. If KSI isn't masking his shots, he will be able to read his movements, especially if KSI does start to give patterns, as Tommy knows how to control distance and range with his jab and dictating the pace of of a fight which why as i mentioned i think stylistically tommy fury does have a big edge with his experience and better boxing fundamentals that while ksi does know what he's signing up for i don't think he'll be able to knock out or stop tommy fury which is what i do feel you seen ksi brother fight mayweather nope I feel like he has to do to win this fight as it's going to be hard to beat him on points tommy fury has a great jab and that will be in ksi's face all night and he just has that what's his what's his length what's his reach that experience to be comfortable in there and he did outbox jake paul he looks like he has some crazy if ks like it's one arms, for that one bro. shot or that one combination i think tommy fury he looks like his arms are longer than his old torso will be able to capitalize there's a reason tommy fury wants this fight right now he wants the biggest opportunity on the biggest stage to make the most amount of money while also not having to fight the highest level of boxers which is what he believes ksi is a youtuber that he can take care of fairly easily which wow. although it is important to not underestimate ksi and to keep a level head going into this build up i think tommy fury did show that in his last fight against jake paul even though everyone thought that the pressure would get to tommy and that the stage would be too big the lights would be too bright and everything's going to catch up to him like all the mind games tommy fury did not show that at all on the night and he just did what he had to do to get the win over jake paul so with both of these guys seemingly having an unbreakable mentality like that i do think that this fight at the end of the day will come down to the skills and who's just the better boxer on the night which is why i feel like tommy fury has a big edge he has pretty much everything going in his favor as i mentioned the Damn. attributes and the stylistic matchup with ksi's biggest win was obviously back in 2019 when he defeated logan paul by split decision GC, in his return bro, fights, he's never really happening? fought anyone on a high caliber, so Tommy Fury would definitely be that in a true test, which is honestly what he needs, and win or lose, he should definitely get credit for even taking a fight against Tommy, especially with his mentality. Damn, GC, when, when, what, 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 where is this happening? He said he's going to get knocked the F out, bro. It's not even going to be it. It's not even going to be, he should even fight. That's what he's saying. 106 fights. I won seven national titles, a European gold Damn. medal, and as well, I won an Olympic medal. Tony Jeffries. So I think Damn. my views on this fight will be pretty decent, and as well, my prediction at the end 
will be very accurate. So let's take a look. To be honest, fights. I've never watched KXI fights start with Seb Pop, and this was like the big takeoff of Seb. So he's orthodox. Got that low left hand. And I think this is like KSI's third fight. Really stepping in with that jab to the body. Obviously, Logan's taller than him, so he's throwing that jab to the body, trying to get him to drop his hands, and then come and whipping over the top. KSI's got his hands very low, both hands. So he's obviously confident there. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some nice feints. Just very low hands. So is Logan as well. But we've got to take into account as well the magnitude of this mm. fight. It's in a stadium with thousands of people, probably millions of people watching at home. The pressure's immense with these. And as well, they're both novices in here with very little experience. Mm. KSI's got good reactions. He's moving his head good. He's moving his feet good. But he's jumping in, getting a bit excited, trying to go for that knockout blow, trying to land them big power shots. Ooh, was that a knockdown? That kind of hit him on the back of the head. Yeah, that looked like it hit him on the back Ooh, of the head. Ooh, hits him on, looks like the back of the head. Logan does look in a little bit of trouble there, but the referees let him get straight back up. When he's jabbing, he's really putting his head down low, kind of leaving him open for like an uppercut or like a hook. Oh, there's a big uppercut there. Oh, and he's knocked him down. Oh, and KSI's legs have gone. Wow, oh, wow. I didn't know he this wobbly. happened. He wobbly, bro. The winner by split decision. Hey! Wow. But this is an old fight, so let's move on. Skip. Find a tall southpaw here. Interesting. This is interesting. Oh, shit. Y'all can't even see him. My fault. I didn't even see that. My fault. It is what it is. It's two fights later. But I'm noticing when he's throwing these punches. Every punch giving is his... hard. Make sure he's hands down now. He's very comfortable in the ring. You can see. I think it gets a defensive See, that, fighter. He's been definitely putting the work in. KSI would get south. fucking demolished. Because he, look at that lunge, bro. Like, all it takes is for someone to fucking sidestep him. Or there, which was pretty Right? Hard. To slip that shit and fucking pop that head up Same and it's game he over. And he got caught. Let's watch that again. Looks like a step forward, come and square on. He walks into the other guy's jab. Yeah, yeah it was a bit that's fucking sloppy there. crazy. But this just shows me like how confident he is in the ring. Which again, that's not fucking confidence. That's fucking suicide. In in front of this many people, at this lower level of a fighter, meaning his experience. Yeah, I'm impressed with his punching power here. I would like to see him set up the power punches before he like tries to land them. But yeah, he punches hard. He's got good pressure. No, before Yo, I get... No, yellow. Tony, he's useless. Look at Manny Pacquiao. Look at this Yellow is not moving reviewing, at all. Reviewing a boxer with ne less than 10 fights. Look, he's got his hands down on his toes. Very comfortable in there. Oh! Oh, mate! Goodness. That guy's not getting up there. No, he's not. Let's watch that again. Yeah. Fainting, fainting, fainting. Throws a big right hand. He does that thing what I've just criticized him for where he's switching square on and then he's stepping in with that Damn. lead left hook, hits him right in the chin, and it's good night. Now let's move on to the Joe Fong you where he good elbows him, gracious. puts him asleep. Oh, look at him, look on there, how confident he is. Now, like the can, look at the confidence right here. What's that? He's been doing it for like five years now. And the oh, confident needs footwork, which he's got. He has reach. Foot. That reach don't matter if he can't aim right, bro. He looks like he's just lunging at people. Well, you can see he's on his toes, keeping his feet apart. Look at that, Looking bro. for that big, massive right hand before he's even established the jab. Again, looking for another big right hand. I would love to see yeah. him throwing some jabs there. That right hand again, the guys... That All he in. needs is someone to do the same thing to him, and it's night-night. What the fuck? Throws him to the ground. One thing that I'm noticing in KSI is like how much he wants it, how hungry he is. Now, I know he's had so much success in his life in YouTube and in music. And, you know, to have success in I don't know, GC. I said KSI is going to take this anything, L, bro. You know, you've got to have that fight in KSI you. KSI is going to take that L. Not in a it seems that Tommy is a little more uh, uh, strategic in his fighting. He's going to punish him, bro. He's going to punish him. I feel I'm putting monies on fucking Tommy, bro. I feel like Tommy's going to punish him because this fool is going to lunge in. Tommy's going to slip that punch and fucking pop his head off, bro. We were you trying to knock someone out all the time. But you I have just to fill it right out. Now, he's determined GC, and he have wants to, fill to it win. Out first. Now, the guy is a professional boxer who's fighting in Joe Forney. I think he had like 10 fights or something. 
look at how confident he is with that footwork there. He's kind of switching stances and then coming forward. Hands are low. So, you know, if you're a big puncher, he's walking forward into them punches. It's a very risky and dangerous thing to do. Very. But he, he's fainting well. And when he is punching, he's bringing his head off that center line. But one thing I'm very impressed with is just how comfortable he is in there. He's like kind of doing what he wants to do. He's trying new things. <laughs> that was a crazy overhand right there, mate. What was that? Fucking what was that? Insane. Get behind your jab and then he'll throw it and then that might land. That's it. When he throws that jab, it's nice. Hands are a little bit low for my liking, but he's out of range. And what I always say is, if, if you're out of range, you can do whatever you want with your hands. You can put them behind. In case I win, so you have to play two hours of Death Stranding. Ooh, if KSI wins, I have to play two hours of Death Stranding? That's... I don't know about that one. That's brutal. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> Maybe, how about two hours of, of Breath of the Wild or something shit like that? I don't know. Death Stranding? Do we have any other games? Because I would definitely yeah, take that bet. It doesn't matter. It's just as long as you've got them up when you go into not range. Not doing matter. I've got to have that head off the center line when you go into range with your not hands doing down. I would rather take fucking thing. Death Stranding over so Madison. I think, I think the elbow is in this round. Oh, so there he's jabbing, bringing his head down and off that center line. But like his eyes seem to be facing elsewhere when he's doing that, which is dangerous. So if you bring his eyes off there, like he's head down, so mm. you can't really see. But he is looking for that big overhand right. But still, you should keep your eyes facing forward even when you're jabbing down. But again, he's brought his head down facing the floor. Now, if his opponent was upright and he threw that If KSI wins, you got to play the, the last middle, of that's us the too. Punch. That will do the damage. Oof. That's three across. Oof. Like here, Oof. leaning in, heads kind of facing the other way. And then this is where the other guy throws a loop and right hand and hits him on the side of the head. Now, if you think where he's brought this hand all the way around here to try and loop it in, there still landed. But if he threw the right hand from here where it should come straight down the pipe there, it would have went straight onto his chin. But instead he kind of loops it around, which is taking the power out of the punch because KSI's hands there still landing the punch and still his best punch of the fight it would be better if ksi would stop putting his head down as he jabs staying upright and keeping his eyes forward while he's jabbing and that would avoid him being caught with them punches there now if he was fighting tommy fury who throws them long straight right hands this here could be a major problem yeah it's for game KSI. over it's night night and now that right hand's kind of slowed ksi down a little bit KSI's is going to get knocked out, bro. Ooh, That's well, that my prediction. That was a lovely body shot. How did he throw that? Now, that right there is a hard punch to land. Joe Fournier was moving away to his right, away from KSI's right hand. It took a bit of the sting out of the punch. If he was moving to his left and that landed, would have done some damage. I would love to see KSI working behind his jab a little more to have more success to set up these other punches because he's loading up that big right Ooh, hand wow. and there it's there. Boom. Huge. That was the controversial elbow Bro, there. What? So just let's watch that right hand again. So he does throw what the jab, what I was talking about, and that really sets up that big swinging right hand, hits him right on the chin. Uh, now let's get into this elbow, mate. Goes for the right hook. What happened and here? As Forney is coming in, it kind of hits him with the elbow. Oh, which it was I've an never elbow. Seen boxing like this before and doing that much damage. But it was an accidental elbow. Maybe the yeah, fight should have been was an called elbow, a no bro. contest because of that, or even disqualification because it was an illegal blow that landed that ended up winning KSI the fight but I don't know what do you think Bro, this dude about, about to get that about work fights like this I don't know much about the person in front of him like was Logan Paul not ready for that fight was this fierce temper a terrible boxer to start with was Joe Fournier just too old and was Bro, he gonna come back and win he won by an elbow, an elbow? So one thing that I like to do to this dude about to get demolished do you see boxing ability is look at their training, look at their shadow boxing. Because you anyone can look good second? hitting the heavy no. bag on the mitts, but when it's shadow boxing, that's where I can really tell if he knows their stuff. So let's look at some of KSI's training. Let's see if he's got any shadow boxing. Bruh, he about to get laid the fuck out. Where is this see fight going to be? good habits with his shadow. First one that comes up. Where is this fight going to be? He about <laughs> to get knocked the fuck out. I've got to see, I like it. I really like it. We see way too many fighters. Uh, uh, uh going through the motions, doing this stuff that I'm not a fan of. But right here, he's doing fight-specific stuff. He's really putting his body through it and pushing himself, bringing his hands back to his face. 
That's that little switch move he does with his feet there that I said earlier on that I didn't like, but then he proved me wrong because it worked and he switched the guy off Discord. with that combination. Shadow boxing with the cat ahead of the Tommy Fury fight. <laughs> That's not a great one for us to review his boxing skills. Here we go, he's on the noodles here. Got them low hands, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's working for him. And some fighters do this and have success with it. So this is some heavy bag work. There's really not much footage of KSI. Yeah, he's putting in that work. I love it. You know why I love this? I see this on my education videos all the time. If you want to get better at one thing, like what he's doing there, working on the hook, all you're going to do is work on the hook. And that's what they're doing in his training camp, blasting in that lead hook, which is developing strength and power behind it. So here we got him on the paddles. Oh, that was that big looping right hand there that knocked Joe Forney out. But I guess it was the elbow that landed, not the right hand. Boom. Yes. Now, do you agree with me elbow. when I see it? It doesn't look like this guy hasn't had that many fights, which is, was it like seven? Now, the thing with KSI, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, these are multi-millionaires. And they can hire the best team possible with nutritionists, strength trainers, the best boxing coaches, get the best sparring. And money's not a problem for that compared to where most fighters, even me, when I was fighting, I would struggle to do this. And I have to really think twice, is it worth me getting this massage today? Because... It costs me 40 quid. And because you're like that, mm. you've got to adjust your way of thinking. Whereas for him, it's like, yeah, get me that massage. So now, after watching KSI, I am impressed and he's a lot better than I actually Glover thought he was. Dylan? But do I, I think he's Dylan got is. enough to beat Tommy Fury? Not in well, I'm going to years. talk all about that and give you my prediction. That might surprise you. But first, I want to talk about the sponsor of the oh, in my a years, bro. Oh, I'm so tired. This prevents Tommy. So, who do I think? will win this fight with KSI years, and Tommy Fury. Now, before I watched them I videos think Tommy of Fury KSI, I was, I was thinking Jake Paul was the superior of these YouTube fighters because he's got that experience. And Jake Paul had a very close fight with Tommy Fury. So I thought, well, Tommy Fury's going to wipe the floor with KSI. But now seeing that and also knowing just how determined KSI is to win in life, it kind of puts us on the fence a little bit. Bro. Tommy Fury is the more experienced boxer of Stop the two it, because he's been in the boxing gym since he was a baby. KSI's got more experience fighting on a big stage, but that kind of doesn't matter. It comes down to on the night, in the ring, who's going to be the better man on the day? And even though I think KSI is way better than I thought, I'm going to have to go with Tommy Fury. No, Calls it. That. <laughs> I think KSI is more determined and he'd want it more than Tommy Fury. So with that in mind and how close it was with Jake Paul, I think I'm going to have to side with KSI. But then again, Fury is the full-time boxer. Yes, I've got all these other projects that he's working on now with his prime, with all of these different YouTube channels, with his music career. So is that just a big distraction for him where Tommy Fury's only got his boxing? So yeah, Tommy Fury. But then again, KSI's footwork and that power of that over and right. This is oh, irritating. Mate, I can't decide. Who do you think is going to win this fight? And also on that card, Logan Paul is fighting Dylan Dennis. Wait, but he can... did all this to say he can't decide? This whole fucking video was clickbait? Is that what he's telling me? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like he's telling me that the whole video was clickbait. Dylan Dennis fight? Well... I break down his boxing on this video right here. So click here and see if I think Dylan Dennis is legit. Click here. Bro. Oh my God, bro. The whole video was fucking clickbait. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't believe it, bro. I can't fucking believe it. He did that. Yeah, I think KSI has this in the bag. KSI has this in the bag. But here's the problem. The problem would be that KSI believes he has it in the bag. So he eases up off the gas. Which then allows... Not KSI. Tommy, Tommy believes he has this in the bag which causes him to ease up off the gas, which then allows for KSI to get the dub. That's the only way I see this happening. As Bill Heath once said, uh, what do you, shit, I forgot, what hard work, what was the saying, hard work? Oh yeah, 
Hard work only beats talent if talent doesn't work hard. If talent works hard, it's not going to beat talent. I mean, if, if talent beats hard, it's not going to beat a. It's not going to beat a, a a a talent. No, if talent works hard, it doesn't matter if you if you uh, work hard. I forgot. I'm packing it. You guys get what I'm saying. You guys get what I'm saying, bro. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying, bro. You're underestimating KSI? Uh, I don't think so, bro. His last fight, he won because he fucking did a cheap shot elbow. I think he throws out a lot of fucking wild ass fucking punches, which a skilled fighter is not going to fall for. It's just not going to happen. A skilled fighter is not going to fall for those crazy wild fucking haymakers. He fights like he's in a street fight as opposed to a boxing ring. Like, you can maybe get away with a fucking wild-ass haymaker and shit in a street fight, but in a boxing ring where you're actually fighting someone who knows how to slip and, and punish punches and counter and has footwork, you're, you're going to get fucking destroyed. That's what's going to happen. Unless you get, like, a lucky hit. It's as simple as that. If you get a lucky hit, then, you know, it is what it is. And the only way I can see him getting a hit is if he, uh, uh, you know, if he gets lazy. If Tommy gets lazy or, or underestimates KSI, then yes, absolutely. But if he takes the fight seriously, which he should, which he seemed to do with uh, Jake Paul, then yeah, Tommy takes his dub, you know, 9 out of 10, bro. 9 out of 10, bro. That's what I'm going to say. <sighs> now I'm excited to see whether or not I'm correct. Very excited, bro. If you got in the ring, where's my command grab? <laughs> no, if I were to get in the ring, it would take at least a year. I would I want at least a year, bro. At least a year. Because the cardio would not, bro, mm -mm. you'd have to give me either a year or at least like three months or some shit, bro. Like, I need some serious work. Deji, Deji versus Fuzi. Who, who won this one? Who won? Oh, looks like he lost. Looks like Fousey lost. How did he lose? Did he get knocked out? Huh? Did he get knocked out? We got a bloody nose now for Fousey. Oh, and he caught him Did he get knocked out? What happened? Ooh. Did he call off the fight? Oh, he threw in the towel. His team threw in the towel? Bruh. And they're going to put Tom in. That just won. Oh, no, 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 no. You couldn't do that for me, bro. You're not throwing in the towel for me. You're not throwing in the towel for me, bro. That's brutal. He threw in the towel? Oh, uh, he doesn't even look that bad, bro. He doesn't even look that bad, bro. Look, he can still open his eyes. He's just got a little blood on his nose. Bruh, he don't even look that bad. Bruh, they threw in the towel. They're like, yo, this man don't got a chance in hell. He didn't even go the full round. He, you tell me he went two full rounds and they threw in the towel on the third one? How bad was he getting his ass beat? Oh, this man looks scared. He looks scared. Oh, my God, bro. No freaking way. How long did Fousey, uh, uh, uh train for this? How long did Fousey train for this? Does anyone know? Oof, oof. They've almost killed him. 
I wonder. I'm curious, man. How long did how long did uh, Fuzzy train for this? I'm curious. This wasn't G Deji winning, just winning. This was him dominating. Deji is a prime example of never give up. Deji slipping those punches was ridiculous. He practically didn't even get hit. He's not an infighter like his brother, but his outboxing skills are very impressive. I'm interested to see what future he has in boxing. Damn. Just had to watch this fight again. The joy, excitement, and laughter at the end after Deji got the W just brought tears to my eyes. What a wholesome moment. Five to six months? Bro, Then it's just fear, bro. It just seems like fear. It just seems like nerves. And he was fighting scared from what I saw. He was fighting scared. Like when he was throwing that flurry of punches, my man lost his mind. <laughs> let me, let me clinch. Let me just clinch. Yeah, bro. That's what it seems like. Anyways, I think GC should decide what game you should play for two hours if you lose the bet. Uh, GC, what do you say, bro? I say KSI gonna get gonna get wrecked, bro. Would you like to make a friendly wager, GC? Would you like to make a friendly wager, GC? I say he's going to get wrecked. I say KSI is going to make a stupid freaking move. And Tommy is going to punish him, bro. Tommy's going to punish him, bro. That's what I say. KSI is going to make a, a freaking... He's going to lunge in and get popped. What the fuck? They're not even the same weight class, are they? Ain't no way they're in the same weight class. They Wait, do they wait? Wait, do they wait? They, they don't seem like... He doesn't seem like he's in the same weight class as this dude. What? What is this? What? Bro, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, this looks like a kid. What is this fight? Oh my God, how long, this is a year ago? As a Mexican, I'm embarrassed that this man raised his flag for Mexico. <laughs> oh, man. This fight, fuck around and be a draw. It wasn't a draw, was it? Yeah, KSI won this. Oh, what happened? He punched him? What happened? Luis Alcaraz. He seems like he's scared. Oh, wow. That wasn't even a punt. Bro, that was just his power knocking him down. But, bro, he be doing that bullshit. Look at that. That's not a punch. That's a back of a head pull, pulling someone down. Are we... Fam, are we serious right now? What is this? What is this? Look at that. What? Are we for real right now? What is this nonsense? A straight back, back at the head. Come on, bro. Did the ref call it? Finally, hopefully the ref called it. Bro, there's only so many shots like that you can take. What's his name who got hit like that is like fucking now a carrot? What was this? Did he do it again? Oh, that time he popped him. He got him with that uppercut. He got him with that uppercut. Big. Wait, back of the head? Where do you see that? 
Sir, that was not what hit you. Well, actually, maybe it was. This nigga do be hitting people in the back of the head. Because I thought it was the right. The right uppercut. Oh, but that's... But he was still up when that hit. Right? He was still up when that hit. Bruh. This man be fighting dirty. He was still up. Because that it looked like it didn't fully connect. Yeah, that was like... But then he falls once the, that hits. Bruh! This man... Bro, this man, KSI be fighting dirty. This man, he doesn't even use his hand. He uses his elbows. Look at... What is that? Bro, you see the punch doesn't even connect. That's his... That's his hand, bro. What? Bruh, he's counting. Oh, I'd be pissed, bro. I'd be fucking pissed. Wow. Wow. Oh, I hope he loses now. GC, let's make a wager, bro. I hope he loses, bro. This dude fucking elbowing people and hitting them in the back of their fucking head. And got this dumbass fucking ref who can't see this shit. Crazy. If I win, you play an hour of paranormal activity, lost souls on VR. Man, get the fuck out of here. Plus, you give two wrenches, one of my choice, and the next chat will decide. That's not going to happen, bro. I'll do the wrenches thing, but I'm not doing any fucking paranormal activity, dark fucking VR. You're out of your fucking mind. You're out of your fucking mind, sir. You're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo, cuckoo, that is you, sir. That is you, sir. If you think I am going to agree to that, you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But this dude's going to lose, bro. Mark my words, bro. He's going to lose. He's going to lose, bro. Yeah, bro. He's going to lose, bro. What's his length like? I wonder. What's his... I keep saying, like, what's his reach? His hands are fucking low as hell, bro. Yeah, nah. He, he's not going to be able to fight like that with KSI. That's for damn sure. Because KSI could be lunging. Oh, it's going to be a good fight, though. Because he seems to be the aggressor in all of his fights. Oh, this is going to be a good fight. This is going to be a good fight. <laughs> Excuse me. This is going to be a good fight. He's the aggressor from what I'm seeing in all of his fights. Yeah, KSI is the aggressor in his fights. Oh, you see how you punish him when you try to come in? Ooh, yeah, that shot right there, bro. That's what's going to hit KSI right here, bro. You ready? Bam, right there. Him coming in like that, that's what's going to hit him, bro. I'm telling you, that's what's going to hit him. That's what's going to hit him. That hurt, too. But this is going to be a good fight. Yeah, because he's definitely the aggressor. Yes, I the aggressor. We're going to have a... It seems like I'm... It seems like it's going to be a brawl. That's what it seems like. It seems like it's going to be wrong. Okay, the chat decides the game on a poll, and you give two wrenches on my choice, and the other chat decides... Nigga, do you think I'm stupid? That's practically the same thing, bro. What are you talking about? It's practically the same thing. Nigga thinks he, he can fucking Shakespeare up here. You ain't word playing me, bro. Come on now. You ain't word playing me. Okay, the chat decides on, on the game. 
sir, sir, I don't know who you're used to talking to. Maybe you're used to talking to your kids, bro. I, I, I ain't a child, bro. I know you can try your little voodoo magic on, uh, on them. And they'll be like, okay, all right, daddy. That shit ain't gonna work on a grown-ass man, bro. Stop it. <laughs> like, I'm fucking stupid, right? Like, the chat, the chat's gonna decide on something different. Lord in heaven. Put some respect on my name. You keep, keep playing with my fucking name. I have to treat you niggas like Birdman. Stop playing with my name, bro. Put some respect on my name. Who was it? Who was the big uh, fat black dude who was playing around with Birdman? And Birdman had to be like, yo, put some respect on my name, bro. <laughs> what? Put some fucking respect on my name. Oh, okay. All right. Sure, Birdman. I didn't mean to offend you, Birdman. I was just, you know, uh, hee 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 ha ha ha. Who was it? You dead ass would get blocked from the MMA for calling your opponent a low poking scrub. <laughs> Fucking scrub. <laughs> no. I think uh, gaming and actual fighting are very different. Very, very different. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. So. No. I'll never forget Birdman voice was shaking like he was about to cry to Charlemagne. <laughs> What's the fucking respect of my name? Wait, why don't you come to them? I'm coming to you, dick. That's why. Okay, I guess you're going to go to low hanging fruit. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, Birdman. Fair enough. Why don't you run up on them? Because I'm running up on you, dick. I was like, oh, wow, okay. Birdman upset. Uh, I can't, he's going to say no either way. Look at GC, bro, trying to hold me. Crazy. That's the craziest thing I've seen. GC trying to hold me, bro. Wild as hell. Bro, I can't, he's going to say no either way, bro. There's no, there's no, there's no point, I can't even do anything. Bro, your Jedi mind tricks don't work on me, GC. Okay? I'm not a child, bruh. Stop playing with me. Nigga, I'm not Nintendo, fam. Stop playing with me. All right? Nigga, you better go pick yourself up a, a fucking controller. Stop playing with me. Goodness gracious. Well, you're going to say no either way. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's... it's... Nothing I can do. I try to do that. I try to do that. Fuck out of here. Let's go. Don't be scared. Plus, if both KSI and Logan wins, you eat Howlin' Rays again. Wait, hold up. If KSI wins, I have to eat Howlin' Rays again? Nigga, now I'm starting to think about Madison. I'd rather have a fucking a demon-possessed fucking computer or some shit. Then Howlin' Rays. I'm trying to, hmm. Now, oof. Now you done made it tough, okay? First you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. Demon possessed or shit out my fucking intestines. Hmm. That's a tough one, man. That is really tough. I'm not gonna lie. That is tough. Touche, my nigga. Touche. Touche. Hmm. That is a tough one. Hmm. Shit out my intestines. Or get demon possessed. Interesting. Choices, choices, choices. Very interesting, bro. Very interesting. Ugh. Hmm. I think I'll go with Howlin' Rays. I think I'll go with Howlin' Rays. Wait, wait, wait. 
So if I do that, what what's the bet with you? So what do I get? So that's what you get if you win. What do I get if I win? What about that? What do I get if I win? Oof. I'll cash F you 50. I'll take that. That's a deal. That's a bet. That is a bet, a virtual bet. KSI wins. I have to eat Howlin' Brains. Oh, my God. If he loses, cash out 50. That's fair. I'll take that. I will take that. That is fair. It's not fair, but it's it's as fair I think I'm going to get from uh, GC, bro. Because Howlin' Ray is Lord. Jesus. That is brutal. That is brutal. No, the game, two wrenches. Nigga, fuck out of here. Ain't playing no game. Two wrenches. It's a lot. Two wrenches is a lot. Two wrenches is a lot. I'm not doing the game, though. That is not happening. Debt is not happening. That's crazy. <sighs> Bro, gonna be shitting bricks. Yeah, that's already punishment enough. Howling fucking rains. Lord. I mean, that's practically suicide if I lose. Practice. That's practically what it is, just suicide. Suicide by a different, you know, different name. Because Howlin' Rains is fucking ass. That shit is just Satan's playground. That's what the fuck Howlin' Rays is. So, that's why I'm like, mmm. I definitely think that uh what's his name will win. Tommy. Tommy will definitely win. I'm not I'm not that concerned. That's why I'm like, eh, I'll take the bet. But he'll definitely win, bro. He'll definitely win. You gotta stream you eating Howland Rays like potato salad. He doesn't want to take that bet. So there's nothing I can do. He doesn't want to take that bet. Nothing I can do. But I still think he's going to lose. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Death by shit aside. <laughs> yeah, I have to call, you know, the hospital. Be like, tell my family. Tell them I love them. Ah, That'll be a shitty way to go out. No pun intended, but damn, that would be brutal. I'd have to do my live stream. My last live stream. I just want to let you guys know. Ugh. Fuck GC. And fuck Helen Ray's. Y'all be amazing. Yeah, bro. That's, that's, it's so much of a risk. It's insane, honestly. It's really fucking insane. Like, I'd rather go, like, parachuting and, like, have a 50-50 chance of choosing the wrong parachute than Highland Rains, bro. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. But, you know. You know. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm just that confident. I'm that confident in a KSI getting his ass whooped. That's how confident I am. That confident. If I wasn't confident, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't take the bet against no freaking uh, uh, 
what do you call it? Alan Reigns. Not in a million fucking years. Bet you gonna find you in the toilet with Alan Reigns wing in your mouth and shit all over the walls. Uh, bruh. I told you what Alan Reigns was. You guys do know that the the what do you call it? The the episode with Cartman is based off the Howlin' Rays. Oh, excuse me, guys. I have to go to the restroom. Oh, oh, some, oh God, I gotta go. That's what it's based off, Mr. Mackey. Oh, it's both out of here. This is this is what this is what Howlin' Rays is based off of, bro. Oh, I mean, this is what this is what uh uh. South Park based Howlin' Rays, right? The creators went to Howlin' Rays, and this is what the, you know, this is the episode that came out of it. Yeah, I, I just, uh, I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is what happened, bro. This is genuinely what happened. If you go to Howlin' Rays, this is what happens. Oh, it's my ass. Excuse me, kids, I need to run. I got to Y'all think I'm joking. I'm not. I'm serious, bro. This is what happens when you go to Howlin' Rays, bro. This is what happened to me. I was hitting the ceiling, bro. That's how bad it was. I actually, I kid you not, I actually came off, off of the toilet. That's how bad it was, bro. I'm not even joking. I put a lot of Arby's horsey sauce on those. Now, they couldn't say Arby's horse sauce. They... Because the original, the original script was, I uh, put a lot of uh, Howlin' Rays, put a lot of Howlin' Rays in his, you know, in his food. But they don't want to do that because they get sued. Okay, can somebody give me some paper towels? Or maybe a... <laughs> okay. Yep, this was Howlin' Rays, bro. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it. This is what, this is what happened to you. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what will happen. I'm trying to save y'all, bro. I'm trying to save y'all, bro. I'm telling you, that's what will happen. I'm not even joking. I'm dead. Look at me. I'm dead. Look at my face. I'm serious. It's not funny, bro. It's not funny. I had nightmares, bro. I couldn't eat chicken for a month. Couldn't eat chicken for a month, bro. I was terrified. I was scared. I was like, where'd you get this from? What do you mean? It's from KFC. Where's the box? I need to see the box. You, you, no, I need, I need to make sure that it came out of the box. I can't eat it unless I see it outside the box, bro. I couldn't do it for a month. Where'd you get this? I made it. What are you talking about? No, you didn't. You didn't make it. You're in on it, aren't you? In on what? You're in on it with GC, aren't you? You want to punish me, huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, PTSD from fucking Howlin' Rays, bro. Never again. Never again. I had to go to therapy, bro. I had to go go to therapy, talk to a fucking shrink. Fool me once. Shame on me. No, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me, bro. Ain't no fool me thrice, bro. Ain't not not happening, bro. Ain't no fool me thrice, bro. Not happening. So, anyways, that's gonna be the stream. Everyone, take care. Stay safe. Be amazing. Don't drink and drive. Open up the phone lines. The phone lines have been open. It's just Skype isn't working. So, I mean, there's nothing I can do with that. Uh, are we going over to 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 what do you call it? Oh, to what am I thinking of? Oh, to Twitch. Are we going over to Twitch for uh Texas? We can go over to Twitch for Texas for for a few. Everyone, take care. Stay safe. Be amazing. I'll catch y'all uh in a few. Adios.